Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, American Comics, The Savior Starting from the Vampires. Chapter 61. Dam has been in a mixed mood lately. Looking at the packed backpack, there was a hint of timidity in his eyes. Although the guy who had bullied him had already apologized to him, he still felt a little bit uncomfortable in his heart. Dam, come on, today is your first day back at school, cheer me up. The obese father Dam's eyes were dark. Seeing Dam's hesitant expression, he became angry. He had always been strong by nature, but how could he have given birth to such a cowardly son? Okay, Dad. After finishing packing, Dam got into his father's antique car and sped away with the roar of the engine. Highland College, as the most prestigious private college in Gotham, has gathered most of the civilian and aristocratic students in the music world. Dam's head was hanging down as he walked down the aisle of the campus. His eyes quickly looked at the laughing students walking through the campus, and the corners of his mouth curled up slightly. After attending this school for two years, he knew that this school was not as peaceful as it seemed. He accelerated his walk, and suddenly his body stumbled forward. He slowly put the backpack that had fallen to the ground on his back again, his face turned red. PFF, look at that guy, isn't that damn, good guy, how long has it been since we last met? I almost forgot about him. With the words coming one after another, Dam couldn't help but rush towards the classroom quickly. It wasn't until he sat down in his seat that he breathed a sigh of relief and looked at his friend Kate at the next table. At this time, he was staring at the book tightly, as if he was completely unaware. Hi, Dam couldn't help calling softly, but Kate glanced at him gently, then turned away and continued reading, which made Dam feel a little embarrassed. Boom, with a dull slap, Dam's upper body fell forward slightly, leaning heavily against the edge of the table, and looked back behind him in shock. Dam, are you finally back? The blonde boy patted Dam's back hard, with a cold look in his eyes. Sam, I have forgiven you, please don't bother me anymore. Dam clenched his teeth and said in a deep voice, his face slightly pale. Yes, yes, I forgot that Dam has the famous Bruce Wayne as a friend. He doesn't like us at all. As the boy couldn't help shouting loudly, everyone in the classroom looked over with laughter. This scene made Dam hold his hands together tightly and his face looked extremely ugly. After patting Dam's shoulder hard again, the blonde man walked away with his two companions behind him. From time to time, he revealed Dam's past embarrassing things, causing others to laugh at him. Quote dot 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 quote. Dam spent this difficult day with a pale face and looked at his former partner. However, he did not receive any reply, even though he signaled several times. He couldn't help but feel a little discouraged. The sun shines from the east corner of the teaching building to the west corner. Dam didn't know how he left the school. He slowly pushed open the familiar door. His passionate laughter was mixed with shouts, and a smile hung on his face again. Looking at Lin Ju walking among the crowd, he rushed to Emily's bar with a smile on his face. He took Emily's wine tray out of habit and started to help pass the wine. Dam, I heard you went to school, how is it? You must be very happy today, right? Emily couldn't help but joke. It's, good, everyone is very enthusiastic. Dam smiled and spoke very fast. After responding to Emily's words, he hurriedly delivered the wine tray to the corresponding desk. Woo, I really want to go to school too. Emily muttered, but looking at the busy bar, she showed an expression of relief. After about an hour or so, Dam slowly sat down at the dining table and began to drink by himself. Looking deeply at the bustling crowd in the bar, he felt the rare comfort in his heart. Putting the discarded empty bottles that the guests had finished drinking into the wine boxes one by one, Lin Ju quickly shuttled between the tables. Good guy, Lin, you are the most capable employee I have ever seen. A middle-aged man with a long beard couldn't help but admired. In such a large tavern, Lin Ju was busy from morning to afternoon without any trouble. The idea of stopping to rest made the middle-aged man, who was also a shop owner, envious. He envied Emily for having such a capable employee. There is no way, there is no harm without comparison. Compared with the clerks in his store, Lin Ju worked at a high frequency without any complaints. His own employees left on time at 4 o'clock in the afternoon without making any changes to the store. Plan to contribute more. Ha, thank you for the compliment. Lin Ju smiled, 
Several hours of continuous work did not bring him any fatigue. He slowly put the last empty wine bottle into the wine box. He made a stretching gesture and then walked towards Dam's dining table. Go. Hi. Dam's eyes lit up when he saw Lin Ju approaching, and he quickly poured the whiskey in his hand into the wine glass beside him. Lin Ju took the glass and drank it in one gulp. Feeling the burning taste in his throat, a trace of satisfaction flashed across his face. Lin, when are you going to school? Quote question mark quote. Dam looked excited. He suddenly thought that it would be interesting if Lin Ju went to school. I heard what Emily said. She had asked me about our school before. Compared with normal public schools, because our school is private, it has a more relaxed admission process for new students. And based on my current observations, Emily's tavern business is so prosperous. Thanks to the intimidation of the trial council, the business will definitely get better and better. The current profits can completely hire some employees. Quote. Seeing Dam talking casually, Lin Ju didn't show much interest. At this moment, he just wanted to grow stronger steadily, strong enough to not be afraid of any threats. During this period, thanks to the previous deterrence, the crime incidents near Wall Street were greatly reduced, so much so that he went out to catch a cold breeze these nights and ran back in a hurry. Now he feels that he can expand his business to a wider range. Just as the two of them were thinking about what was on their minds, a graceful figure slowly came to sit next to Lin Ju. Dam, who was originally beaming when he spoke, froze for an instant, and then his expression turned serious. Hello, hello, somewhat flattered, Dam shook hands with Petrina, and for the first time, Dam experienced the restlessness of adolescence. Petrina looked calm under the western hat with British characteristics, her slender thighs slowly folded together, and she looked directly at Lin Ju, who looked thoughtful and didn't know what he was thinking. She casually took the wine glass from Lin Ju's hand and drank the remaining whiskey in it. Her actions finally caught Lin Ju's attention. Lin, are you interested in walking together in the evening? Why do you say that? Lin Ju frowned slightly, realizing that the elegant woman in front of him seemed to know something. Quote dot 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 quote. Dam looked at the two of them blankly, and subconsciously looked at the bar booth. A small head was staring blankly here, seeming to notice his gaze, and quickly turned aside. Listening to the rustling next door, Lin Ju's face showed a trace of thought. It had been quite a long time since Emily, who slept next door, seemed to be doing something every night. Putting aside his thoughts, Lin Ju subconsciously mobilized his dimensional panel. However, the dimensional cover that appeared in front of him made him look shocked. This film and television cover is even very different from other film and television covers. Its whole body is burning with red and green flames, when Lin Ju's thoughts gently touch it. A piece of information instantly flowed into his mind. Big dimension, multidimensional universe, look at the iconic character on the cover of the film and television series, with his blue uniform, round shield, and resolute eyes. Good guy, I thought DC was already invulnerable, but I didn't expect another Marvel to appear now. Lin Ju's heart suddenly sank. The world of Marvel is no more stable than the DC universe. It is filled with all kinds of non-human beings, and there is always a being that can devour planets or sacrifice planets. Galacto and the Celestials are here for a visit. Or is it mandatory? Oh, this evil golden finger. When Lin Ju sensed the dimensional cover, a string of information automatically appeared in his mind, please enter the world within three days to complete the dimensional node task, otherwise, it will be forcibly ingested. Lin Ju looked at the blade warrior who was in a gray template state and the blood clan drama with loose chains. Good guy, this is forcing me to go to that world. Looking at the cover of Captain America's film and television series, Lin Ju's brain was running rapidly, thinking quickly about the irresistible dangers inside. Different from the two previous worlds, that world cannot be analyzed purely from the drama. After all, it is a big dimension. It is difficult not to guarantee that if some butterfly effect is caused because of my little butterfly, then it directly leads to the ancient existence hidden in the Marvel Universe. For example, the Supreme Mage, the God Group, etc., some existences that have survived for a long time to this day. The cautious Lin Ju didn't want to run into them now, or at least take away a few more powerful abilities. Phew, forget it, it's better to be careful, it looks like I'm going to hug my thigh. 
Looking at Captain America on the cover of the film and television series, Lin Ju decided to change his plan to snatch the super soldier serum. In this series, he hugged Captain America, the well-deserved son of the plane, and tried to avoid causing other beings to have attention. He looked at the cover of the film and television series, and as he confirmed in his mind, the next moment, Lin Ju's figure walked straight through the film and television series that turned into a colorful halo. Crunch, some rusty windows slowly opened, and a figure quickly jumped into Lin Ju's room. Petrina looked at the empty room, her brows slightly frowned. She just felt a strange fluctuation. Subconsciously, with her extraordinary sixth sense, she noticed that Lin Ju seemed to have disappeared. In the end, she couldn't bear her curiosity and got into the room, looking at the empty room. Room, Paterina felt a little surprised. Comma, boom, a heavy roar resounded in his ears, and Lin Ju subconsciously held his head. The shell hit his side, and the afterglow of the gunfire blew his body away instantly. Lin Ju couldn't help but raise his middle finger to the sky. Was it okay to be bombarded by artillery shells just after crossing the world? If he hadn't already experienced the strengthening of the two world bosses at this time, he might not have been sent away as soon as he came up. His eyes quickly passed over the battlefield where artillery fire was flying, and then he looked at his yellow-green military uniform and the star's flag on his chest. Lin Ju suddenly guessed that it seemed that now was the time when the United States and Germany were at war, and now he looks like a U.S. soldier. Feeling the bullets passing above his head, Lin Ju couldn't help but be a little stunned. Good guy, this is the real battlefield. The battle scenes in the series that Lin Ju has watched before are completely insignificant compared to the real battlefield. Looking at the rain of bullets flashing with dazzling firelight above Two Way, Lin Ju didn't dare to raise his head. He subconsciously looked around him. One American soldier after another was shooting from time to time, as if he was looking for a kill. Slowly adjusting his military uniform, he subconsciously picked up the gun at his side. Looking at the cool black long gun in his hand, Lin Ju couldn't help but try to fire. Under his extraordinary vision, his first shot turned out to be he accidentally hit a German soldier. The next moment, there was an explosion sound from the helmet on his head, and the powerful force caused his head to tilt back instantly. When he fell to the ground, Lin Ju subconsciously closed his eyes. At the same time, seeing him fall to the ground, the soldiers on the side quickly called out. Soon, a medical staff wearing a white coat and carrying a medical box shuttled in front of Two Way, came to Lin Ju's side, and directly pulled Lin Ju to his side. Ju carried him on a stretcher and quickly headed to the rear base camp. There was a slight gap in the corner of his eyes, and he turned slightly to the side. Knowing that he seemed to be leaving the battlefield, Lin Ju breathed a sigh of relief. Just when he was about to retreat beyond the three-circle line, a cannonball falling from the sky grazed his body and hit the earthen bed below. With the violent explosion below him and the painful screams around him, Lin felt that his body was instantly he was blown away and fell heavily to the ground. He rolled three times on the ground before stopping in front of a mound. The burning pain made him suddenly open his eyes. This time it was equivalent to being directly hit by a shell. Lin Ju was horrified to find that he could not stand up. He subconsciously looked around and saw that all the soldiers who were here were lying on the ground, looking at him sadly. It was as if he had been killed on the spot. You idiots come and save me. Lin Ju couldn't help but curse loudly, and the blood pouring out of his throat instantly made him choke again. The next moment, the soldier closest to him who had retreated four circles away suddenly froze, looking at Lin Ju with a look of disbelief on his face, his body covered in blood and mud. With his eyes closed tightly, he listened to the soldiers running quickly saying, Shit! Oh my god! Lin Ju's words made Lin Ju feel nothing but sadness and anger. Finally, after many twists and turns, Lin Ju was truly seriously injured and was carried to the medical tent. The doctor walking back and forth hurriedly glanced at Lin Ju's military uniform covered in blood, looked at his face with his eyes closed, and subconsciously looked at the two soldiers who sent him over. This guy is hopeless, why send him here? Ah! Ignore the doubtful looks of the soldiers. Look what I'm doing, send it to the morgue. Doctor, this soldier just asked us to rescue him. He doesn't seem to be dead. A soldier couldn't help but said with a somewhat dissatisfied look on his face. He seemed to have seen a scene where he was seriously injured and the doctor ignored him. Ha, huh, 
It's all blown up like this, and you're still alive. The doctor came over instantly and subconsciously leaned over to watch Lin Ju's condition. He's really not dead. He nodded slowly, and then waved two soldiers to send Lin Ju to the intensive care unit. Feeling that he was being lifted onto the soft bed, Lin Ju subconsciously opened his eyes. Oh, Shet, brother, you are still alive. Another soldier who had witnessed him being hit by a shell couldn't help but screamed, subconsciously attracting the attention of the doctors on the side. Soon, a middle-aged doctor wearing a white coat and black-rimmed glasses walked quickly to Lin Ju's bed. He quickly opened his military uniform and looked at the bloody body, a flash of shock flashed in his eyes. Give me some medicine. Lin Ju made a hoarse voice. However, his throat, which was overflowing with blood, made his words even more unclear. He couldn't help cursing in his heart. If he was unlucky enough, there was nothing he could do about it, even if his own self-healing ability was still there. Quick repair, but it only repairs the internal trauma first, and has not yet reached the external surface. The doctor quickly took a dose of epinephrine from the nurse on the side and stabbed it directly into Lin Ju's chest. The constant burning pain all over his body caused Lin Ju's face to twitch at a high frequency, and he even felt that his spine and cheekbones in his legs were broken. Boom, boom. Countless sand and gravel fell from the tent. Lin Ju looked at the tent with a big hole and looked helpless. This tent was located at the bottom of a certain hill. The reason why it was erected here was to use the hill as a cover. It was obvious that the ferocious German artillery fire had reached the American wounded camp. At this time, Lin Ju was a little worried, feeling the slowly healing bones in his body. He felt that if there were a few more bombings above the tent where he was, then the German army would probably not need to take action, and he would be buried alive in this deserted area, corner of. As the only person who was rescued again after being judged dead, Lin Ju slowly looked at the corpses displayed next to him, and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Boom, the ground trembled slightly, the metal bed shook violently, Lin Ju's body was thrown high, and then fell heavily on the bed. Quote dot 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 quote. Oh, my god. A nurse quickly ran over, then pulled Lin Ju's bed and pushed it out of the tent. Soon Lin Ju was pushed down into the noisy and chaotic treatment area. The nurse pushed Lin Ju's bed directly to the corner of the room with an apology on her face. Soldier, how are you feeling now? It feels bad. Underscore. Dr. Richard will give you the second treatment in a moment, please wait patiently. Quote dot 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 quote. Lin Ju looked at the nurse who was running away without looking back. Although he recognized her current working status, after all, the wounded recently sent were much more efficient than the treatment of the wounded, but he still felt extremely sad in his heart. It's okay to be forgotten in the death sequence. Although I have already had some understanding of the urine properties of dimensional travel, this is the first time that I have been seriously injured and unable to move just after traveling to a new dimension. In this way, amidst the roar of artillery fire, Lin Ju spent this tortoise day. Feeling the crackling sound of the bones in his body, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. Dr. Richard hurriedly came to his bed with the previous nurse. At this time, Lin Ju stared at the broken place above the cloak, through which he could see the dark night sky outside. He reached out and pressed Lin Ju's leg that was wrapped in blood cloth, and then slowly touched it upward. Richard's hands were suddenly held by a strong hand. Lin Ju stared deeply at the disgraced doctor in front of him, Doctor, where are you touching? Soldier, I'm checking you out. Richard frowned and looked at the Asian soldier who seemed to be glaring at him with some confusion. I'm fine there. Ah, okay. Richard curled his lips, then looked at Lin Ju's upper body, and slowly peeled off the bloody gauze. He wanted to see if the previous sterilization measures were appropriate to avoid further infection of the wound. However, when the gauze was lifted, a trace of shock flashed across his face, and the nurse beside him couldn't help but exclaimed. Seeing the actions of the doctors and nurses in front of him, Lin Ju curled his lips. He knew that these people would react like this. After all, his ancestor's body plus the blood god's body could heal itself, so easy. Slowly stretching out his fingers and touching the wound that had begun to scar, Richard raised his eyes tremblingly. This, such a big wound. Dot how can it heal so quickly? Ah, my body's blood clotting cells are stronger, so I heal faster than the average person. Suddenly, Lin Ju seemed to think of something and secretly thought something bad. 
he suddenly thought that the current timeline of this world is no better than that of DC in the previous life, a society where extraordinary people were already common. There are no signs of extraordinary people frequently appearing in this world system. Of course, the mutant next door has another story. Seeing the brilliance in the eyes of the doctor in front of him, Lin Ju subconsciously clenched his fists. This soldier is almost recovered, go check out the other beds. Ah, yes, Dr. Richard. Seeing the doctor and the nurse slowly walking away, Lin Ju breathed a sigh of relief. Just now he subconsciously wanted to escape from here. After all, according to the development of the plot, the US military has long begun research on ways to enhance the physical fitness of soldiers. Super Gene Potion. It would be uncomfortable if I was used as an optimization template and was dragged for dissection and study. Lin Ju is still self-aware. Even though his physical fitness is far superior to ordinary people, he still understands that he cannot fight against the army. Not to mention a few rockets, the metal frenzy alone can drown oneself. Lin Ju, who was relieved, quickly looked at the other people in the tent, and his ears automatically blocked the screams, wails and cries of the surrounding soldiers. In fact, he has been observing for most of the day, and there is still no familiar figure. What went wrong? Lin Ju murmured to himself. In this way, day and night rotated, Lin Ju watched the stretchers being delivered to him one by one, and then watched each one being carried away from him and sent to the morgue. The cruelty of the war intensified. Three days later, with Dr. Richard's last examination, he couldn't help but patted Lin Ju's tall and straight figure. Soldier, your name is Lin. Very good. I hope you can contact me after this battle. Maybe I can unlock the secret of your body being different from ordinary people. Ah, yes, yes. Everything you said is right. Lin Ju had a smile on his face and kept nodding in response. He had no choice but to think that the man in front of him was a doctor, but he was a doctor with a military rank. He had to salute when he saw him. Slowly taking over his original equipment from the soldiers on the side, which were a short liner submachine gun and five grenades, Lin Ju couldn't wait to walk out of the medical tent. But he didn't notice that Dr. Richard, who originally seemed to be turning around to treat the wounded, was watching his leaving back closely. Comma. Boom. The violent sound of gunfire trembled in his ears. Thanks to his extraordinary hearing, Lin Ju looked ferocious as he slowly pulled a broken corpse off the earthen bed and came to the earthen pit where he originally lay. Rapid gun shooting. With the tremor of the gun in his hand, Lin Ju gradually showed excitement. With his extraordinary eyesight, he could even clearly see the bullets he shot piercing the enemy's body. This battle lasted for a full day, from early morning to night. Lin Ju followed the U.S. troops and continuously carried out the attack steps of charging and retreating, charging and retreating. Lin Ju couldn't help but sigh as he looked with admiration at his companions who were fighting next to him and kept roaring. No wonder so many people suffer from post-war stress disorder. With such a high frequency of bombing and fighting, no matter how normal a person is, they may not be able to withstand the tremendous pressure. Buzz buzz. There was a violent roar in the sky. I don't know who shouted first. It's a German bomber, take cover. All the American soldiers who had been fighting back in the pit fell down under the earthen bed and dug into the pit they had dug out earlier. The inexperienced Lin Ju lay helplessly on the ground and looked at the only pit beside him, which was also occupied by a trembling soldier. Boom boom boom. Puff after puff of soil thrown up by the bombing fell on Lin Ju's body, along with countless pieces of sand and gravel. Lin Ju finally realized why Germany could be so ferocious during World War II, with one enemy against many, and why it could destroy Poland and defeat France with thunderous force. The power of this artillery fire, if he hadn't been at the forefront now, he would have been blown to the ground again. The American soldier huddled in the earthen Kong beside him was shivering, looking like he was surviving the disaster. Seeing Lin Ju emerging from the mud and gravel, he couldn't help but give a thumbs up, and kept saying, Brother, you are so fierce, words. Ba ba ba. After spitting out all the dirt in his mouth, Lin Ju looked at himself and breathed a sigh of relief. There was no chance that he would be sent to the hospital again. He suddenly emerged from the pit, and then took out the grenade he carried with him. He exerted force with one hand. In the next moment, the grenade passed through an afterimage and was thrown directly towards the enemy camp. Because of Lin Ju's strong arm strength, this grenade was accurately thrown to the enemy camp nearly a thousand meters away. 
along with a violent roar. From Lin Ju's perspective, he could clearly see his grenade, which seemed to instantly blow up three German soldiers who were passing by. Phew, it's even. In the days that followed, Lin Ju's figure continued to walk through the battlefield. With his extraordinary five senses and slightly unusual agility, he unconsciously led the U.S. military to break through the first line of defense. Soon he it came into the view of the top military officials. In the command camp, one American officer after another stared at the pictures taken by the war reporters. A strong American soldier quickly crossed one ravine after another and broke into the first line of the German army. With him inside, he was extremely cool. In close combat, 16 German soldiers gathered around him were killed in a matter of seconds. In an instant, the German troops on the first front were thrown into disarray. This also gave the U.S. military a chance to reverse its decline. More and more U.S. troops followed behind it, breaking through the German front line in one fell swoop. Whose soldier is this? It's so fierce. A burly U.S. military officer couldn't help but admired. It could be seen from his clothes that he was a U.S. military lieutenant colonel. Ha ha, I have already ordered people to bring him here. Next we have an operation to break into the bunker. We need a soldier who is agile and extremely capable in combat. The old man standing among all the officers said solemnly. Soon, under the expectant eyes of all the U.S. military officers, the tent of the command camp was opened, and Lin Ju, with a handsome face and a tall figure, quickly walked into the camp. After a standard military posture, Lin Ju was pulled among the noncommissioned officers amid the praises from the officers. Brother, you are so awesome. This is my first time seeing such a powerful soldier. Can you teach me those cool moves? I have always been strict with the military, but this is the first time I admire a soldier. Listening to the praise in his ears, Lin Ju pretended to be flattered, and at the same time he couldn't help but admire his own awareness. This is Lin Ju's plan. He wants to get into the upper echelons of the U.S. military so that he can prepare for what's next. At the same time, it is also his helpless move to get in touch with the U.S. team. God knows, during this period of time, he searched the battlefield and didn't see that thin figure. Because he watched the film and television series a long time ago, he only knew a vague plot line. If he has been unable to contact the protagonist and cannot develop the main plot, then his return to the main world will be far away. Lin, in view of your outstanding contributions on the battlefield, you have been awarded the title of combat hero. At the same time, you have been promoted to three levels in a row and awarded the rank of major. Major General Pilder patted Lin Ju's shoulder hard. He couldn't help but admire Lin Ju's motionless body in his heart. Thank you, Lord Pild, for your appreciation. Lin Ju quickly arrived as he glanced at the old man's medal. Well, Major Lin Ju, actually we called you here not just to award you with meritorious service. There is a latest task here. If you complete it, I can promote you to the rank of colonel. You will become the first in the history of the U.S. military. The fastest promoted officer. Beard stared at Lin Ju's face and shouted in a deep voice. His words instantly shocked all the officers present, and complex expressions appeared on everyone's face, including admiration, covetousness, and gloating. However, unlike them, Lin Ju was overjoyed. After all, in their eyes, he was just a skilled, agile and experienced soldier. Only he knew how much he had hidden. Saluting with one hand, Lin Ju looked, firm, I am willing to fight for a free America. Good, Major General Pilder looked excited and patted Lin Ju's shoulder hard again. Arriving at the war room, Pilder told Lin Ju all the battle plans. In short, because of the bunkers built by the German army, the U.S. military often failed to break through the defense line. Those bunkers had small holes where machine guns could be placed and they could fire unscrupulously. At this time, there were no tank armors. The intervention has resulted in the U.S. military always being at a disadvantage. Even though Lin Ju had just successfully restored the lost front, he still stopped in front of the original German front. Lin Ju's goal was to break through the fire lines and blow up bunkers scattered throughout the German front line under the cover of American soldiers. For ordinary people, this mission is a life and death mission. Even with the cover of American soldiers, normal people will be attacked by German soldiers who appear out of nowhere midway. Not to mention the fierce firepower of the German army, even the U.S. military itself would accidentally injure teammates. 
It can be said that Lin Zhu not only had to guard against the German army in front, but also paid attention to the backstabs of his teammates. Lin Zhu's main task is to blow up at least five bunkers on the front line, which can be said to be almost impossible to accomplish. Long before the U.S. defense line was breached by the Germans, they had organized death squads, but all of them were blown to pieces halfway. The successive defeats made it impossible for all U.S. military noncommissioned officers to find the reserve personnel of the death squads. No soldier who had been on the front line and experienced the firepower of the German army dared to take on this task again. Lin Zhu's extraordinary skills successfully got into the sight of this group of U.S. military officers who had almost no other options. Lin Zhu, who knew the plan, couldn't help but secretly sighed. It was probably impossible to complete the task without any injuries, and he even had to deliberately cause some injuries. Otherwise, if his performance is too extraordinary, he may not only bear praise and honors, but also fear and suspicion. If this mission can be completed, I will say without hesitation that you will be the soldier with the most outstanding contribution on this battlefield. You will truly be awarded the title of America's first combat hero. You will also be promoted to colonel and become the fastest soldier in history. Promoted Sergeant. Pilder looked serious and said in a deep voice. Of course he knew what this meant as he was experienced on the battlefield. Courage, character, and skills were all indispensable. However, the seemingly ordinary Asian young man in front of him accepted his mission without hesitation. Even though he was ready to be rejected, Lin Zhu still had a firm face and accepted this seemingly impossible task with a look of death. It was precisely because of this that he appreciated Lin Zhu even more. A heavily guarded German camp. Boom. With the sound of glass breaking, the German noncommissioned officer wearing a dark green military coat violently knocked the glass of coffee handed to him by the soldier to the ground. Brown coffee liquid splashed everywhere, and there was a strong aroma of coffee. However, at this moment, none of the soldiers in the camp paid attention to the spilled coffee. Yankee, where did that guy come from? The German noncommissioned officer roared angrily, and the other noncommissioned officers beside him also looked ugly at this moment. This time, the unexpected defeat of the German army caused the front line to shrink, and the results of more than a month were once again given away. This made the man who was the frontline commander of the German army extremely angry. As the soldiers rushed into the camp, several noncommissioned officers were instantly pushed to the ground. The man looked deeply at these noncommissioned officers who had retreated from the front line. Feeling his gloomy gaze, the sergeants turned pale and fell to their knees. Your Excellency Commander, this is not our problem, it is that guy, that guy is too cunning. One of the noncommissioned officers was the first to cry and cry out as he couldn't bear the pressure. But the next moment, bang! Without retracting the pistol, the man pointed the tip of the gun, which was still emitting a trace of smoke, at the second noncommissioned officer. Spare me, spare me, I have contributed to the Empire. However, the man's expression did not change at all, and he shot three cleanly in a row to kill the three sergeants who disgusted him. The German Empire doesn't have trash like you who can only shirk responsibility and kneel down to beg for mercy. The man glanced at the people lying in a pool of blood and spat hard. The remaining noncommissioned officers beside him all had reserved expressions. At this time, no one dared to stand up and speak for these people. He looked at the only person beside him who didn't look panicked. Sir, I need assistance. The man changed his face from anger and said solemnly. Comma. Boom. Boom. The battlefield was filled with artillery fire. At this moment, Lin Zhu, who was wearing a major's uniform, tightened the helmet on his head and looked through the earth barrier towards the German camp. Behind him stood a group of soldiers armed with charge guns. At the same time, soldiers from Yanbian gathered on the front line from time to time, and more intense firefights between the two sides followed. The group of soldiers behind him will charge into battle with him. Each one of them has issued a military order. It can be said that they are newbies that the U.S. military has finally managed to get together. This charge can be regarded as a desperate move by the U.S. military. Once Lin Zhu fails, the U.S. military will retreat to the second line and focus on defense until the main force is reinforced. Feeling the roar of artillery fire from both sides, this high-frequency bombing continued into the night. As night fell, the line of fire that was originally like a wave of Mars gradually became sparse. Sensing the opportunity, 
Lin Zhu finally broke out of the siege and rushed towards the German defense line quickly. At the same time, the stormtroopers behind him also followed closely behind him, moving towards the German position in a fan-shaped pattern. Rush away. Bang bang bang. Three sweet gunshots rang in my ears, and the stormtroopers spreading out from one side began to distract the German army's attention. At the same time, Lin Zhu, the forward in the center, quickly rushed forward. With the cover of the night, he soon reached the first defensive line of attack was touched. As soon as he climbed over the dirt barrier, Lin Zhu saw the German soldier who was changing the magazine. The figure quickly crossed the mound blocking the distance between the two sides. The figure suddenly jumped down from the mound, which instantly frightened the German soldier. Leaning against the earth wall on one side, he quickly pulled the gun bolt and was about to shoot. However, a flash of silver light flashed through, and in the light of the artillery bombardment, a dagger pierced the soldier's neck like lightning. Cough, cough, the German soldier's body froze for an instant, his mouth opened and closed, as if he wanted to shout loudly, but he could no longer make a sound. One by one, American soldiers armed with submachine guns rushed into the defense line and directly engaged in a melee with the panicked German troops. More and more American soldiers began to make short-distance handovers with these German soldiers. At the same time, the American soldiers stationed on the second line of defense also ceased fire and seemed to be observing the battle situation on the first line of defense. Taking advantage of the chaos in the German soldiers' defense line, Lin Zhu's figure quickly shuttled through the tunnel dug by the German army. Boom! There was a gunshot, and there was a burst of pain in his chest. Lin Zhu's eyes froze, and he subconsciously hid in the bunker aside. He looked at a German non-commissioned officer in the distance who kept firing. Lin Zhu directly touched his waist, and there was a gun hanging on it. He took out a large series of grenades, then thought about the distance between the two people, and used a little force. Thanks to the strong wrist strength, the grenade crossed the limits of human beings at extremely fast speed and was thrown near the sergeant. With a roar, the sergeants and soldiers on the side were blown aside one after another. Grenades were thrown one after another until the soldiers who came after them were blown away and disgraced. Lin Zhu continued to rush towards the bunkers located on the first and second lines of defense. Boom! Along with the violent roar, the ground trembled slightly. Lin Zhu subconsciously looked towards the way he came, but was shocked to find that the soldiers who had been charging with him were instantly enveloped in artillery fire. These German troops actually beat their own people. Thanks to the ruthlessness of the German army, the U.S. assault troops quickly stagnated and began a large-scale retreat. At the same time, the German troops in pursuit of victory once again occupied the original defense line. After hearing the sound, artillery fire roared one after another again, just like during the day. Lin Zhu suppressed his wildly beating heart. At this moment, deep inside the defense line, he was like a trapped beast. Even if he had the strength to fight one against a hundred, once exposed, countless bullets would instantly beat him to a pulp. It seems that thanks to the suppression of the U.S. military again, the German army did not place too much security alert on its own defense line. They didn't even think that there would be an American soldier hiding in the night, slowly approaching their defensive fortress. Lin Zhu, who was hiding behind a certain mound, took a deep breath and looked at the shadow slowly approaching from one side. When the German soldier passed by him, Lin Zhu took action in an instant. With strong force, he instantly pressed the soldier's neck and pulled him to his side. Click, killing the German soldier instantly, Lin Zhu did not act in time, but listened carefully to the changes around him. Fortunately, this was the only one who passed by. He quickly took off his handsome German military uniform and put it on himself. Lin Zhu patted the uniform that unexpectedly fit him, with a look of satisfaction on his face, and then walked openly towards the hinterland of the German army. At this time, the U.S. military camp. Looking at the stormtroopers who had been bombed back, a U.S. military colonel's face was extremely pale. He finally rushed to the first line of German defense, but he didn't expect to be beaten back again. Looking far away at the German positions that were constantly flashing sparks, his expression was extremely gloomy. Soon, the senior U.S. military generals who heard the news came to the front line one after another. The news made them rush over from their original camps. With a fierce slap, the colonel who was mainly responsible for this matter was knocked to the ground. 
Major General Pilder's face was extremely gloomy, and the good situation in front of him seemed to be shattered in an instant. Just when he was hesitating whether to order a retreat, a gray-faced American soldier did give him a straight military salute with an excited face. Report, Chief Lin Zhu has gone deep into the hinterland. What? One German soldier after another quickly moved towards the first defense front to reinforce from all directions. The sudden and massive increase in U.S. military firepower attracted the attention of German officers, so they also began to send additional reinforcements to the front. In a certain bomb-proof cave, Lin Zhu poked his head around from time to time, looking for opportunities, because the continuous bombardment of artillery fire would occasionally illuminate the German camp shrouded in darkness. Feeling the decrease in the frequency of U.S. artillery bombardment, Lin Zhu sensed the nearby German soldiers. The next moment, he sprang out of the earth hole, and his figure instantly turned into afterimages. With the help of the cover of darkness, his figure quickly rushed towards a bunker. Bang 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 bang. There are fist-sized windows in the bunker, and the barrels of machine guns are submerged in them, constantly spitting out dazzling tongues of flame. At the same time, at the top of the bunker, a cannon adjusts its position and fires fierce fire from time to time. Because the first line of defense was once again held, all the German soldiers originally stationed in the bunker went to the front line for reinforcements, which brought a lot of opportunities to Lin Zhu. Taking out the grenade from his side, Lin Zhu pulled the line of fire, and then quickly threw the grenade into the bunker through a hole without a barrel. The soldiers in the bunker seemed unaware and were still immersed in the machine gun fire. Lin Zhu's body quickly rushed towards the second bunker. About a few seconds after he left, with a dull roar, the concrete bunker exploded instantly. The movement in the bunker instantly attracted the attention of the surrounding German soldiers. At first they thought it was something wrong with the soldiers in the bunker, but looking at the continuous roars in the bunker front, these soldiers finally realized the seriousness of the matter. At the same time, in a tower thousands of meters away from the German defense line, Major General Pilder, who was holding a telescope, had a flushed face. From his perspective, he could see bunkers emitting violent roars and dazzling fires. Inside the German lines the soldiers were in chaos. He placed the telescope in the hands of the sergeant beside him. Quick, call me the officers from all frontline camps. The U.S. military will launch a full-scale attack immediately. Yes. As a group of prepared non-commissioned officers around them quickly started making phone calls, the American soldiers on the front line of the battlefield suddenly heard gunshots again. With the help of fire cover, a group of American soldiers jumped out of the defense line and rushed towards the German lines bombarded by artillery fire. Major General, did Major Lin Zhu really succeed? A non-commissioned officer with the rank of Colonel quickly came to Pilder, with an incredible look on his face. Ha ha ha, good job. Lin, at this time, Major General Pilder was holding a telescope and watching the bunkers in the German camp that could be called meat grinders, exploding with roars, and watching the German line collapse. He kept praising Lin Zhu, if it weren't for Lin Zhu not being here, he would have couldn't help but hug the guy he liked so much. Boom boom boom. Along with the violent roar, the rear of the chaotic German army began to bombard again with artillery fire, along with the friendly forces that had not yet retreated from the front. The German commander looked ugly. At this moment, he was holding a telescope and watching the collapse of the camp in front, silently. The battle lasted until dawn, when the first rays of the sun shone on the trenches covered with blood and mutilated limbs. Reluctantly taking off his fit and handsome German military uniform, Lin Zhu slowly emerged from the collapsed bomb-proof hole. His whole body was mixed with dust and soil. His appearance instantly attracted the attention of the American soldiers who had occupied the German defense line at this moment. Major Lin is not dead. Oh my God, now I believe in the existence of God. Notify the commander quickly. One after another, the American soldiers ran up to Lin Zhu with crazy and adoring expressions. This made Lin Zhu, who had slept all night, feel flattered. The American soldiers directly lifted his body up and threw him fiercely into the sky. He caught it steadily and shouted his name loudly while celebrating the rare victory. It wasn't until the U.S. military sergeant found Lin Zhu who was thrown away in the crowd that these overly excited guys let Lin Zhu down. Call. With a gentle breath, Lin Zhu couldn't help but patted an extremely muscular American soldier next to him. He was the hardest hit just now. The American soldier looked at him with admiration. Immediately, 
under the leadership of the U.S. military noncommissioned officers and amid the cheers of the surrounding soldiers, Lin Zhu waved and walked towards the U.S. military camp with a smile. As the battle lines drew closer, the U.S. military camp began to move forward. Before they could reach the camp, under the leadership of Major General Pilder, a group of noncommissioned officers at least Lieutenant Colonel and above quickly walked towards Lin Zhu. Lin, my dearest friend, you are amazing. You are the bravest and strongest soldier I have ever seen. You are a well-deserved combat hero of the U.S. military. Major General Delder praised Lin Zhu profusely while running over and hugging Lin Zhu directly. Quote dot 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 quote. After gently patting the old man in front of him to calm his excited heart, Lin Zhu smiled and said calmly, this is the duty of a soldier. The duty that should be fulfilled. Good, good, you are worthy of being our fighting hero. Look, you guys, this is a real soldier. Pierre Day looked at Lin Zhu with admiration, and then looked at the noncommissioned officer with a smile behind him. The original admiration on his face disappeared instantly. Looking at this group of noncommissioned officers was like looking at a group of trash. Leading Lin Zhu into the marching cloak, Pierre Day took out the colonel rank that had been prepared long ago, walked straight to Lin Zhu, and put it on him solemnly. Colonel Lin Zhu, today you have become the only person in the history of the U.S. military who can be promoted to colonel in just one month. Pierre Day looked at Lin Zhu with admiration, and looked at Lin Zhu's calm face and saluted a standard military salute. He nodded slowly. He liked to see Lin Zhu's appearance of being indifferent to honor or disgrace. After the medal ceremony, Lin Zhu was dragged to enjoy a sumptuous lunch by this group of noncommissioned officers who were either admiring or flattering. What Australian lobster, North American snake meat, Zhongzhou turkey, steak and seafood are all available. Lin Zhu accepted them all and gave a positive meaning in his heart this is the most sumptuous meal he has eaten since he traveled through so many dimensions. After the delicious food and wine, Lin Zhu was told to have a good rest. After tossing and turning for a while, he finally returned to the warm bed. Good fellow, Captain America, I really tortured myself to see you, the protagonist of the plot. Lying in the dark green quilt, Lin Zhu stretched out his limbs, feeling helpless. The reason why he had to make continuous contributions to the U.S. military was to quickly improve his military rank. Only when it rose to a certain height, he would have a certain degree of freedom in the army. Otherwise, how could he find the Captain America, who should still be a thin guy, in the vast battlefield? The artillery fire between the German and American troops continued to bombard each other. Thanks to the occupation of the high ground by the American troops, the original decline gradually leveled off. The two sides fought back and forth. At the U.S. military camp, Major General Pilder called Lin Zhu over. Lin, this is the U.S. Army combat hero chest badge issued by the government to you. Slowly taking the five-pointed star-shaped badge and carrying it on his chest, Lin Zhu looked calmly at the old man who single-handedly promoted him to the colonel. I'm going to send you to a boot camp in New Jersey. How about being an instructor for the first batch of recruits? Boot camp in New Jersey. Lin Zhu's eyes lit up, and the forgotten memories echoed in his mind again. Yes, if Captain America hadn't turned into a super soldier, the first place he appeared should not be on the battlefield, but in that somewhat unusual recruit training camp. Well, I think that's where you can show your talents. Your kung fu and fearless spirit are worth passing on. Pilder's eyes were full of admiration. In his eyes, Lin Ju was like a rare piece of jade, exuding dazzling brilliance all the time, so much so that some of the soldiers he once valued were now invisible to his eyes. Yes. General, comma, as a U.S. military base vehicle slowly drove out of the camp, Major General Pilder watched Lin Zhu leave. At this moment, many school-level officers behind him breathed a sigh of relief. Lin Zhu was like a mountain pressing down on them, making it impossible for them to breathe. Even those with military rank had to fall behind. The soldier drove the armored vehicle seriously and secretly glanced at the rearview mirror from the corner of his eye. In the rearview mirror, Lin Zhu was sitting in the back of the armored vehicle, looking like he was concentrating with his eyes closed. The soldiers' eyes were full of adoration and admiration. In the boot camp, soldiers gathered together with excited expressions on their faces. They were obviously discussing something. The thin Steve was pushed to the outside of the crowd. He could hear the cheers and the few words interspersed by the soldiers. God, 
Do you know what news I just got? You have to say it, but now it has spread throughout the training camp. America's only combat hero is coming to our training camp, and he is said to be our instructor, my god. Ha ha, I can finally see this hero who defeated the German army. Battle hero. Steve's eyes showed envy. He was so thin that he couldn't imagine how proud it would be to have that title. Following the training instructor's scolding, the group of recruits quickly dispersed and rushed towards their training instructor one by one. Steve was no exception. However, perhaps because he was on the outside, the tall and powerful partner behind him knocked him to the ground in an instant. He just hurriedly apologized and then ran towards the instructor quickly, without any trace of it. Want to support him. Standing up a little staggeringly and saying it didn't matter, Steve stood up and found that all his friends had gathered at the instructor's place. He ran over anxiously, and sure enough, Steve, who was a step late, was pulled out by the instructor and scolded. Colonel Lin Ju is something you can discuss without even looking at how much you weigh. The burly instructor yelled and cursed loudly. Facing Steve, who was lowering his head at the moment, his saliva was spattered. Although he was scolding everyone in words, his words were directed at Steve. He was born to be strong, and he was originally very satisfied as an instructor in this camp, but he never expected that Chief Chester would assign him such a thin guy. In his opinion, Steve was even an ordinary soldier was incapable of doing this, let alone the soldiers he trained. This incident made him extremely grudged, and at the same time he was extremely strict with Steve. Day after day training began again, and it was not until Chester took Carter and others to inspect the recruit camp that the instructor stopped the training of these recruits. Looking past the burly recruits with firm eyes, Chester showed a look of satisfaction, until he looked down and noticed Steve, whose chest was rising violently at this moment, and who looked unusually thin. Noticing his gaze, the instructor couldn't help but stepped forward, Sir, I still think Steve is not suitable to be an American soldier at all. The sharp words did not change Steve's expression at all, but the keen Chester still noticed the flash of loss in the corner of his eyes. A smile appeared on his lips, and just when Chester was about to say something, all the soldiers, including the non-commissioned officers, exclaimed. The recruits in front of them also looked at each other, and then they were all shocked and incredulous. An Asian man with a tall figure and handsome appearance slowly walked towards them. Along the way, both soldiers and non-commissioned officers showed reverence in their eyes. The person who came was none other than Lin Ju. As the only combat hero in the U.S. military, Lin Ju's photos have already spread throughout the U.S. military and even made headlines in American newspapers. It's hard not to recognize that special and handsome Asian face. When Lin Ju arrived, even Chester, who currently held the highest official position in the military camp, couldn't help but step forward and greet him with a smile. Slowly shook hands with the founder of S.H.I.E.L.D. who changed his mind due to a grenade in the original work and single-handedly promoted Captain America to a superhero. Colonel Lin Ju, your arrival has set the camp in New Jersey on fire. Chester said lame words of praise, looking at Lin Ju as if he were looking at someone who was his equal. Even though Lin Ju's face looks extremely young. Behind him, Carter and others suppressed their excitement and stared intently at Lin Ju's face, as if they wanted to find out why the man in front of them could break through the German blockade with a mortal body and create that incredible legend. Hello, Colonel Chester, are you honored to be the new instructor of this training camp? Lin Ju smiled and gently let go of Chester's hand. He looked at the recruits who were still standing there, but their heads turned around. He saw a thin figure at a glance. At this time, the originally serious training instructor also followed behind Chester with admiration on his face. Slowly walking past them, Lin Ju came to the recruits and looked at the energetic and muscular soldiers casually. Intentionally or unintentionally, his eyes paused slightly at Steve, who was standing upright with firm eyes. The instructor who had been paying attention to Lin Ju noticed something strange about Lin Ju and quickly shouted, Steve, you can go back to the camp to rest. Steve's face instantly turned pale, and he couldn't tell that the trainer was disgracing him. The eyes of everyone around him were focused on him, including the existence he now admired, and he felt as if the sky was falling, making him breathless. Just when he was about to turn around and leave, suddenly, Lin Ju, who was standing in front, slowly took out a grenade from his side, pulled the fire hydrant directly, and threw it casually in front of the recruits. 
accompanied by the sound of a grenade falling to the ground. The expressions of everyone on the field changed drastically. Only Lin Ju looked at the grenade that fell to the ground expressionlessly. Almost subconsciously, everyone began to flee around, and the recruits who were closer fell to the ground one by one. At this moment, except for Lin Ju, who was still standing where he was, there was only a thin figure, facing the retreating wave. Rush forward. Under Lin Ju's gaze, he instantly fell to the ground, held the grenade in his arms with his body, curled up, and looked at Lin Ju in panic, who still hadn't left. Sir, run. As if worried that the grenade explosion would affect Lin Ju, his body tightened again, as if he wanted to do his best to reduce the damage of the grenade. For a long time, the grenade did not explode. Everyone stood up slowly, and Chester looked at Steve in astonishment, who was currently curling up and trying to stop the explosion. Carter, who was standing aside, looked at the thin man who was still lying on the ground with extraordinary eyes. Everyone stared blankly at Steve who was still yelling at them to stay away from him. Bang bang bang. Applauding slowly, a smile appeared on Lin Ju's face. He walked straight to Steve, who was a little confused at this moment, grabbed his thin shoulder with one hand, and pulled him up from the ground. Sir, Steve looked at the motionless grenade in his arms. At this time, he still didn't understand that this grenade would not explode at all. His eyes were deliberately focused on the badge on Steve's chest, and Lin Ju said loudly, You are very good, Steve. His words broke the silence in the field. Everyone was stunned for a moment and quickly agreed. Even the trainer who was originally full of contempt for Steve couldn't help but praise Steve's bravery. Steve stared blankly at the smiling Asian man in front of him, as if he saw a ray of light piercing his heart shrouded in darkness. On the side, Chester's eyes also changed. He came to Lin Ju and saluted slowly, I was short-sighted before. Before, he did not stop the trainer from scolding Steve and asked him to return to the camp, and subconsciously approved of his actions at that time. Now, Lin Ju's actions seemed to be clearly telling them what a real trainer was. Soldier. Slowly patting Steve, who was staring closely at him, Lin Ju walked up to the training officer with a different look. There are always people who feel that weak people do not deserve the respect they deserve, and blindly judge a valuable person based on their apparent appearance. How stupid this person must be. Lin Ju looked directly at the training officer who lowered his head tightly and did not dare to look at him. Everyone focused their eyes on him. Major Huo Suo, do you dare to spar with me? My stature is smaller than yours, so you have a great chance of winning. Lin Ju looked at the tall and burly training officer in front of him and said calmly. Wow, all the soldiers and non-commissioned officers gathered were excited. Everyone wanted to see the fighting hero, and the admiration in Steve's eyes was even more difficult to contain. Looking at the Asian young man standing in front of him in astonishment, Huo Suo noticed the gazes around him. He couldn't help but feel a flash of embarrassment in his heart, but then he wanted to be strong, and an inexplicable fire rose in his heart. After looking at the upright young man standing in the field with his arms folded, and comparing their physiques, Huo Suo finally let go of his reverence, and suddenly a strange thought came to his mind. What if I defeat the only combat hero in the US military in front of me? Major Huo Suo, why don't you back down? Chester couldn't help scolding him, but Lin Ju waved his hand. Colonel Chester, I allow Major Huo Suo to have a one-on-one -on -one PK with me. Colonel Lin Ju, this. Slowly reaching out his hand and gently hooking it, Lin Ju looked at the burly soldier in front of him whose eyes seemed to be burning with fire. The next moment, amid everyone's exclamations, Huo Suo suddenly stepped forward and punched Lin Ju's head hard. However, the next moment, his head turned slightly to the side, as if to avoid it in advance, and Huo Suo's fist passed by him instantly. His eyes were slightly shaken, Huo Suo clenched his teeth, and soon he threw away a set of fast combination punches. However, Lin Ju only swayed slightly and easily dodged one after another of his seemingly sharp attacks. Turning slightly sideways, he easily dodged a kick accompanied by strong wind. Lin Ju took a step back and looked at Huo Suo, who was stepping forward again, ready to pursue the victory. Major Huo Suo, I allowed you to beat me so many times, now it's my turn, right? While dodging quickly and smiling, the seemingly relaxed Lin Ju's eyes suddenly froze. Then, under the incredulous gazes of everyone, he punched through Huo Suo's arm and hit his generous chin hard. 
With such quick dodge and counterattack, everything happened in a blink of an eye. Everyone looked at Lin Ju in disbelief. Some even opened their mouths unconsciously, obviously shocked for a moment. Boom, Huo Suo's eyes turned white, and his body jumped up high in an instant. Under the incredible gazes of everyone, he flew straight into the air, and then fell hard to the ground. When he fell to the ground, he fainted instantly. One hit Ko. There was silence in the field. No one expected the scene in front of them. Huo Suo's combat skills were recognized by everyone in the training camp, otherwise he would not be recommended to become the training officer of the camp. However, such a combat experience a man with rich fighting skills, but despite his best efforts, he failed to attack Lin Ju and was knocked to the ground by his punch. As this America's only fighting hero, someone couldn't help but murmur to himself, all the soldiers cheered deafeningly, and even Steve looked at Lin Ju with excitement. As for Colonel Chester and other non-commissioned officers on the side, they all showed respect and admiration. As expected of Colonel Lin Ju, the fastest promoted man in the history of the U.S. military. As if he didn't see the person beneath him, Chester stepped over Huo Suo, who had fainted on the ground, and came to Lin Ju with a look of wonder on his face. It's nothing. I didn't do this to humiliate Major Huo Suo. I want to tell you a truth. Never look down on anyone who has ambitions and ideals. Lin felt his eyes pass through the cheering soldiers and look quietly at Steve, who was also looking at him at the moment. This caused the soldiers to step aside one after another, and some soldiers who had despised Steve before couldn't help but began to apologize to Steve. Everyone knew that the great Colonel Lin Ju valued Steve very much. At this moment, he could no longer how dare one look down on this thin man. As the recruits returned to their dormitories, Huo Suo, who was unconscious on the ground, was carried to the medical center on a stretcher by several soldiers. Lin Ju looked at Steve who turned around three times and smiled slightly. This was exactly the result he wanted. Use your best for me. Let me see your value. Lin Ju shouted in a deep voice, looking at the recruits who were crouching on the ground and quickly climbing over the obstacles. Although his eyes were scanning all the recruits, in fact, his attention was always focused on a thin guy, body. It's Steve. Lin Ju, who took over the training camp, has been here for almost more than a month. Under his supervision this month, Steve has made rapid progress, but due to innate factors in physical fitness, Steve still lags behind others. Colonel Lin Ju. Suddenly, a soldier from the side quickly ran over, slowly leaned into Lin Ju's ear, and began to speak some words. Frowning slightly, Lin Ju followed the soldier slowly to the command camp of the recruit camp. At this time, Colonel Chester was talking on the phone, and when he noticed Lin Ju, he hung up the phone. Lin, you have been in charge of recruit training for such a long time, I should tell you the above plan. As expected, Lin Ju acted like he was all ears. The German army has mastered extraordinary technology, and the superiors decided to launch the Super Soldier Project to deal with this crisis. Super Soldier Plan Lin Ju pretended to be confused. Chester quickly described the plan in detail to Lin Ju. So, the military now needs an absolutely loyal soldier to participate in the so-called Super Soldier Transformation Program. That's right, and the opinions I gave above prove that the candidate is. Steve, Lin Ju said in a cross voice without hesitation. He felt that if he didn't say the name, something unexpected might happen. Sure enough, Chester smiled bitterly. Actually, I think you are more suitable. Lin Ju waved his hand, and his voice was full of no doubt. Steve is the most suitable candidate, and he is also the loyal soldier who needs the transformation of a super soldier the most. Lin, do you know what a super soldier means? For the first time, I admire a person so much. I would like to formally invite you to join our newly established Homeland Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Agency. Ha, Lin Ju's face was stunned. Shield, comma, on the other side, after receiving the latest news, Carter couldn't wait to come to the rookie training camp and found Steve, who was still sweating. Looking at the admiring figure, Steve felt a little confused. The soldiers around him kept joking and praising Carter's beauty. Carter nodded to the soldiers one by one, and then came to Steve who was trying not to look at her. Steve, come with me. Quote question mark quote. Under everyone's confused expressions, Carter slowly led Steve to the front of the truck and took him to sit in the back seat of the car. Steve, 
who was still a little confused about the situation, looked at Carter blankly. Colonel Lin Zhu recommended you to participate in this plan. I hope you will not disappoint him. What, Colonel Lin Zhu? Steve's expression, which was still a little awkward at first, suddenly turned serious, promised to complete the mission. Although he didn't know what the mission was, he knew that Lin Zhu would not harm him, because he was the person he admired most and the first person who made him feel the presence of light. Carter looked at the thin man in front of her with a complicated expression. There was an indescribable meaning in her heart. Worry, happiness, and doubt were all mixed together. Have you ever danced? Dancing. I didn't dance. Maybe I didn't dance well. Steve looked a little depressed. No girl wants to dance with me. Would you like to have a dance with me after this war? The crisp words instantly cut through Steve's somewhat depressed heart. Looking at Carter's cunning big eyes, Steve's heart was beating crazily, and then he nodded fiercely. For a long time, the two looked at each other and smiled. As the truck drove to an extremely strictly guarded military factory, Carter returned to his serious expression again and led Steve quickly through the underground factory. Until he arrived at the experimental area located in the core security area of the factory, Steve immediately spotted Lin Ju, who had an outstanding temperament among the crowd. Colonel, Lin Ju walked forward slowly with a smile on his face and patted Steve on the shoulder. Steve, you wouldn't mind if I recommended you to participate in this experiment, would you? It would be my pleasure, Colonel. Steve looked excited, and he didn't understand the importance of this experiment. On the way, Carter explained to him what this experiment meant. The original candidate for the experiment was Colonel Lin Ju, the only combat hero in the United States. You can do it for sure. Giving the young man in front of him an affirmative look, Lin Ju turned around to face Professor Erskine, who was leading the experiment. What a pity, Colonel, I really look forward to you participating in this experiment. Erskine looked at Lin Ju with burning eyes. The super soldier reagent he invented was used on America's only fighting hero, and even he couldn't help bragging to his old friends. Ha ha, the person I recommended must be more suitable than me. Lin Ju quickly pulled the somewhat bewildered Steve to him. Steve looked at the people who were looking at him at the moment, and gave a standard military salute with a firm expression on his face. See you again, Steve. Abraham Erskine looked at his original candidate with soft eyes. The candidate in his mind before was Steve because he was upright, kind and brave. Later, Lin Ju, who was too dazzling, also came into his sight. With the advice of a member of the House of Representatives and an army officer, he selected Lin Ju. Unexpectedly, Lin Ju actually recommended Steve, and in a roundabout way, he returned to his original plan. Steve looked at the middle-aged man who sent him into the army, with a hint of surprise in his eyes. He never thought that the person in front of him who had met him once was the person in charge of this experiment. Erskine patted Steve's shoulder gently. Soon, Steve, with the help of the experimenters on the side, slowly came to a huge copper airtight container. Lin Ju looked at this familiar scene and couldn't help but feel a little excited. The main plot line had finally begun. His eyes paused slightly on a certain figure in the crowd, and a smile appeared on Lin Ju's face. Soon, a familiar picture came into view. As Steve was injected with the super soldier serum and subjected to high-intensity voltage, he finally couldn't hold back and let out a scream. Just when everyone was about to suspend the voltage, Steve screamed. Roaring. I can still do it, please increase the battery to the maximum. He looked at Lin Ju, Carter, Chester and others through the glass display window. At this moment, he didn't want to disappoint anyone who valued him. Under Professor Erskine's shocked eyes, the power was increased to the maximum, but Steph, who originally screamed from time to time, did not groan in pain again. Okay, okay, Erskine couldn't help but praise him repeatedly. After Carter opened the instrument in a panic, everyone looked at the scene in front of them with their mouths open. The originally scrawny little man had disappeared, and a tall, muscular man lay quietly inside. Incredible, incredible, is this a super soldier? Chester walked forward with eyes full of shock. Carter was standing in front of the newly rejuvenated Steve. He couldn't help but reach out and touch the bulging pectoralis major muscles. How does it feel? A strange color flashed in her eyes, and she asked curiously. Feeling high, looking at this iconic scene, Lin Ju felt extremely interesting. This was definitely Carter's true expression. 
Steve slowly scanned the crowd. He finally looked at the crowd from an angle where he no longer had to look up. He touched the bulging muscles on his arms. He could feel the extraordinary strength hidden under these muscles. Looking at Lin Ju, who was smiling at the moment, Steve said excitedly and sincerely, Thank you. Colonel. Looking at Dr. Erskine aside, Thank you for your continued help, Doctor. Ha ha ha, my super soldier serum is completely successful. He patted Steve's shoulder hard, and Dr. Erkins looked pleased. His eyes swept across the crowd, and suddenly he seemed to notice something, his expression big changes. The next moment, there was a gunshot. Boom, Erkins' chest was instantly penetrated by a bullet. After a man in a suit fired the gun, he immediately activated the detonator in his hand. Before anyone could react, a violent explosion shook the entire factory, and the glass exploded instantly. He rushed straight towards the serum, took the only remaining one without hesitation, and then ran away quickly. The congressmen and military officers hidden in the crowd roared. Go after it. The soldiers rushed out of the factory in panic. Lin Ju glanced at Steve, who was lying in front of Erkins. He knew that Steve at this moment, after this incident, would completely become the hero that he has become throughout the Marvel series. The important protagonist, Captain America, who implements absolute kindness and justice. Looking at the dying Erkins, Lin Ju's eyes flickered and he slowly came to Steve. Seeing Erkins stretch out his hand and tap Steve's chest with difficulty, the tacit understanding between the two instantly made Steve understand the meaning of this action, and he nodded fiercely. Seeing Erkins' arm slowly lowering, the angry Steve turned his head and rushed towards the spy. Lin Ju came to Erkins, who seemed to be dead, and gently leaned against his ear as if listening to his pulse. How about it? Chester, whose sight was blocked, asked anxiously. Lin Ju slowly put down Erkin's body and shook his head helplessly. Colonel, please catch that spy. A member of Congress asked Lin Ju anxiously. He did not trust Steve. In his eyes, Lin Ju should be the one to chase him out. Nodding, Lin Ju looked at Steve's leaving figure and looked above the factory. The next moment, he grabbed a railing and used both arms to push his whole body up to the deck of the second floor in an instant. Amid the exclamations of the military officers and congressmen, Lin Ju's body was sharp. He climbed over obstacles like a parkour master, jumped out along the roof of the second floor of the factory, and disappeared by the window edge. On the other side, Steve, who was chasing after him, jumped quickly and rushed towards the outside of the factory at an extraordinary speed. With his agility, he passed one soldier after another in the blink of an eye, looking at the hurried soldier from a distance. The fleeing figure. Since there were no obstacles above, Lin Ju quickly passed Steve, who was currently affected by the spy bomb and hiding behind the obstacles. Until he completely left the scope of the military base, he jumped off the roof and was about to speed up again. A figure passed by him as fast as lightning. Every time a foot hit the stone bricks, a violent explosion would erupt, shock. Lin Ju's eyes narrowed slightly, and he subconsciously put out his plan. Steve, who only had eyes for spies at this time, did not notice anything unusual about Lin Ju. He just thought he was an officer chasing a spy midway. Because he had just gained extraordinary strength, he was still unable to fully control this strong body. He exploded with all his strength, and every time he struck, he would accidentally rush out of the path due to the force. Finally, due to excessive force, he slammed into an obstacle on the side. A figure came in front of Captain America and pulled his burly body up. The powerful force made Steve feel a little scared, and he looked at the man beside him in disbelief. Colonel, you're not very familiar with power yet. Just take it easy and I'll chase you. Yes. Looking at Steve who was slowly standing up from the ruins, Lin Ju's mouth curled up slightly, and he ran towards the man quickly. His speed was also very fast, but it was far from as exaggerated as Steve's, and he only maintained normal speed. The limit of what a person can achieve. Until he lost sight of Steve, Lin Ju suddenly increased his speed and caught up with the vehicle that had just been driving. He smashed the glass with a punch and directly pulled the man out. Looking at the serum that was about to fall to the ground, the man instantly grabbed it in his hand. The change in the plot made Lin Ju slightly stunned. The next moment, the man's figure quickly pulled a child from beside him, and the gun in his hand instantly pointed, holding the child's head. 
etc. Lin Ju quickly stretched out his hand to signal and said that he would not get close. The next moment, with the sound of a gunshot, Lin Ju fell to the ground instantly. No, behind him, Steve, who had just ran out of the street, happened to see this scene and roared fiercely. His eyes were splitting, and he instantly jumped up from not far away from the street, jumping up to a height of three meters in the air. Hydra the spy was so frightened that he pushed the child next to him onto his shoulder and jumped into the river from the other side. Steve was about to run to Lin Ju to check his injuries, but Lin Ju reached out to stop him, and said with a pale face, go and see the child. Quote dot 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 exclamation mark quote. Steve felt a pain in his heart. He endured the grief and ran to the side and looked at the place where the child was declining. He saw the child holding the water with his hands and said anxiously, leave me alone. I can swim. Steve rushed to Lin Ju again, and touched Lin Ju's chest where blood was slowly flowing with trembling hands. It's okay. This little injury can't do anything to me. I charged the German camp and was bombarded by fragmentation grenades at close range. Go chase that guy. Lin Ju's body was, trembling, and he said with a smile. Looking at Steve who was still hesitant, he couldn't help but reach out and pat his broad shoulder. Finally, Steve gritted his teeth slowly laid Lin Juping on the ground, and rushed in the direction where the man ran. Seeing the black shadow rushing away in the river, Steve instantly jumped off the bridge and jumped directly into the cold river water, chasing the submarine that had started. However, due to a delay in checking Lin Ju's injury, Steve could only watch the submarine speed away under fierce acceleration. Knowing that it was too late, he got out of the water dejectedly. Then he realized what he was doing and swam towards the bridge. When he returned to the bridge, he happened to see a group of soldiers carrying a steel frame and slowly lifting Lin Ju, towards a military truck. He quickly stepped forward, but Carter and others who were following the truck stopped him, don't worry, we will take the colonel to the best hospital. Carter looked around Steve worriedly, and she was slightly relieved when she found no wounds. Soon, the last serum was taken away by German spies, Professor Erkins died of his injuries, and the news that Colonel Lin Ju was shot and seriously injured spread throughout the U.S. Congress. Amid strong rebuke from the American Congress, the U.S. military once again launched a large-scale bombing of the German army. This bombing lasted for a full week. In a short period of time, it instantly affected the German army's arrogance on the battlefield. Comma. In a certain military camp, Steve, who had put back his military uniform, looked at Colonel Chester in front of him with dejected eyes. You can't go to the battlefield. You are our most valuable asset. Quote dot 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 quote. Stay and participate in the condolences organized by the U.S. military this time, so that you can use your light and heat. At the same time, we will also see if we can extract the raw materials of the serum from your blood during this period. Chester slowly patted Captain America's shoulder and sighed slightly, then strode away. At this moment, only Carter and Steve, who looked downcast, were left in the tent. How's the colonel doing? Steve couldn't help but ask. Apart from his own problems, what he was most worried about now was Lin Ju. Don't worry, he is out of danger and is currently recuperating. By the way, he asked me to tell you that you are no longer the same person you were before. You must adhere to Professor Erskine's final teachings. Carter stared at Steve's face quietly. Nodding his head fiercely, Steve turned around and left the military camp. He wanted to follow the orders from above and carry out condolence activities. Chapter 71 After getting off the hospital bed, Lin Ju slowly stretched his limbs. After lying there for such a long time, he felt that his body bones were going numb. He even had to do some self-mutilation from time to time in order to maintain his wounds. All of this is to make him look ordinary. Fortunately, today finally came the right time for him, and he was allowed to leave the hospital bed after his injury recovered. A member of Congress came to him with a smile on his face. Colonel Lin Ju, are you feeling better? Much better. With a simple smile on his face, Lin Ju knew that these politicians liked people like this. Sure enough. The smile on the congressman's face became brighter and brighter. Soon, under his leadership, Lin Ju walked out of the military hospital, got into a black jeep, and drove away. Comma. In a camp located in the United States, Lin Ju looked at the people waiting for him and saw at a glance a certain Howard Stark who looked very similar to Iron Man. At the same time, 
Iron Man's father stood beside him. By Chester and Carter et al. The last founder of our strategic homeland defense attack and logistics support agency is finally here. Chester was the first to applaud, and Howard and others applauded with smiles on their faces, including several members of Congress. Seeing that you are taking so much trouble to wait for me, there must be some task that I need to complete. Lin Ju said directly. Colonel Lin guessed it right. We do have a difficult task at the moment. After thinking about it, only you are qualified. A congressman spoke first, with a look of admiration on his face, while Chester and others on the side showed hesitation. Howard walked out of the crowd and looked directly at Lin Ju. Our most important serum has been lost. Currently, according to the information collected by the agents we sent out, this serum is very likely to be obtained by Hydra hidden behind the scenes of the German army. Quote, Hydra, Lin Ju pretended to be confused. Howard and others told Lin Ju all the information about Hydra. They believed that Lin Ju, as one of the founders, had the right to know this information and the significance of the establishment of their department. Alien technology, super weapons, and the Red Skull, the leader of Hydra who seems to have been transformed. Lin Ju's eyes flashed with solemnity, but soon he looked as if he had made some kind of determination. I've taken over the task of finding the serum. His words instantly shocked everyone present, and everyone had a look of admiration on their faces. After all, in Lin Ju's current position, many things do not need to be done personally, but just knowing what the United States has encountered after the difficulty, he just walked out of the ward and took on this mission that was definitely a narrow escape. Even Howard, who was not very familiar with Lin Ju, couldn't help but admire him. Colonel, do you want to get ready? Just take some rest, Carter asked softly with a frown. As someone who was familiar with Lin Ju, she was one of the few people present who couldn't bear Lin Ju's participation in the mission. As a soldier, Lin Ju was also the object of her admiration. She did not want to watch the most outstanding soldier of the U.S. military lose his life in this secret mission that was unknown to everyone. However, Lin Ju waved his hand with a smile, declined Carter's kindness, and asked softly, How is Steve? I have seen information about him in the newspapers these days. Steve is exerting his own value. A member of Congress quickly interjected. He did not want Lin Ju to change the action plan they had set up for Steve, the so-called U.S. military condolences plan. After all, with Lin Ju's well-deserved status as a combat hero, the rank of colonel, and the status as the founder of the Homeland Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Agency, it would be difficult for them to raise objections. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, I hope he can make his due contribution. Lin Ju said softly. He naturally knew that Steve was currently doing some so-called military condolences while creating a new image of a combat hero and uniting the U.S. military. Momentum, while in order to extract the serum from Steve's body. Soon, under the preparation of the military, a total of 20 or 30 special forces members gathered in front of Lin Ju. Looking at the admiring eyes of the soldiers in front of him, Lin Ju paused slightly at a familiar face and then whispered softly. He shouted, I will be with you on this mission. I hope you can regard me as your friend. We will return victorious. Triumphant return. These soldiers shouted with fanaticism. They never expected that the person leading this mission would be the legendary Colonel Lin Ju. Looking at the soldiers below who instantly boosted their morale, the members of Congress above the factory smiled. This was exactly the effect they wanted. As for the founders on the other side, they all looked sad because they saw the dangers of this operation. Slowly getting on the military truck, Lin Ju's figure sped away under the gaze of all the senior officials. All the soldiers, including military personnel, looked solemn and watched until Lin Ju's figure disappeared from their sight. Comma, day and night, from military trucks to carrier aircraft, Lin Ju stared at the dense forest below, his heart beating slowly. Unexpectedly, my first high-altitude bungee jump reached the highest level of difficulty. Immediately, he jumped down under the admiring eyes of the soldiers behind him. As he jumped down, the soldiers behind him quickly followed behind him. They glided and dispersed in midair, and at a short distance from the ground, they instantly opened parachute, while flying towards a target. When his feet touched the soft soil, Lin Ju's heart calmed down a little. He was afraid that his group would be discovered by the Hydra agents hiding in various places in midair, and they would be shot directly in midair. Then let him he felt bad. 
After all, he knew that Hydra now used the Cosmic Cube to master an extremely terrifying weapon, and he was sure that that weapon could kill him with one shot. He quickly found the other soldiers who had landed. All the soldiers were silent and looked at Lin Ju, waiting for Lin Ju's next order. After checking the firearms and bullets, Lin Ju took the lead and rushed towards the dense forest. Their mission route had already been planned. Moving quickly through the dense forest, these soldiers are among the best in the army. Each of them possesses excellent stealth skills. They are like ghosts, weaving through the dense forest at night. It wasn't until the faint sound of conversation appeared in the forest that Lin Ju slowly stopped. At his signal, all the soldiers formed an arc and gathered around the place where the sound came from. Brush. After the German scout complained, Lin Ju's figure quickly ran to the treetops. With a little force on his hands, he climbed up quickly and quietly, until he was less than half a meter away from the scout's back. The soldier didn't notice it and looked behind him. However, at the next moment, Lin Ju's figure immediately moved forward. A flash of light flashed as fast as lightning, and the dagger in his hand pierced his throat heavily with a horrified expression. Poof, the body subconsciously fell towards the tree, but Lin Ju reached out to catch it, and then slowly placed it on the branch of the tree. Lin Ju looked around quickly, and after noticing that there were no other eyeliners nearby, he quickly motioned to Bucky and others. This group of American soldiers looked at Lin Ju who jumped down from the tree with admiration. They were filled with excitement but could not express it, so they could only express their inner emotions with their eyes. However, their gazes made Lin Ju couldn't help but get goosebumps all over his body. Soon, the group of people arrived at the German secret factory safely and secretly after Lin Ju killed four guards in turn. Looking at the heavily guarded Hydra base ahead, Lin Ju finally felt a bit of pressure. He might not have to worry too much about ordinary bullets, but super guns that used space gem energy as bullets forced him to guard against them. If he accidentally gets hit, he will be in so much pain that he can't even tell the story. At this time, he finally couldn't help but command the soldiers who had been following him but had not made any contribution. After instructing the group to divide into two waves to deal with the guards on both sides, they divided into two teams and quickly approached the German camp with the help of the cover of night. Fortunately, these German troops seemed to be overconfident in their base camp. Although they were patrolling back and forth, they were not very serious. The soldiers who found the right opportunity rushed forward and knocked down the group of German soldiers. After a fierce struggle, thanks to Lin Ju's help, they quickly completed the attack. Slowly opening the factory door, Lin Ju hesitated and walked in first. However, with a violent gunshot, he was instantly shot in the chest. This group of German soldiers has already been ambushing here. Lin Ju, who was shot in the body, was quickly helped out by the soldiers behind him. The two sides began to engage in fierce gunfire. With the gunshots coming one after another, Lin Ju, who had superb eyesight and good marksmanship, quickly killed the guard at the entrance of the factory. As he gritted his teeth, Lin Ju couldn't help cursing secretly. In the previous episodes, he only knew that Bucky and others were captured, but he didn't know how they were captured. Now he knows that his whereabouts from the beginning have been revealed. Exposed, there is a mole in shield. At this moment, the idea in his mind of killing the Red Skull forcefully and depriving him of his abilities came to an abrupt end. When Lin felt a retreat, all the soldiers opened fire and retreated to the jungle behind. At the same time, as a huge hole was suddenly blasted out of the brick wall, German super soldiers armed with strange guns emerged from the ruins and shot Lin Ju and others without hesitation. Lin Ju's pupils suddenly shrank when he saw with his own eyes that a soldier was hit because he didn't check for a while. Evacuate. No, we can't leave the colonel behind. Bucky shouted loudly, and the American soldiers who were retreating stopped one after another and returned behind Lin Ju again, shouting that they wanted to live and die with Lin Ju. Some even said that it was his honor to die fighting with Lin Ju. Lin Ju's face was touched, and in his heart 10,000 grassland horses were galloping in the grassland. Listen to me, thank you so much. If you don't run away, how can I fully activate my ability to escape? At this time, Lin Ju wanted to beat up Bucky, but looking at the eyes that looked at death, he could only sigh helplessly. With the rapid exchange of fire between the two sides, Thanks to the superiority of weapons, the German army's firepower was extremely fierce, which once oppressed Lin Ju and others from showing their faces. 
As a big hole was suddenly blasted out of the pit in front of him, Lin Ju was so frightened that he almost transformed into the form of a bleeding god. After looking at the strange movements in the jungle behind them, the expressions of all the soldiers changed. They didn't know it, but they seemed to have become a turtle in a jar. Break out separately. With a sharp shout, Lin Ju couldn't bear it any longer and ordered loudly. He took the lead to escape. Finally, this time, all the soldiers did not hesitate and fled in all directions. Lin Ju looked at a relatively peaceful forest somewhere and hurriedly ran in that direction. With the German non-commissioned officer yelling loudly, all the German soldiers chased after the American soldiers who were fleeing. Noticing the tranquility around him, Lin Ju breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, he finally let go of his hands and feet, and his body turned into afterimages, moving quickly among the woods. In the dense forest ahead, rows of searching and encircling German soldiers suddenly met Lin Ju. After quietly killing two German soldiers with two lightning-fast punches, Lin Ju walked away. Not far away, the German soldiers who reacted scrambled into a group and chased in the direction of Lin Ju. At the same time, Bucky and others, who had arrived late, noticed the strange movements of this group of German soldiers. Sir must have lured them away so that we could escape. A soldier looked sad and said in a cry. Bucky and others showed admiration, and taking this opportunity, they quickly ran towards the place where the German army seemed to have lost its guard. After running for a full 20 or 30 minutes, more than a dozen American soldiers, including Bucky, crouched on the ground one by one, gasping for air. Even though they were well trained, they could not withstand such a high intensity running. One by one, they slowly leaned against the tree trunk. Oh, I don't know what happened to the commander. He distracted so many German soldiers by himself. Could it be? Snapped. Bucky couldn't help but slap the soldier on the head, causing him to look back angrily. Colonel Lin Ju is the only combat hero of the U.S. military. He is a myth. He is a legendary figure who was trapped in the German camp and blew up 14 bunkers. Do you think he will be like you? Bucky couldn't help but curse. The soldier's angry gaze suddenly stopped, and a trace of shame flashed across his face. Let's go, we have to break out as soon as possible before we can call for reinforcements to come back and help the colonel. Go, where do you want to go? A slightly mocking word sounded from the dense forest. The expressions of Bucky's people suddenly changed, and their eyes looked towards the forest in astonishment. I saw a German soldier holding a submachine gun, pointing at them from a distance. They didn't know when they were surrounded. Looking at the several soldiers holding strange guns among this group of German soldiers, Bucky and others looked desperate at this moment. After the German non-commissioned officer gave a sharp shout, the surrounding soldiers stepped forward and pushed them to the ground. Amidst shouts and curses, Steve walked off the stage in despair. He understood why the soldiers below the stage were so excited. What new American superhero? Who does he think he is? He can be ranked with Colonel Lin Ju. What on earth is the government doing? The new American war hero, which battle did he fight in? Doing those funny and ugly dances on stage. Get those ladies on board, I can't stand that Steve. One after another, the whole hall was filled with curses and shouts. Even though various officers were scolding, the soldiers still did not stop swearing, and some non-commissioned officers even joined in. The entire venue was in chaos until a group of girls in cheerleading uniforms ran onto the stage. The angry soldiers slowly stopped and patiently watched the girls perform on the stage. Slowly walking out of the back of the stage, Steve gently threw the cloak on the ground. He was already a little tired of this kind of life. From the novelty at the beginning to the numbness now, he didn't know where to go. An entourage quickly came to him. Steve, Chief Carter is looking for you. Steve suddenly raised his head, a hint of joy flashed in his eyes, and quickly rushed to the camp behind the stage. Some tent. The military finally let me join the operation. No, I just hope you can participate. Carter looked at Steve, who had not seen him for many days. At this time, his face looked a little haggard. She had also heard about the rumors about the army. This is why she found him. Reason. Perhaps only you can complete this task now. Quote question mark quote. Slowly, he revealed the information that Lin Ju had been on a mission during this period, but the information was revealed by spies, causing them to be ambushed, and that all of them were now missing. What? Colonel Lin Ju is also missing, and Bucky too. 
Steve was stunned when he heard the bad news. One piece of news hit two heavy blows. One was his mentor, the superior who appreciated him and changed his life, and the other was his good friend since childhood. Now the two of them are. The most important people all suffered misfortune because of one thing. Unable to help hugging Steve, Carter didn't know how to comfort this upright young man. I am willing to go and I must go. Steve looked at Carter with firm eyes. At this time, he had never been so determined in his goal. Under Carter's leadership, Steve finally returned to the training camp after a long absence. Looking at the familiar venue where he had sweated, Steve had a complicated expression on his face. He seemed to see Lin Ju's figure, his eyes of affirmation and praise when he was training himself. Lin Ju's arrival was like a beam of light cutting through the darkness, illuminating his small world at that time. Steve's arrival also surprised some of his former partners. After not seeing each other for a short period of time, they almost couldn't recognize this guy who was once the weakest. The news of Colonel Lin Ju's disappearance has not been announced yet, so I still hope you will not reveal this news. Otherwise, it will easily affect the morale of the current U.S. military. Carter walked up to Steve and said softly. Steve nodded slowly. As a soldier, why didn't he understand Lin Ju's popularity in the army? It can be said that not only the U.S. military, but also civilians in the United States often talk about that person. Heroic deeds. Taking a deep breath, Steve walked toward the familiar soldiers with a firm look on his face. Under Carter's order, the iron-blooded training camp was operating quickly, and soon a military truck drove in front of the two men. Steve got into the truck. Do you really don't need to arrange some soldiers to follow you? Carter asked again with a worried look on her face. Even though she had seen Steve's abilities, she still couldn't help but worry. No need. I am no longer what I used to be. You know that, Steve said in a deep voice with a firm face. Soon the truck sped away, stopped in front of a military airport, and slowly got on the plane Carter had arranged in advance. Under such high-efficiency operation, Steve ran from the condolences group to the sky above the German territory in just three days. At midnight, Steve shouldered his parachute bag and looked toward the endless jungle below. Colonel, did you land here too? Steve muttered to himself, then jumped off the plane. The strong wind howled, and his figure fell straight down like a sharp sword. He had been landing at high speed, and he opened his parachute just before he was about to land on the ground. With a powerful impact, he fell heavily to the ground. His eyes quickly scanned the surrounding dense forest, and he used his abilities without hesitation. As the soil sunk, he struck hard, and his speed was unusually fast. It took Lin Ju and others half a day to travel, but it only took him an hour. Looking at the empty Hydra base without a single patrol, Steve's face turned gloomy. Thanks to his strong physique, he didn't feel tired at all after such a high-intensity run. Quickly rushing into the factory, his appearance instantly caused the two German soldiers who were chatting in the factory to pull out their guns. The next moment, Steve, who was running towards them quickly, punched the two of them hard. Fall to the ground. The two fell to the ground and fainted instantly. Without the slightest pause, Steve quickly rushed towards the interior of the Hydra base. With the gunshots and roars coming one after another, more and more German soldiers discovered Steve's existence. They held iron plates pulled from nowhere to block the bullets and fired rapidly. At this moment, Steve alone was fighting dozens of German forces at the same time. As the iron shield in his hand was dented, the firepower on the opposite side dropped instantly, and Steve threw the iron shield in his hand fiercely away. With a dull impact, the iron plate knocked three German soldiers upside down and flew out instantly. Taking this opportunity, Steve instantly jumped to the railing on the side and rushed towards several German soldiers who were changing magazines. Realizing that it was too late, a German sergeant immediately took out the dagger in his hand and quickly stabbed Steve. However, his slow speed allowed Steve to avoid his dagger in an instant, and at the same time gave him a hard elbow. The blow struck him in the temple. Ignoring the German non-commissioned officer who slowly fell to the side, Steve quickly rushed towards the panicked German soldiers. Accompanied by violent roars inside the factory, one German soldier slammed into the surrounding walls. While the German soldiers shouted monsters, Steve broke through the layers of containment. Until he came to a place where many American prisoners were held. 
Steve quickly shuttled between the cages holding U.S. military prisoners and opened all the cages. However, his eyes were slightly solemn when he rescued the prisoners. He didn't see the two figures that were most important to him. He pulled over a burly American soldier. Where are the colonel and Bucky? Bucky should be taken to the laboratory. As for the colonel, the American soldier's eyes revealed sadness, and Steve's heart sank. The next moment, he rushed straight out of the factory. Wait, how are you going to break through the siege of those German troops? An American soldier couldn't help but shouted in confusion. He didn't want to watch his savior do something stupid. However, Steve slowly turned around and looked firmly at the American soldiers who turned to him. I defeated Hitler 200 times. After saying this, his signature exaggerated statement in U.S. military propaganda, he turned around and rushed out of the dungeon without hesitation. All the American soldiers looked at each other. After listening to their mocking words and looking at Steve's unyielding figure, everyone's eyes changed, revealing determination. Those who originally planned to escape changed their minds one after another. After one soldier acted first, all the soldiers followed behind Steve. As the factory door opened, a group of German soldiers who had been waiting for a long time opened fire quickly. However, the American soldiers pouring out of the factory ignored them. Due to their numerical advantage, the American soldiers, led by Steve, quickly took down these soldiers. A group of German soldiers were knocked to the ground and given super weapons. As the factory door was blasted open, Steve quickly found Bucky who was placed on the experimental table. After a brief daze, Bucky regained his consciousness and asked urgently, where is the colonel? Quote dot 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 quote. Steve looked ugly, Bucky's expression darkened, and a trace of sadness flashed in his eyes, the colonel died for us. No, the colonel must still be alive. Steve couldn't help but shouted loudly, and then rushed towards the German camp without looking back and began to fight with the German soldiers. Bucky took the super weapon from the American soldiers on the side, and the atmosphere of the battle instantly became anxious. Because of Steve's unstable factor, the German army was quickly defeated. Under the firepower of the U.S. military, everyone died tragically on the spot. Avenge the colonel, I don't know who shouted loudly, and more and more American soldiers began to fear life and death, and even shot those deserters who gave up resistance. As for Steve and Bucky, they were the first to rush into the factory. When Bucky came to the second floor of the factory, he happened to see the Red Skull fighting with Steve. Boom, with a dull sound of physical hitting, the Red Skull slowly stroked his face and looked angrily at the shocked Steve. Do you think you're the only one who's lucky? The Red Skull grinned ferociously, and slowly pulled off his face. It turned out to be an anthropomorphic hood. As the hood was removed, his bright red head was revealed. Steve and Bucky stared blankly at the scene in front of them, and now they both understood why this person was called the Red Skull. Where's Colonel Lin Ju? Steve couldn't help but roar loudly, and then stepped forward again. Lin Ju, that guy, it's him who sabotaged our army's operations and broke through our army's defenses time and time again. The Red Skull smiled ferociously, punched Steve away, and received a heavy punch himself. As the roof beams broke, he stared at Steve and others at the other end. Just wait, victory belongs to us Hydra. Steve, who didn't get the information from Lin Ju, couldn't help but try to jump. He didn't want to let the Red Skull go. However, Bucky behind him grabbed him. This place is almost finished. If you don't want to be buried under the rubble, it's time to retreat. Bucky growled sharply, instantly waking Steve up. As the factory was shrouded in flames, occasionally mixed with the roar of explosions, everything returned to calm. Comma. In the United States, on the streets where people were coming and going, every American had a heavy look on their face, and newspapers flying in the air slowly fell to the ground. Located on the headlines of the newspaper, a message stands out clearly in my mind. Colonel Lin Ju, the only combat hero in the history of the U.S. military, died heroically in a battle to defeat the German army's evil plan. At this time, a secret base is located in the U.S. military camp. Boom, no news from the New Jersey camp yet, Chesler asked in a deep voice, looking at Carter who was looking down at the side. Not yet, there are only a few soldiers who escaped. They just said some irrelevant information. The last person who saw Steve said that Steve went deep into the interior of the Hydra Foundation. How can he be so insistent? And you, 
Ah, Chester looked ugly. Howard Stark on the side also looked sad and couldn't help but patted his old friend on the shoulder. Now there is a more serious problem. There are already large-scale protests on the military side, including Lt. Gen. Pill. They claim to want detailed information about the secret mission carried out by Col. Lin Ju. The news of the colonel's death had such a huge impact on the army that the military, which was originally preparing to expand the war situation, had to stop its plans to further reinforce the firepower. Lin, how could that guy die so easily? With just a few soldiers. The popularity of those in the military is too small. Just some uncertain news made them so confused. Chester scolded fiercely, if it weren't for the members of Congress of their faction maintaining the votes of their department, otherwise, this matter would probably have greatly reduced the funds invested by the superiors. The most important thing now is to find that guy Steve, we need a new fighting hero. Howard Stark raised his glasses slightly and said in a deep voice. But his whereabouts are unknown now. He is different from Colonel Lin Ju. He is the only beneficiary of our super soldier project. He is a super soldier. Comma. Soon, news came from the New Jersey camp, and Carter, Chester and others headed to the camp excitedly. Looking at a large group of American soldiers slowly walking out of the woods, and Steve at the front holding the car door. Carter finally couldn't hold back the joy in his heart and ran over quickly, and then hugged Steve heavily. This picture made Bucky on the side stunned for a moment. Steve, who was originally thin in his impression, suddenly became tall and unusually burly, which was enough to surprise him. Now, suddenly, there was a beautiful female officer hugging him. Even he couldn't help but feel a little envious of his old friend. Looking at Carter's beautiful face, Bucky's expression remained unchanged, but he couldn't help shouting in his heart. Good guy, he is indeed my brother. Boom, along with the roar of artillery fire, a figure suddenly jumped out of the flames. He held a round shield with a five-pointed star on it. When the flames came out, he slammed the shield hard on the stunned German soldier. Bang, the German soldier fell to the ground instantly and fainted on the spot. Steve quickly put the shield in front of him. With the collision of bullets and shields, he ran to the side quickly and kicked a German soldier hard. He held the shield tightly in his hands and looked at a row of German soldiers in the distance who quickly turned their guns to aim at him. At that moment, he threw the shield in his hand hard. Under the powerful force, the shield rushed towards the German soldiers at high speed. With a huge crash, three German soldiers were knocked back by the shield. At the same time, Due to the reaction force and the special characteristics of the shield, the shield turned back to his body and was instantly held by him, blocking him again. This set of sharp and skillful attacks and defenses stunned all the German soldiers watching the battle. Just as Steve rushed towards the German soldiers again, a large group of American soldiers in the jungle behind him followed closely with submachine guns and rushed over quickly. Thanks to Steve's attracting firepower, these American soldiers suffered very few casualties, and the German soldiers were suppressed by the gunfire one after another. After breaking through the defense lines of the German army one after another, Steve, who returned with a great victory, was full of traces of artillery smoke and dust, and walked towards the U.S. military camp with a group of soldiers. At this moment, all the American soldiers on the defense line stared at the burly figure in a daze, and everyone realized that another American hero was born. Pa pa pa. As soon as he returned to the camp, Steve heard the applause one after another. He looked at the officers in the camp and the congressmen who came from the United States, and he smiled. After being awarded the rank of major, Chester personally awarded him the title of American Hero. Looking at the badge of the American Hero, Steve had a complicated expression. In a trance, he seemed to see Lin Ju's relieved eyes. Steve, now we have a new task for you to complete. An American congressman couldn't help but interrupt Steve's thoughts and whispered. What? The Hydra behind the German army is secretly transporting super-powered weapons. Our spies have experienced nine deaths and finally obtained their route. We need you to destroy their plan. Steve looked at Chester on the side. Chester nodded slowly, and then said, In order to facilitate your mission this time, we have prepared some good soldiers for you. With Chester's order, a group of soldiers slowly came to Steve. Looking at Bucky standing at the front of the group of soldiers with surprise, Steve couldn't help but step forward and hug him tightly. It has been more than half a month since they last parted, and the two have not seen each other again. 
Now they meet again, and they didn't expect to complete the mission together. This is a pleasant surprise for both of them. His eyes swept over the soldiers behind Bucky, who were the American prisoners rescued by Steve last time, and he high-fived each of them one by one. Okay, Steve, get ready, the plan will be implemented immediately. Yes, all the soldiers were excited and responded in unison. Buzz buzz buzz. In the snow, a high-speed train was not afraid of the wind and cold, and it was running on the overpass connecting the canyon. One after another, people in special combat uniforms fell from the sky and landed on top of the train. It was Steve and his group. Steve, who had experienced several large-scale battles at this moment, rushed to the side of the train without hesitation and pulled the door open with his bare hands. And obviously his appearance instantly stimulated the German soldiers in this carriage. While they were frantically pulling out their guns, Steve had already stepped forward and knocked two German soldiers to the ground with two clean punches. Thanks to Steve's breakthrough, the American soldiers behind him all entered from the door on one side. In an instant, the whole train was filled with gunshots, and several American soldiers broke through in each train car. Steve and Bucky quickly walked through the car. Just when their actions were going very smoothly, a strange sound suddenly came from the car in front of them. Steve suddenly stopped and looked at a soldier wearing a mecha-like costume and holding a super-powered weapon in astonishment. He quickly put the shield in front of him, and with the blue light speed flashing by, his body instantly flew backwards. Bucky on the side was about to stick his head out to shoot, but the next moment, with the dazzling blue light flashing, a huge hole was blasted out along with the obstacle in front of him. The high-speed train was accompanied by a strong explosion, which blasted Bucky backwards. A huge hole was instantly blown out of the door. Bucky, who was dizzy for a short time, was not careful and was instantly blown out of the car by the strong wind pressure. Bucky, Steve's eyes were bloodshot, everything happened in a flash. The next moment, he fiercely raised the shield in his hand, withstood the bombardment of the super-powered weapon, rushed to the front of this special soldier, and punched him hard on the head. The burly German soldier fell to the ground and passed out as expected. Steve, who had solved the crisis, rushed to the car door that had been breached. When he saw the situation outside the car, he couldn't help but smile slightly. He breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, Bucky was holding the handle next to the car with both hands. The next moment, Steve couldn't help but pull Bucky into the car. Bucky smiled sadly, finally lost his strength, let go of the handle in his hand, and fell towards the cliff thousands of feet high. Bucky. From great joy to great sadness, Steve couldn't believe the scene in front of him. He seemed to have forgotten that Bucky was different from him and did not have extraordinary physical fitness. Watching Bucky's figure fall into the cliff, Steve was filled with grief and couldn't help but secretly hate himself for not doing it earlier. He stood up slowly and kicked open the iron door of the car in front of him with strong anger. With violent roars and the sound of twisted steel colliding, Steve, who was rushing all the way, arrived in front of Dr. Sora, who was wearing a suit and looked frightened. Under his horrified gaze, he was instantly pushed to the ground. At the same time, other U.S. soldiers in the back compartment of the train also came to the front compartment. A U.S. soldier who was proficient in train driving skills regained control of the train. In this way, Dr. Sola was escorted to the American mainland by Steve and others, and was directly handed over to Chester and others. Ha ha, long live Hydra. We will rule the entire world. Dr. Sora said angrily that this time the mission failed and he was captured, which made him feel extremely humiliated as the chief scientist of Hydra. After being threatened and tortured, Sora seemed to be very spineless and revealed the Red Skull's true conspiracy, to use the cosmic cube to destroy the world. Why? Dot why have all my close friends left me? First Dr. Arkins, then the Colonel, and now even Bucky. Steve was trembling all over. There was nothing more painful in life than this. An arm slowly wrapped around his shoulders and made him lean against his chest. There were tears in Carter's eyes, and he looked at the big boy crying in his arms with heartache. It's not your fault, Steve. The sad days did not last long, and soon an accelerated secret report was quickly transmitted to the military region. What? New super soldiers? Chester stood up with disbelief in his eyes and looked at the latest battle situation from the front line in astonishment. A superhuman appeared in the German army. Under his leadership, they counterattacked the U.S. offensive in one fell swoop. 
At the same time, they regained the previously lost front line. The soldiers in the forward positions suffered heavy casualties. Why did this news spread so quickly? It was in the news before we even knew about it. Chester roared angrily. He didn't know at this time that it must be Hydra, the secret agent hidden in the United States, who deliberately spread the news and caused such a situation. Thinking of the plan to destroy the world he had just received from Dr. Sora, at this moment, Chester felt an unprecedented pressure. Comma, destroy all Hydra's bases in one fell swoop. Steve looked solemnly at Chester, who had a solemn face at this moment. Yes, the reagent that was lost before was used by Hydra. Now they also have a super soldier. They also control the cosmic cube and intend to destroy the world. We don't have much time. Chester's face was full of urgency, and he looked at Steve sincerely. Knowing that Steve had just lost his brother, he naturally understood that it was inappropriate to issue such a major task at this critical juncture, but at this moment he was no longer their method. Comma. In the dense jungle, Steve took the lead in the charge. As he used his shield to withstand the tank bombardment, the German army was instantly frightened and their momentum was sluggish. Under the leadership of Steve, one after another American soldiers, instantly rushed into the chaotic Hydra base. Accompanied by gunshots one after another, thanks to Steve disrupting the German attack steps, the U.S. military once pressed inside the base. Boom, boom, boom. The burly body hit the wall of the base heavily. Steve only felt moved for a moment. The next moment he stood up again and rushed towards the frightened German soldiers. With a scream, the soldier's body was thrown heavily like a sandbag, hitting his panicked companions. Ah, good job Steve. Steve. The base was filled with shouts from the American troops, and all the soldiers looked at Steve in amazement as he stood on the stairs on the second floor and kicked the German soldiers down. Bang bang bang. Accompanied by light applause, the sound of unhurried footsteps slowly came from above the base. Steve looked towards the third floor of the factory, and a familiar face came into view. It's you. The man in front of him is the Hydra spy who shot Erkins before. The only difference is that he is now tall and tall, with a sinister smile on his face, and his whole temperament is completely different from before. Steve, who had already learned about the super soldiers from Chester, his eyes darkened, and he instantly understood why the mortal enemy in front of him had changed like this. At this moment, Chester, who was hiding among the American soldiers, looked at the figure on the third floor with hatred. Steve, superhero, haha, ha, it's just an experiment under the biochemical reagent. If it were your former Colonel Lin Ju, I can still take a look. Now, haha. Ha. As soon as he finished speaking, the man jumped down from the third floor, came straight to Steve, and punched Steve hard without hesitation. Boom. The shield was instantly blocked in front of him, and the force from his arm instantly sent Steve's figure flying backwards. This dull bombardment was like a signal. German soldiers hiding in the factory appeared one after another and quickly exchanged fire with the U.S. military. A shot hit the head of a German soldier, and Carter looked eagerly at Steve, who was chasing the Hydra spy. But Chester ran over and pulled her, and the two of them ran towards the side of the factory. Ha ha, is that all you can do? Steve, he jumped up instantly and jumped easily, reaching a height of three meters. The Hydra spy looked at the stern-faced Steve with a mocking expression. Bang bang bang, he instantly took out his pistol and shot straight at the figure hiding behind the bunker. The two of them were fist-fighting and shooting at the same time. As superhumans, their reaction speeds were extraordinary, and they could easily dodge even close-range shots. Boom, Steve, who was holding the shield, felt his hands go numb slightly. Then, he looked over the shield and saw a figure rushing straight into the depths of the tunnel. Finally he couldn't help but curse. Faced with the Hydra spy's attack strategy of fighting and retreating, Steve had no chance of defeating that guy forcefully. At the same time, Chester led Carter quickly from the side in the direction where Steve was chasing. Just when they came to a workshop where all kinds of cool vehicles were parked, Accompanied by the piercing sound of gunshots, the two fell to the ground instantly. Although Chester was old, he was old-hearted. He was so angry that he instantly pulled out the pistol from his waist and started shooting directly at the German soldiers who appeared on the opposite side. Looking at Carter aside, just when Chester was wondering why she didn't help, he noticed the solemn look in Carter's eyes and the pistol pointed in the distance. Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. 
As the low words echoed around him, Chester looked at the Hydra spy holding a shield in astonishment. You're not. You're the Red Skull. Chester looked solemnly at the burly man slowly walking towards the two of them. No, 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 the person Steve is chasing is Lord Red Skull. The Hydra spy smiled lightly. He seemed to particularly like the shocked look of the two people, and walked towards them unhurriedly. Bang bang bang. Carter's eyes turned cold and he fired instantly. The gunshots rang out one after another. However, the Hydra spy, who was extremely quick to react, used his shield to block the bullets and quickly rushed to the bunker on the side, changing direction at the same time, rushing towards them again. Let's go. Chester, who was well aware of the power of the super soldier serum, suddenly stood up and stood in front of Carter, staring intently at the man who was running quickly. No, let's go together. Carter's eyes were firm and he shouted with an unquestionable tone. Boom. The roar of the grenade instantly sent the man flying backwards. Chester was secretly annoyed that the grenade he secretly threw out for a few seconds did not work. The Hydra spy rushed over again carrying a door torn off a certain car. Soon, in close contact, he slapped Chester away with a casual palm. No, Carter, who was beside him, had eyes wide open. He threw away the pistol with the empty magazine, took out a dagger from his arms, and stabbed the oncoming man fiercely. However, he easily pinched his wrist with one hand. With a lightning-fast kick, Carter instantly flew backwards and fell next to Chester, who was struggling on the ground and vomiting blood. This is the consequences for daring to go against Hydra. The Hydra spy looked at the two men, an old man and a young man, supporting each other with a ferocious smile. Oh, I didn't expect to see that guy Lin Ju so soon. I thought it would take at least 10 years for me to see him. Chester said jokingly while choking on the blood, making Carter, who was supporting him, look sad. For her who had mastered medical technology, she had already discovered that Chester was not going to die soon after just a preliminary test. Even a strong American soldier would be severely injured by a super soldier's palm, let alone an old man. Just when the two of them looked at each other with sadness, a hearty word resounded through the workshop that seemed a little empty at some point. Old man, I didn't expect you wanted to see me so much. It seems you still feel a little guilty. This voice resounded throughout the factory, and Chester said subconsciously, Am I going to die now? Otherwise, why did I hear that guy Lin Ju's voice? Carter on the side looked stunned and looked quickly towards the direction of the sound. Her actions instantly woke up Chester who was in a trance. The two looked to the side. A figure wearing a green military coat walked slowly over. Colonel. Forrest. Um, the two of them exclaimed in surprise, while the Hydra spy looked confused. The person who came was Lin Ju. He slowly opened his green hood. Under Lin Ju's messy hair was a face with stubble. He looked at the two people who were collapsed on the ground, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. How long have we not seen each other? How did you two end up in such a situation? I knew you were not dead. You guy made me feel guilty for a while. Chester's face was flushed. At this moment, he had realized that Lin Ju was not dead. His eyes were filled with joy, shock and worry, which looked extremely complicated. Colonel, be careful, Carter on the side kept exclaiming. The Hydra spy suddenly threw the car door in his hand and hit Lin Ju. The car door made of steel flew past with a strong whistling sound. Just when Carter and Chester had panic on their faces, the following scene suddenly made their expressions freeze, and an incredible look appeared on their faces at the same time. Boom. The Hydra spy narrowed his eyes and looked solemnly at Lin Ju, who was holding the car door with one hand without any sway. Are you a super soldier too? However, the next moment, Lin Ju had no intention of replying and threw the car door back towards the Hydra spy. Boom. Also grabbing the heavy car door with one hand, the Hydra spy felt the huge force coming from the car door. His expression changed slightly and he couldn't help but take five steps back. How? Bang 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 bang. The bullets hit the car door instantly, and some of them hit his arm instantly. He never expected that Lin Ju would suddenly use a gun. The Hydra spy quickly ran towards the bunker on the side. At this time, Lin Ju was holding the Gatling that he had captured from a German soldier in one hand, with countless golden stars. Bullets flew past. Under the powerful power, he instantly penetrated the bunker where the Hydra spy was located. With a scream, he threw the car door towards Lin Ju again in panic. 
While Lin Ju's attention was focused on the heavy door, his figure quickly jumped to the side tunnel, then rushed away, and actually ran away. Boom! With a random palm, the car door flew to the side. Under the incredible gazes of Chester and Carter, leaving an afterimage on the spot, Lin Ju quickly came to them. Puff! A mouthful of blood couldn't help but spurt out. Chester's eyes were complicated. I knew you were not an ordinary person, ha ha. Great, great. Is it because of that doctor? Lin Ju curled up the corner of his mouth slightly and smiled lightly, not caring at all about the sad atmosphere created by the old man in front of him. You guy, I'm going to die, how can you still laugh? Chester's eyes widened and he yelled pretending to be angry. Carter on the side had crystal tears in the corners of his eyes and a trace of blood overflowing from his mouth. As an ordinary person, she was also severely traumatized. Death, it would be really difficult to die in front of me. Lin Ju's smile did not change, and then under the confused expressions of the two people, he slowly cut his palm open and gently stretched it out in front of Chester. What are you doing? Chester and Lin Ju stared at each other, unable to understand what he was doing at this time. Drink my blood quickly. You may not be able to drink it anymore even if you want to. Out of trust in Lin Ju, Chester slowly opened his mouth with hesitation, and bright red blood slowly dripped into his mouth. After Lin Ju deprived the blood god of his ability, the blood turned bright red again. Color, under Carter's incredible gaze, his originally pale face turned rosy in an instant. This, this, this. Oh my god, Chester, who was stammering and choking on the blood, suddenly stood up. The severe pain all over his body disappeared. He moved his hands and feet and looked at the direction incredulously. Lin Ju. What the hell are you? It's human. You told me this is human blood. Then I will be a vampire from now on. Ignoring Chester's crazy roar, Lin Ju slowly cut open his healed hand and placed it in front of Carter. Hurry up, I can heal your injuries instantly. Lin Ju said with a tone that left no room for doubt. Carter, who realized something at this moment, quickly opened her mouth, and the blood, which was still exuding warm breath, slowly flowed into her mouth, and a fishy sweet taste filled her taste buds. At the same time, as the blood slowly flowing into her body, there seemed to be countless warm currents sweeping across her body in an instant. At the same time, the severe pain in the injured area of the chest disappeared instantly and was replaced by a warm feeling. Standing up slowly, Carter looked at his body in disbelief, and even subconsciously touched his face. Quote dot 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 quote. She and Chester looked at each other, and then both turned to look at Lin Ju, who had an indifferent expression on his face. Don't worry, I'm just a human being, I'm just a little capable. Lin Ju waved his hand casually and said with a smile. You guy, it's not that I don't believe you, it's just too incredible. I feel like I'm at least 10 years younger. The rosy-faced Chester felt the rare vitality in his body and murmured incredulously. However, Lin Ju did not let them marvel here. He did not forget his purpose and went straight to the most cool chariot. The two people who had reacted at this time quickly sat on it. As the flames at the rear of the car ignited, the German secretly developed tank rushed straight away. Boom! With a fierce kick, Steve kicked the German soldier who was about to pick up the gun away, and violently threw the shield in his hand to the side of the man who was getting on the motorcycle and wanted to escape from here. The German non-commissioned officer flew backwards instantly, vomiting blood, and looked like he was about to die. However, Steve didn't care about this. After taking back the shield, he quickly stepped onto the cross country. Just when he was about to gallop away, a rocket emitting tail flames rushed straight towards him. With no choice but to react quickly, he jumped off the motorcycle. Seeing the motorcycle he had just snatched explode and burst into flames, Steve looked eagerly at the Hydra spies running past. Question mark. He was extremely confused. In Steve's memory, this guy had obviously run to the front a long time ago, so why did he appear from behind him again? Ignoring these strange and strange places, he strode towards the figure of the Hydra spy. As the U.S. forces at the rear broke through the numerous encirclements, gunshots shot up one after another in an instant and resounded throughout this huge underground base. Thanks to the friendly firepower, Steve quickly jumped over one obstacle after another, chasing the figure of the Hydra spy. At this time, the Hydra spy's eyes darkened slightly, feeling the pain in a certain part of his body, and looked at Steve who was chasing after him from time to time. 
Soon, his eyes lit up. On the huge open road in front of him, a fighter jet started to move slowly and headed forward along the passage. Three steps turned into two steps. The Hydra spy suddenly stepped on the ground. When the plane was about to jump, he successfully jumped to the tail of the plane. With the help of the German soldiers, he quickly got into the plane from the rear cabin. Steve ran with long strides, looking at the plane that was beginning to take off. The urgency in his heart made him constantly look around, but there was no usable vehicle around. Just when he was a little depressed, with a violent roar, an extremely cool chariot rushed out from the chaotic explosion of flames in the rear passage. Steve caught sight of Colonel Chester and Carter in the driver's seat, and his eyes paused on the face of the other person in the rear driver's seat. Colonel Lin Ju, he subconsciously stopped as the chariot sped towards him. Captain America reacted quickly and quickly and accurately jumped into the passenger seat. Colonel, Steve stared blankly at Lin Ju, who was smiling. Slowly patted Steve's shoulder. During this period, I have been lurking in Hydra's territory, exploring their plans. I have also heard about what happened on the front line. You did a great job, Steve. Steve fisted with Lin Ju with a face full of joy, and looked at Carter who was watching from the side, and then the two kissed quietly. Looking at this classic scene, Lin Ju turned his head away. I'm such a big light bulb and you turn a blind eye. Steve looked at Chester who was looking away. I don't want to kiss you. Chester screamed subconsciously. Looking at this funny scene, Lin Ju couldn't help but laugh out loud, and Chester also laughed to himself. At this moment, the four people in the car felt like the weather had cleared up after the rain. With the blessing of this cool chariot, they quickly caught up with the plane that had left the runway. Colonel, I'm going first. Steve shouted in a deep voice, and then jumped up high from the sound of the chariot. He jumped almost two to three meters into the air, and instantly grabbed the edge of the plane. Watching Steve enter the plane, Lin Ju jumped to the top of the plane with ease and pleasure under the gazes of the two Chesters. Why does this guy feel more like a super soldier than a super soldier? Chester said with some shock, and even Carter nodded silently. The two of them did not have the physical fitness of Lin Ju and Steve. They could only watch the high-speed plane rush out of the tunnel and fly into the air. Hope them all goes well, Carter said with a complicated expression. Don't worry, there will definitely be no big problem with that guy Lin. He is the first combat hero in the history of our United States. Chester looked excited and spoke very fast. He put his hand in his pocket and touched a bottle that was not there before. Rumble. The sky was covered with dark clouds, with lightning and thunder, and the originally dark cabin was illuminated by streaks of lightning, flashing white and then dark, and the atmosphere became solemn. Steve slowly got in from the back cabin, holding a shield in front of him with one hand, and slowly groped forward. Snap. There was a slight sound, and in an instant, accompanied by the dazzling and harsh gunfire and thunder, the bullet hit the shield instantly as the fire and thunder intertwined. The next moment, Steve suddenly flew out the shield in his hand, directly knocking the German soldiers who suddenly appeared and flew backwards. At the same time, more and more German soldiers began to gather in the direction of the rear cabin. With the sound of gunfire, Steve's figure was interspersed among the crowd, using the cover of darkness to directly engage them at close range. Bang bang bang, punch after punch, a gun was pulled from the hand of a German soldier and fired. Within a few moments, all the German squadrons of more than a dozen people were killed. Steve strode towards the middle of the plane without taking a breath. Just when he opened the door, a heavy and powerful blow hit his shield. In an instant, his body slammed into the side of the plane. He looked at the Hydra spy with astonishment at this moment, holding a black shield and staring at him. I didn't expect you to catch up with me. The Hydra spy shouted in a Chen Shang. His eyes quickly glanced at the darkness behind Steve. He didn't see the figure. He breathed a sigh of relief. He was not afraid of Steve alone. Soon, the two of them were fighting each other quickly. Steve, with anger in his heart, tried his best with every punch. However, the man in front of him was also a super soldier. After a fight, it was difficult for the two of them to fight. Up and down. Steve, who relied on his superb fighting skills to dodge the attack, finally hit the Hydra spy's chin first with a punch. With a curse, the Hydra spy suddenly pulled out his gun, and as bullets flew past, Steve quickly hid aside, 
set up his shield, and while blocking the bullets, he also took out his gun and shot at the same time. The two of them were three meters apart. Quickly shoot from a distance of meters. Just when the battle was getting tense, with a clicking sound, the two men's pistols ran out of bullets almost simultaneously. Steve reacted even faster, and instantly threw the pistol with the empty magazine towards Hydra. With a crisp muffled sound, he instantly hit the Hydra spy on the head. Taking advantage of his brief daze, Steve rushed forward and launched a set of extremely sharp combination punches, which instantly hit the Hydra spy without being able to parry. Force, just when he was about to raise his shield and hit the Hydra spy on the head. A fist shadow instantly shot out from the bunker on one side and hit him hard on the lower back. Boom, boom, the solid body on one side of the plane dented instantly. Feeling the pain in his abdomen, Steve looked solemnly at the second, Hydra spy, who sneaked up from one side. Red Skull, at this time, Steve still didn't understand that one of the two Hydra spies was pretended by the Red Skull. How dare you stop Hydra's great cause again and again? The sneak attacker smiled ferociously and slowly moved his hands towards his face. As he took off his hood, the Red Skull revealed his head. I could spend all day with you. Steve bowed his waist and lowered his fists, looking like he was ready for a big fight. Funny, go to hell. The Hydra spy who had calmed down on the side rushed straight towards Steve and punched Steve in the face. However, the moment he turned around to avoid it, Steve quickly punched him hard in the armpit. At the same time, at the same time, he folded his arms in front of his chest and blocked the following punch from the Red Skull. The three of them fought for a moment, but Red Skull's superb fighting skills caused Steve to be injured repeatedly. Every time he defeated a Hydra spy, he would be punched by the Red Skull, who had equally good fighting skills. Bang bang bang, quickly taking out his gun and shooting, Steve hurriedly put the shield in front of him. The bullets shot out on the shield plate and erupted into dazzling sparks, then flew to the side. At this time, his expression was extremely solemn, and the expressions of the Red Skull and the spy were not very good. They were obviously two against one, but they did not kill Steve in a short time. The Hydra spy looked at the Red Skull, and their eyes flickered slightly. Immediately, he gave up his defense. After withstanding Steve's heavy punch, he hugged his body and threw him to the ground. He hit the Hydra spy with a quick and heavy elbow. On his back, Steve, who was also a super soldier, couldn't break free for a moment. At the same time, with the help of this restraint, the Red Skull stepped forward, drew out a dagger, and stabbed Steve in the head. At this critical moment, a silhouette as fast as an afterimage appeared in front of the Red Skull and grabbed his wrist. The dagger in his hand stopped awkwardly in front of Steve's eyes. Call, Steve, whose heart was beating wildly, breathed a sigh of relief and looked at the rescuer in shock. Colonel, it's you, Steve and the Hydra spy both shouted almost at the same time. At the same time, the Red Skull pulled out his hand, but found that he had not broken free. He looked at the incoming man with solemn eyes, but what came into view was a shadow of a fist, a punch. Then he punched his red head hard. Bang bang bang. The last punch sent him flying backwards and crashed into the aircraft cabin on one side. Lin Ju took the dagger from the Red Skull's hand and threw it towards him. In a hurry, the Red Skull reacted and directly lay on the ground and made a rolling posture. The posture was funny but surprisingly effective. Seeing that the attack failed, Lin Ju kicked the Hydra spy who let go of Steve and tried to escape away. He stretched out his hand and pulled Steve up directly. Looks like you still need to practice, Steve. Lin Ju said with a smile. Colonel, you, let's have a good chat after this battle is over. Lin Ju quickly interrupted Steve's words. He raised a metal plate he had taken from nowhere and held it in front of him. Several bullets ricocheted away. Steve also quickly set up his shield. The two of them looked at each other. To the Hydra spies and Red Skull now hiding behind the bunker. Unexpectedly, there is a second super soldier, Colonel Lin Ju. It turns out that seeing is worse than hearing. You are much better than Steve. The Red Skull shouted in a deep voice. The changes in the situation before him finally made him feel that things seemed a little unpredictable, and he quickly thought about solutions in his mind. The next moment, with a soft sound, a grenade was accurately thrown at his feet. He never expected that Lin Ju would throw a grenade as soon as he came up, and this was from a plane 10,000 meters above the ground. 
This operation, not to mention the Red Skull, even Steve was stunned for a moment, but was pulled down by Lin Ju on the side. With a muffled sound, countless shrapnel instantly bounced in all directions. The Red Skull, who was dodging from time to time, was instantly hit on the ankle by a blade. With secret hatred in his heart, Red Skull staggered towards the rear cabin. At the same time, the Hydra spy instantly set up his gun. With the dazzling tongue of fire, Lin Ju just exposed his head and instantly retracted into the bunker. He suddenly swung the shield in his hand away, slammed into the machine on one side, and then instantly deflected with the sound of metal collision, hitting the Hydra spy. Seeing this set of extremely powerful shield strikes, Lin Ju couldn't help but give Steve a thumbs up. The use of this kind of shield was obviously much better than his. Taking advantage of the moment when the Hydra spy was knocked down, Lin Ju rushed out first, and in the blink of an eye he was in front of him. He pulled out a dagger from his waist with one hand and stabbed the Hydra spy hard in an instant, on the shield. Boom, squatting down, the powerful force forced the Hydra spy to look frightened. Unlike Steve, Lin Ju gave him a terrifying sense of oppression. The dagger in his hand suddenly turned sideways, and he hammered the side of the shield with one hand. Lin Ju turned the shield aside. The dagger in his left hand sank into the shoulder of the Hydra spy who subconsciously raised it as fast as lightning. The dagger instantly pierced into the flesh with the powerful force. As the Hydra spy grunted in pain, he couldn't help but yell loudly. Then he held up his shield to bear the injury, as if he wanted to knock Lin Ju down. Boom, the Hydra spy looked in disbelief at the figure that only shook but was not knocked down. Steve also looked at the picture in front of him in astonishment. Go catch the Red Skull. I'll deal with this guy. Lin Ju couldn't help but shouted loudly, and with a kick as fast as lightning, he kicked the dazed and frightened spy away. Watching Lin Ju suppress the Hydra spy in an instant, Steve couldn't help but have a flash of admiration in his eyes, and then quickly chased in the direction of the Red Skull. Feeling slightly relieved, the Hydra spy wanted to quit. He seemed to have a chance to escape. Yes, he didn't want to fight Lin Ju at all. This man made him feel afraid. Let's get on with it. Lin Ju's eyes were deep. The next moment, the eyes of the Hydra spy, who was already frightened, were focused. He felt that Lin Ju's speed suddenly increased by two levels, almost an afterimage passed by, and he came to him in the blink of an eye. In front of him, looking at the lightning fast blade, his eyes were about to burst. You're not a super soldier, what the hell are you? Boom, on the other side, Steve's figure quickly shuttled through the passage and soon arrived at the cab. He stood there blankly, looking at the red skull holding a rectangular square in his hand. Brilliant blue light shines from the square. Ah! At this time, the red skull let out a heart-rending scream, and the blue beam seemed to be eroding his body. Steve didn't care so much anymore, and he strode closer in an instant. With the shield in hand, he subconsciously wanted to smash it at the red skull. However, a blue beam of light burst out from the cosmic Rubik's cube and shot straight towards him. He subconsciously raised his shield in front of him to resist it. With a huge force, his body flew backwards in an instant. At this time, the red skull holding the cosmic cube was surrounded by blue beams of light. He smiled ferociously at the corner of his mouth and narrowed his eyes slightly, feeling the unparalleled power in his body. I thought I was going to fail, but I didn't expect that the energy of the universe Rubik's Cube, for some unknown reason, turned gentle, haha. Now I am invincible. The red skull laughed loudly, and blue halos bloomed all over his body. The space around him was distorted, and his body seemed to be constantly filled with powerful energy. Looking at Steve who was charging at him again, he smiled ferociously and leaned slightly. While dodging Steve's punch, he hit Steve hard on the chin with a lightning quick punch. Boom, as if being bombarded by a small cannonball, Steve's figure instantly hit the top of the plane. Looking at Steve who staggered to the ground and looked shocked, the Red Skull looked satisfied and gathered a blue ball of light in his hand. Just when he was focusing all his attention on Steve, and was about to kill Steve with one blow, a black shadow flashed past, and Lin Ju, who rushed to him in an instant, looked at Steve's shocked eyes. He grabbed the cosmic cube with one hand, and at the same time, the dagger in his hand sank straight into the Red Skull's chest. The scene in front of him happened between lightning and flint. Red Skull's eyes widened and he looked at the figure that appeared in front of him in astonishment. 
You. However, the next moment, the dagger in his hand was suddenly drawn out, and it struck the Red Skull's body as fast as lightning. Ah, unable to help but howl in pain, Red Skull did not put down the Rubik's Cube in his hand. A dazzling blue light erupted from his body, instantly covering Lin Ju, who was also holding the Rubik's Cube. Feeling the violent force running wildly inside his body, Lin Ju's heart suddenly sank. It seemed that even he couldn't control the power of the cosmic Rubik's Cube. Just when the dazzling beam of light was about to completely cover his figure, a sound suddenly sounded in Lin Ju's mind, sound. Successfully contacted the cosmic cube and deprived the super soldiers. Returned to the main world immediately after completing the mission. The original fear in his heart was instantly settled, and Lin Ju felt happy. When the dazzling white light was about to cover his face, he looked back and looked at Steve, who was about to rush over at this moment. You're doing great, Steve, keep living. As soon as he finished his last words, a beam of dazzling blue light erupted, and he and the skeleton disappeared in the plane instantly. The burst of blue energy swept away Steve who was about to rush towards him. Plop, Steve stared blankly at the place where Lin Ju disappeared, with tears in his eyes. Lin Ju's happy expression when he looked back seemed to be completely fixed in his heart at this moment. He stood up slowly and gently wiped away his tears. Lin Ju's last, last words, echoed in his mind. He put one hand together in front of his forehead and saluted a standard military salute towards the place where Lin Ju disappeared. Colonel, have a good trip. The plane shook violently, and the alarm beeps flashed from time to time. After finally calming down, he went straight to the cockpit of the plane, entered the communication signal, and successfully connected to the video, he looked at the two faces on the screen. It was Carter and Colonel Chesler who looked worried. The complete description of this mission even includes Lin Ju's death with the Red Skull in order to save him. On the screen, all three of them were silent. Carter suddenly seemed to notice something. Her eyes looked nervously at Steve, who was watching the screen. That's right, this plane can no longer stop normally. Steve smiled slightly, looking at the bustling city below through the plane's door glass, and then slowly took over the steering wheel of the plane. On the screen, Carter covered his mouth tightly, tears slowly flowing from his eyes, and Chester also had a deep look on his face. All three of them knew what was about to happen. Steve slowly controlled the plane to leave the metropolis and rushed towards the North Pole. Seeing the white snow and rows of intertwined icebergs, the plane that finally lost its endurance, under his control, headed straight towards the icy lake. Chase away. Colonel, you must approve of my behavior. Everything in the room was still the original layout. Lin Ju suddenly appeared on the bed. Returning to the main world, he looked at the dark room. Call, finally home. At this time, Lin Ju, who finally returned to the main world, felt a little regretful. Originally, his plan was not just to touch the space gem. He wanted to bring it to the DC universe, but unfortunately he did not succeed. But after thinking about it, I realized that the space gem was much more than what it seemed on the surface. It was part of the main god-level figure in the Marvel Universe. If I touched her gem, I would probably be targeted instantly. But Lin Ju had no choice but to do it. After all, Captain America was like the beginning, and the Marvel world was destined to be disconnected from him. When he thought of a certain purple sweet potato spirit who had gathered all the gems, he would snap his fingers and start with his own bloody king. It would be embarrassing if you happened to travel through time and turn into ashes as soon as you come up. There was another thing that made him regretful. He did not deprive the Red Skull of his ability, but when the space-maintaining energy enveloped both sides, the Red Skull had lost its ability to resist. After he tried, he found that there was no reaction, which made him realize that he can't seem to be deprived of the same ability. His eyes flashed, and a transparent character panel appeared in front of him. Lin Ju. Dimension Points. 1880. Change the plot. Become the first combat hero of the U.S. military in the Marvel Universe, become the training instructor of the dimensional protagonist Steve, become one of the original founders of S.H.I.E.L.D., influence and add a super soldier. Abilities, Immortality, Body of the Ancestor, Archangel Remnant, Blood God, Non-Concept, Super Soldier. Lin Ju's eyes paused slightly at the dimensional point. Good guy, it is indeed a big universe. The dimensional points for changing the plot are much higher than the previous two worlds, especially when it comes to the main characters of the Marvel Universe. Finally, 
His eyes settled on the super soldier. A piece of information flows into my mind. Super soldier. Strength, agility, acuity, and physique that are far beyond the reach of ordinary people. Moreover, it has strengthened metabolic function and can completely metabolize lactic acid and other fatigue-causing substances in the muscles, delaying aging. Directly mobilizing this ability, clenching his fists, feeling the powerful strength in his arms, Lin Ju showed a satisfied smile. He did not close the character panel, but under the influence of his consciousness, he opened the dimensional mall that he had not opened for a long time. Looking at the series of various things on the list, Lin Kei felt a little excited in his heart. Sure enough, men who come back from the battlefield are different. His eyes passed over a large number of various American World War II firearms, and Lin Ju's eyes settled on a revolver. Forget it, the people of Gotham will give him guns and stuff. He quickly scrolled through the item list in the Dimension Mall and found the one with the highest value. Vibranium Shield Made of the extremely famous and rare vibranium in a certain multi-dimensional world, it has extremely strong toughness and energy-absorbing properties. It can greatly absorb the sudden and powerful impact. Redemption Value 800 dot, dot, dot. Good guy, Lin Ju only felt that there was a grudge in his heart that was difficult to express. After hesitating for a moment, he exchanged the shield. Looking at the iconic five-pointed star pattern on it, Lin Ju wondered if he could change his appearance. The next moment, as if he heard his words, the originally condensed outline of the shield changed instantly. The circular outline transformed into the shield held by a medieval knight. At the same time, the original metal coating of the pattern on it all turned black, and a, a pale skull mark was carved on it. Exclamation mark exclamation mark. Looking at the unrecognizable, handsome new shield in front of him, Lin Ju instantly threw away the pitiful thoughts in his mind. Value. So worth it. This cool appearance and this ferocious skeleton fit my image perfectly. He grabbed the shield suspended in midair, and when he touched the knowledge with both hands, the shield instantly turned from virtual to solid. Feeling the heavy weight, Lin Ju subconsciously held it in front of him, but couldn't help but wave it back and forth. An unexpected advantage. Handsome. Putting the shield on the bed, he looked at the exchange list again. His mind was turning around the product exchange table like crazy. Thanks to the fact that he traveled to the U.S. military battlefield at one time, he could even see American tanks from the U.S. military and German tanks from the German army, as well as a very familiar-looking tank. Cool tank. Good guy. After looking at the exchange value of the cool chariot, Lin Ju suppressed the flutter in his heart. He originally wanted to drive it out and have a try with Batman. He suppressed it for the time being. With his current points, the gain outweighed the loss. Soon, his eyes passed by a large transport plane again, and he flipped to the side below to see the equipment he had used to travel to other worlds. Mithril Sword A special long sword held by Abraham from the vampire world that has extremely high silver density and is mixed with other special metals to ensure its toughness. Redemption Value 30 Without any hesitation, Lin Ju directly exchanged this crutch for this simple and mysterious-looking cane. I took it in my hand and tried it, and it felt pretty good. If you can make a sneak attack in the future, try not to resist head-on. A smile appeared at the corner of Lin Ju's mouth. In his mind, he imagined himself turning into an old man, slowly approaching the boss, and then stabbed him through with his sword under his shocked gaze. After looking at his remaining dimensional points, Lin Ju's face twitched slightly. Unknowingly, he had spent nearly three worlds of storage. Holding the virtual grip with one hand, a slender silver sword appeared in his hand. This silver sword had been redeemed by him before, so there was no need to redeem it again. However, it would cost Lin Ju a certain amount of money to summon it, time. I had to find a way to add some other substance to this silver sword, otherwise it would be too fragile. I gently stroked the sword body of the silver sword and used a little force with my two thumbs. The silver sword instantly became dented. Dot dot dot. S. Such a dent suddenly appeared on the smooth sword body, which instantly made the perfectionist Lin Ju feel a little painful in his heart. Forget it, I have to transform you sooner or later anyway. His eyes found the mineral raw materials in the dimensional list, and Lin Ju couldn't help but exchange for some vibranium. One gram costs 10 points, which is ridiculously expensive. Points remaining. 1020. Call. It's fun to buy for a while, and it's always fun to buy all the time. 
After a wave of shopping, Lin Ju, who had equipped himself with weapons, glanced at the last few guns with cooler looks. When you click and use it, you will regret less. Do you want to do something big next time? Lin Ju couldn't help but think about it. In the past, without weapons, it felt really good to punch to the flesh, but wouldn't it be even better to pull out the wound with a knife? Chapter 81 Put all the weapons in the wooden boxes that have been prepared. Call, I looked at the morning sun outside the curtains. It's time to go to work. Lin Ju quickly put on his work clothes, then quickly opened the door and walked out. In the dimly lit second floor corridor, Lin Ju looked at the silent next door. This girl is so early. This is really the first time. After thinking for a while, Lin Ju quickly walked downstairs. Accompanied by the sound of clicking, Emily, who looked a little haggard, struggled to drag the wine box to the bar platform. When she heard the footsteps, she looked towards the stairs on the second floor in shock. A familiar figure slowly walked down the stairs. Forrest, Emily covered her mouth tightly, and crystal tears instantly slid down his eyes. Seeing her like this, Lin Ju panicked slightly and hurriedly stepped forward. What are you? Boom, Emily instantly dropped the wine frame and threw herself into Lin Ju's arms. Lin Ju stood frozen on the spot, his eyes a little dazed and at a loss. Feeling the trembling of the petite body in his arms, he couldn't help but reach out his hand. Gently patted Emily's somewhat thin body. Lin Ju didn't know what to say. At this time, he still couldn't figure out the current situation. The two hugged each other in silence. Jingle bell. As the bell at the door jingled, a chubby figure walked into the store, and the shopping bag he was holding fell to the ground in an instant. Behind him, there were two young girls and a middle-aged woman, all wearing bar uniforms. Lin. Dot you finally showed up. Shouted loudly and tremblingly. Comma. So, I disappeared for a month. Lin Ju's expression was extremely solemn. He was still holding Emily who refused to let go, and looked at Dam who was excited and happy. You know, Gotham has gone completely crazy this month. Batman went to war with the Mask Society. They had a mechanical battle at Bruce Wayne's manor. Poor Bruce, luckily he was not hurt. But the leader of the counterfeit club, Black Mask, was caught by Batman. Dam spoke very fast and with great joy, as if this exciting news was the most important thing since Lin Ju's disappearance. Black Mask was arrested. Lin Ju frowned slightly. He knew more or less the information in this area, but he didn't know the specifics. Black Mask is actually a good friend of Bruce Wayne, Roman Sionis, and he is also the current sole heir of the Sionis family. That's right. Since you disappeared, the crime rate in the East District has begun to rise again. Dam's eyes looked at Emily, who was still holding Lin Ju, vaguely. Oh. Didn't the people from the Judgment Council care about it? Lin Ju pretended to be confused and said. Fortunately, a new superhero has emerged in our East District. Many people say that she is a member of the Judgment Council. As for the speakers of the Judgment Council, they must be busy fighting the evil hidden underground in Gotham. Confrontation of forces. Dam said in a relaxed tone, with a hint of verification in his eyes. Obviously, he had doubts about the authenticity of the news. New superhero, Catwoman, she claims to be an ordinary judge organized by the Judgment Council. She is responsible for the Judgment Council's responsibility to protect the East District. It is said that she is a beautiful-looking lady with a good figure. As Dam talked, his words began to change in a certain direction. At this time, Emily, who had her little head on Lin Ju's chest, suddenly turned her head and glared at Dam, who seemed to be planning to start describing Catwoman in detail. Hey hey, Dam waved his hands with a normal expression, and looked at Emily with some embarrassment. Lin, where have you been during this time? Why did you suddenly come down from the second floor again? Emily turned her little head and looked at Lin Ju face to face. The distance between the two was only the size of a palm. Looking at the big bright eyes and the delicate fair face, Lin Ju smiled bitterly, sorry Emily, actually I don't know what happened. I feel like I just slept. As an orphan without any relatives, Lin Ju could not think of how to explain his disappearance during this period of time, because his situation had already been told to Emily. How come it's not clear? There was also a trace of doubt on Emily's little face. She remembered that she had checked Lin Ju's room early this morning as usual. 
The thing she longed for most every day for this month was to suddenly open the door and be able to see that sudden the disappearing figure. It was obvious that Lin Ju had not been seen in the morning, but not long after that, Lin Ju walked downstairs by himself, as if he was completely unaware. I know, Lin Ju must have encountered a space wormhole. Do you know, it's that relative statement. I saw a clear record in a book before, which said that a person may touch an unconsciously space wormhole, but he himself didn't know it. His body was stagnated in another dimension, and after a short stay, he quickly returned to the original world, but the two times were completely different. Quote, said such a long string of words in one breath, as if he had discovered the truth. Good guy, it turns out you are the boss. Lin Ju looked at Dam in shock, and couldn't help but admire slightly in his heart. There seemed to be no good reason to explain his disappearance during this period. And what Dam said is close to the truth. Lin Ju's brain was running fast. Of course, he would not forget that he had experienced more than just one month in the story world of Marvel's Captain America, but only one month had passed in the DC universe. Obviously, the time flow in the two worlds was a bit faster. Different, combined with the fact that time did not change in the dimensional world that he traveled through before, at this time, even Lin Ju was a little confused about the time factor of traveling through dimensions. Puzzled, he could only blame it on the peculiarities of the Marvel Universe. Forget it, as long as Lin comes back, let's not talk about this for now, Lin. Do you know, during your absence, you exhausted me to death. Dam noticed the frozen atmosphere, quickly changed the topic, and shouted emotionally. His words instantly brought Lin Hang, who was still thinking, back to his senses, and looked at Dam with some gratitude. Emily was simply too busy running such a large bar. Dam even skipped school for a month and helped Emily manage the bar until new employees were recruited. Thanks, Lin Ju looked at Dam seriously. Maybe we should have a party to celebrate Lin's safe return. Dam said with a somewhat excited face. He didn't think that Lin Ju had traveled to another world. Instead, he thought that Lin Ju might have been trapped somewhere before and now he finally escaped safely. Aha, Emily nodded her head quickly. A dusty man who quickly shook off the snowflakes from his body gently pushed open the door of the bar. With a smile on his face, he looked into the bar, but the sight in front of him made him look stunned. Bottles of whiskey and cocktails were placed on various tables, and Emily and Dam were busy. What's happening here? The man asked with some confusion. Emily's little head suddenly turned around and looked at the man with a smile. Today the bar celebrates Lynn's return. All drinks are 20% off. Quote exclamation mark quote. The man quickly came to a table and opened a bottle of whiskey himself. On the side quickly handed him the wine glass but he didn't take it at all. He just held the bottle and drank it with a bang. Stand up. Soon, a regular customer knocked on the door of Emily's tavern. Good guy, Lynn, you are finally back. I thought you couldn't stand Emily's oppression and ran away secretly. A big white man with a beard said with a smile, which instantly caused Emily to glare at her. However, instead of being angry, the big man looked like his aunt was smiling. More and more regulars of the bar greeted Lin Ju. Within a moment, every table in the huge bar was filled with customers, and there were still more people walking into the bar. Good guys, these guys, what's going on? Why don't you go to work so late? A guest who couldn't find a seat looked at Emily at the booth in surprise. Ha ha, Uncle Buchan, you can go to the second floor. There is now a new floor open on the second floor next door. Emily's eyes looked at Lin Ju who was shuttled between various desktops. Her heart was finally not as anxious and empty as usual. After Lin Ju disappeared, she realized that Lin Ju was already indispensable in her heart. Okay, Emily, your business is really getting better and better. The middle-aged man walked towards the second floor stairs on the side. At the same time, Lin Ju also began to greet some new guests. Phew, Dam twisted his fat body and stretched his waist. Emily quickly leaned down and took the wine from the wine box to the stand one by one, picked up the wine bottle and walked quickly towards the loudly shouting guests. By the way, have you heard? Catwoman seemed to have met the remnants of the Masked Society yesterday. S, those guys won't come to our East District, right? The Blood God and the Judge have not appeared in our East District for a long time. They seem to have left here, so that the criminals seem to be ready to make another move. 
The big white man who originally teased Emily said with a worried look. Uncle, I have some gossip. Like a whirlwind, Dan quickly rushed to the big man's desk and said with a sly look. Ha, huh, really or not, is it about the trial counsel? The big white man, including his table mates, all turned their heads over and looked curiously at Dam, who had a mysterious smile on his face. Ahem, Dam's eyes glanced at the wine glasses in front of their table, and several people quickly and subconsciously handed glasses full of wine to him. He casually picked up a glass and took a sip, a blush flashed across Dam's chubby face. I'm sure that the Judgment Council will visit our Gotham East District again in the near future, so that Miss Catwoman can stop running around so much. Real or fake, some people questioned with some disbelief. Ha ha, have you forgotten my prediction last time? The Judgment Council directly released a powerful judge like the Blood God. Believe me, the Judgment Council will definitely shock those despicable and evil people with the power of thunder this time. Guy. It seems that boy did predict it last time. Ha ha, drink, drink. The diners who got the good news handed over their wine glasses one after another, and Dam drank three more glasses. They chatted happily while eating snacks from Emily's tavern. Finally, no more customers came into the store. Lin Ju had a rare moment of rest. He slowly came to the staff table and poured himself a cup of cocktail. Then he started to mind his own business. However, not long after, a slim woman slowly came to his table and stared at Lin Ju's face. Lin, long time no see. Lin Ju looked at this woman with some confusion. Lin Ju was not familiar with this woman who seemed to know him. Oh, it seems you have forgotten everything. You saved my life before you were a waiter in this tavern. A trace of loneliness flashed across the woman's face. Easy to do. Lin Ju smiled faintly and said that he had some fighting skills before, but only for small fights. Except for Dam, he didn't remember most of the others. Moreover, his purpose was to punish evil, not to save people. I have always wanted to find a chance to thank you. But I didn't expect you to disappear for a month. Now, I want to invite you to our family dinner. Ah. Dot ha. Family dinner. May I ask your excellency? Mary Grayson. Question mark. Lin Ju, who originally planned to refuse, suddenly became interested. Mary Grayson's name did not easily attract his attention, but his son Dick Grayson gave Lin Ju some ideas. So, your family is a reorganized family, mainly formed by the merger of you and the original branch. Yes, our family currently works in the circus. But recently, we responded to my grandfather's call and prepared to attend this dinner. As this celebration, Every family can invite friends to participate. Some of our family members are in the East End. With considerable financial resources, I hope I can be of some help to you. You are a respectable person. Thank you, I will consider participating. Mary Grayson nodded with a smile, then slowly stood up and left the bar under Emily's hidden gaze. Lin Ju, who is she? Emily wandered to Lin Ju's table and asked softly with her usual expression. Ha, huh, a lady I rescued before wanted to invite me to their family's dinner party and introduce me to the rich people in the East District. Lin Ju smiled and explained quickly. Oh, Emily, who knew that she had something wrong, quickly turned her head away and continued busy with her own affairs. Lin Ju drank the wine slowly, with a look of thought in his eyes. Dick Grayson, this is not an ordinary person. If nothing happens, he may become Batman's Robin. He has extremely unique abilities. He had a common fighting talent, and was thinking about Dick Grayson's storyline in his mind. He couldn't even remember many parts clearly, but there was a piece of information from the series flashing through his mind. It would be really interesting if there was a storyline like that. The sky was extremely dark, and the lead gray clouds seemed to be very low, giving people an extremely depressing psychological foreshadowing. Harley was walking on the campus sidewalk, and the buildings on both sides exuded ancient charm, which made her fair-skinned. She seemed a little out of place. Walking lightly, Harley seemed to be in a pretty good mood. Harley, a somewhat surprised tone came from the side. A girl with a high ponytail and tan skin walked quickly. Behind her were two girls, one white and one black, also wearing school uniforms. Lena, good morning, Harry greeted with a normal expression. Quote question mark question mark quote. All three girls looked confused. Poof, the girl named Lena suddenly laughed. Harley Quinn, did I hear you wrong? You were saying hello to me just now. 
Lina put her hands in her pockets, walked lazily, staggered to Harley, and put a hand directly on her shoulder. Using a little force with one hand, he suddenly pulled Harley in front of him. Where are your funny and ridiculous black-rimmed glasses, Harley? The corners of Lena's mouth raised, her face full of mockery. However, Harley, who should have looked embarrassed and timid, raised the corners of her mouth in an exaggerated arc and stared at the girl beside her quietly. An inexplicable sense of horror lingered in Lina's heart. In an instant, she could feel a cold aura surrounding herself. She touched her bare arms, and dense goosebumps appeared at some point. A trace of surprise flashed across her face, and Lena stiffly took her arm away and backed away slightly. Quote question mark quote. At this moment, behind her, one in black and one in white, the two girls looked at Lena's inexplicable behavior with some strangeness. His face returned to normal, Harry nodded slightly, and then walked lightly towards the campus. Quote dot 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 quote. Lena, what's wrong with you? Lena, I thought you were going to teach Harley a lesson again. Why didn't you do it like usual today? The black girl smiled and hugged Lina's shoulders. She shook her head hard to get rid of the fear in her mind. The ponytail of her head swayed from side to side, her movements were cute, but her tone was completely different. Harley, you're so brave. See if I don't teach her a lesson. Somewhat annoyed that she had developed a fear just now, Lina quickly ran and chased after the retreating figure. Ha ha. I knew that Lena Guy wouldn't give up the opportunity to teach Harley a lesson so easily. The two girls followed him with excitement on their faces. Seeing the figure walking in the aisle with a school bag in front of her, Lena ran up to him without hesitation and kicked the figure hard. Boom, Harley fell to the ground instantly, her body lying on the ground with her head lowered, as if she didn't dare to resist. This made Lena, who had succeeded in the attack, very excited. She quickly stepped forward and grabbed Harley's golden hair with one hand. The two companions behind him also hurriedly walked forward and looked at the scene in front of them. However, the next moment, Harley suddenly raised her hand and grabbed Lena's wrist. Question mark. Lena was shocked, and then more anger emerged in her heart, and she subconsciously wanted to take out her palm. However, with a crisp sound, her palm instantly turned in the opposite direction. Ah, there was a piercing scream, and Lena looked at Harry in horror. As for the two friends behind her, they were even more frightened. Snapped, an unusually loud slap hit Lena's face instantly. With the powerful force, Lena's slender body instantly spun twice and fell heavily to the ground. Ah, Harley is crazy. Help, the two girls sensed something was wrong and were about to escape from the place. However, the next moment they were thrown to the ground by Harley with an exaggerated smile on her face. He opened his hands to the left and right, instantly leaving two deeper lines of color on a certain dark face, and knocked the black girl unconscious with a few random slaps. Harley threw herself in front of another girl and pushed her to the ground. Three minutes later, Harley stared at the girl's delicate neck and licked her lips subconsciously. What are you doing? A passing student shouted and ran quickly towards this side. Harley's eyes suddenly woke up, and she looked at the three people lying under her with some surprise. Her expression showed a hint of panic, and she quickly grabbed the backpack she had dropped on the ground and fled quickly. A serious and vicious fight occurred on the Highland campus. The incident was eventually calmed down quickly by minimizing the major incident. In just one morning, Harley heard no more news about the fight. At this moment, she was sitting there with some lingering fear. She slowly took out a round mirror from her backpack and pointed it at her face. Her unusually white, bloodless face made her look slightly startled. Am I too white? She couldn't help but have such an idea in her mind, but the image of opening the girl's collar in the morning and exposing her slender neck could not help but appear in her mind. Involuntarily licking the corners of her lips, she became a little frightened. She quickly took the water glass from the corner of the table and drank it. It wasn't until his stomach became bloated from drinking that he slowly put the water glass back on the table. What's wrong with me? Her head began to make a low buzzing sound. This inexplicable buzzing sound shook her brain, so much so that she didn't listen to a word of the connected lessons. It wasn't until the school bell rang that she quickly picked up her satchel and fled the classroom quickly. The voice in her mind seemed to be encouraging her to go somewhere. Her figure involuntarily ran quickly in a certain direction, 
passing through the abandoned church and over the streets full of playfulness, until she passed through the traffic of people and came to an open field. Looking at the lonely and deserted environment with stunned eyes, the buzzing in his mind stopped suddenly, and Harley stopped subconsciously. Dongolin Cemetery, a medium-sized cemetery that has been abandoned for a long time. How did I get here? Harley's face was pale, and her expression showed fear. She didn't understand what was happening to her body, as if she was out of control, and her body came to this place involuntarily. Hi, were you also summoned by the blood god? A somewhat brisk and jumpy word slowly sounded out, and Harley's expression suddenly changed, and she quickly turned her head to look. A middle-aged man in a neat white robe, tall and tall, with gold eye sockets on his face was looking at her with a smile. A flash of scarlet light flashed across the man's eyes, causing Harry to step back in shock. Hallucination. Lin Ju couldn't help but shook his head. The picture of the campus in his mind instantly disappeared. When he was immersed in consciousness, that picture came to him again. He even saw the picture of three girls walking towards him. This is, Lin Ju finally realized that something seemed not quite right. Listening to the girl's words, Lin Ju seemed to be immersed in the scene. He realized that he seemed to be able to control his consciousness to attach to someone's body. However, his ability to control this body seemed to be very weak. He could clearly feel that when the girl's emotions fluctuated greatly, his connection with this body instantly dissipated. Slowly, Lin Ju seemed to figure out a pattern. When the girl was frightened or in a daze, he could briefly control the body. Seeing the three girls in front of him grabbing, his ponytail, Lin Ju couldn't help but scratch it. He subconsciously grabbed the girl's wrist and applied force with his palm. With a squeaking sound, he realized that he seemed to have broken the girl's wrist. Lin Ju, who had no intention of showing mercy at all and knew his own situation, knocked the other black girl and the white girl to the ground without hesitation. When he left, he fell into a trance and his consciousness was disconnected again. He could only watch the girl's operation. Lin Ju was slightly shocked as he watched the girl lift the white girl's neck and the hunger flowing in his heart. Vampire, subconsciously thinking that he could stay in that body for a short time, Lin Ju finally realized that something must have gone wrong. I don't seem to have used the transformation ability of the blood god. Could it be the factor of the ancestor's body? But my body has already optimized it, and there are no worms. Putting the image of the worm outbreak out of his mind, Lin Ju fell into thinking. Subconsciously he opened his panel. The information that came into his mind instantly shocked him, and his eyes were fixed on the ability module. Multiverse unlocked, concept unlocked. Abilities. Fallen angel, disabled, vampire god, concept optimization in progress, factors are missing, super soldier. Each ability is temporarily incompatible due to conceptual factors. It requires dimensional points to be integrated in a short time. Discover the details by yourself. The ultimate panel needs to be recognized to enhance the concept, please spread your majesty. His eyes paused directly on the two abilities of Angel Body and Vampire God, and as the two pieces of information quickly flowed into his mind. Fallen Angel, disabled, affected by the rules of the multiverse, the dimension is being optimized. Abilities, immortality, extraordinary physical fitness, can enter a state that cannot be locked by lower level beings. The Vampire God. Influenced by the rules of the multiverse, the conceptual dimension is optimized, combining the conceptual characteristics of the body of the ancestor and the blood god. The conceptual fusion of the two requires special factors, and the dimension has been anchored, available to view. Ability. Blood abnormality, having the ability to change the mind of the creatures it eats, any life body and mind that absorbs the blood of the host will undergo changes in some unknown direction, partial to bloodthirsty, emotional amplification. First embrace, not unlocked. Transformation, unlocked, you can spread the blood god factor through biting, gnawing, and scratching, transforming the object into a vampire. Extraordinary body. The stronger blood god is the main body, and the two are combined, needs concept optimization. Transfiguration. Transformable form. Blood god form. Super large increase in own abilities can be optimized. Looking at the two new differentiated abilities, Lin Ju finally solved the doubts that had been hidden deep in his heart for a long time. Having absorbed so many abilities, he should have been stronger than one plus one, but when he took away the blood god's ability, 
he found that his strength had only improved a little, but it was far from the expected effect. He even turned into the blood god form, which directly caused the effect of his ancestor's body to be minimal. When he tried to use the two abilities, another inexplicable gap appeared. Now, looking at the prompt message below the ability, Lin Zhu finally understood why he felt that way. Conceptual gap. All in all, his abilities have been optimized this time. At least he seems to know the direction of his next development. Although his physical fitness in the vampire god state seems to be about the same as the previous two, which are separated but also increased, but he I believe that once the conceptual abilities of the two vampires are completely integrated, his strength will probably take a leap. No, maybe I can do it now, but there is one more restriction, dimensional points, if you didn't notice, you can look at the front. Focusing on the vampire god's ability, Lin Ju finally understood why his consciousness could be attached to the girl's body. Eat my blood, Harley, Lin Ju could only sigh helplessly. To be honest, he really didn't understand the mental state of the people in Gotham. Even if they shed some blood, they would be eaten by others. Lin Ju was not worried that his blood would be studied by others. After all, he was already biased. The mysterious element, it is certain that the white blood of the blood ancestor was studied by the American government of that dimension, and a virus was even specially developed for this purpose, but it was obviously not of much use. At this time, he understood and knew that he could not let it go. He must know that even he, the host of the blood, did not know what kind of impact his blood would have on the girl. Thinking about Harley Quinn's mental state that will change in the future, Lin Ju was a little worried whether he would let this girl take the path of Harley Quinn in advance. Oh, is this fate? But, if it were her, would she have found a new path with my intervention? Lin Ju couldn't help but have some whims. Harley herself had the inexplicable blessing of luck in this world, otherwise she wouldn't be so lively and vigorous in the dangerous Gotham, and there would be no problem even if she wanted to die everywhere. Just when Lin Ju couldn't help but start a new plan, his mind was slightly dazed, and a new picture appeared in his mind. Question mark. Good guy, here you go again. Lin Ju frowned, and the scene in front of him seemed a bit dazzling. A bright room with a white tone as a whole, two pictures, one large and one small, came into view. One seemed to be in a cage, making squeaking sounds constantly, while the other was looking at the ceiling. Know what to think. Comma. Simply controlling the body with a smaller field of view, Lin Ju decisively gave up on this spiritual link after discovering that it was a white mouse, and turned to the next best thing and came to the body of the man in white robes. This is the power of the blood god. Sure enough, it's really extraordinary. This feeling, is so wonderful. Ha ha, ha ha ha. The man couldn't help mumbling to himself, and loud laughter kept coming from his mouth, which made Lin Ju a little worried about his mental state. He slowly stretched out his palm and stroked the skin that should have wrinkled, but was now rejuvenated. Long-term vision. The man murmured to himself and looked at the empty test tubes aside. There was a hint of loss in his eyes. He injected all the remaining blood brought by the people in black into his body. This kind of thing deserves to be absorbed by an elite like me. Do those brainless guys deserve it too? The man reaffirmed his approach. Lin Ju, who was in the third perspective at this moment, still didn't know that his blood must have been collected and brought to the laboratory for research. But obviously, the researchers may have obtained some results, but they did not do anything about it. Other operations, on the contrary, absorbed one's own blood. These two people must not have been absorbed at the same time. It should have something to do with the change in my ability. Lin Ju thought secretly in his heart. Through preliminary observation, he could clearly find that Harley's mental state seemed to be much more serious than that of the male researcher. He could even briefly control her body when her mental state was stimulated, but this researcher found that although his consciousness could establish a connection with it, he could not control it at all. Excluding other factors, Harley absorbed his blood much earlier than the male researcher. This was a feeling of being the source, and the two of them gave him completely different states. Therefore, Originally my ability may be due to the factor of the ancestor's body, so my blood can transform them, but the transformation is not complete. At the same time, because there is no medium like worms, I cannot feel or even control them. Now because of time travel, entering the huge multi-dimensional universe of Marvel, 
his abilities have changed and been sublimated, so that under the rules of the new abilities, he can now perceive the existence of his blood descendants. Lin Ju was thinking in his mind. At the same time, while he was immersed in the information about his abilities, he got new information. Such changes in his blood occurred unconsciously. If under his conscious control, the blood the effect will be strengthened or weakened, and it can even simply produce the kind of blood of immortality that is similar to white blood without any side effects. Ha, huh, in short, the ability has indeed been strengthened and the controllability is higher. Look at the, dimension anchored, message on the panel. Lin Ju's eyes flashed slightly, and the dimensional cover was instantly displayed in front of him. His eyes quickly passed over the vampire series that was still blocked by the chain, and he was shocked to find that the dimensional cover of Blade's film and television series had completely disappeared. A piece of information passed through my mind. Incorporated into the Marvel multiverse. Knowing it in his heart, Lin Ju looked aside again and saw an oversized dimensional cover. Good guy. This dimensional cover brings together many characters that are familiar to the neighbors. Among them, Steve is in the middle, with Iron Man Tony Stark standing next to him, and behind him are a large group of good guys and villains. Well, the layout of the super multi-dimensional universe is just different. Lin Ju looked at the oversized cover with some horror and looked away. He was afraid that if he stared at it for too long, he would be suddenly selected again by the cover that was constantly flashing with colorful light. Looking quickly at the two extra covers next to him, Lin Ju's eyes suddenly lit up. On a cover with mainly dark tones, a woman with sharp eyes held two swords in front of her, her eyes seemed to be staring at Lin Ju. Underworld, looking at Selena's familiar face, as one of the first vampire movies that Lin Ju came into contact with, he was extremely passionate about all the vampire and even werewolf elements in it. A strong brilliance burst out in his eyes. Vampire, werewolf, it's getting more interesting. It seems that my vampire god must deprive certain creatures in it to obtain certain fusion factors. Lin Ju's brain was thinking rapidly, and one figure after another passed through his mind. Looking at the gray state of the cover of Underworld, Lin Ju put down his excitement a little, and then looked helplessly at the blazing marvel next to him. How great would it be if you could transfer some of your energy to other covers? I wonder if I'm not trying any super criminals either. Lin Ju looked at the Marvel cover that shone like a breathing lamp. He could feel that the other person was calling him all the time, and he might be forced to choose him again one day. Looking helplessly at the second cover, Lin Ju felt slightly happy. With gray as the main tone, a tall, strong and handsome man, wearing medieval armor, stands on a desolate land. There is a pair of huge black wings behind him, and a powerful momentum seems to spread through the cover. To the dimension where Lin Ju is. Dracula, Lin Ju instantly realized the impact of the two anchored dimensions on him. Thinking of the final boss in Dracula's first year, he seemed to be a demon. Combined with his blood god form, the demon seemed to be in the same concept, or very similar, so Underworld seems to be adding and strengthening the vampire element of his ancestor's body, while Dracula's first year is to strengthen the concept of blood god. The combination of the two, is this a god or a demon? Lin Ju forced himself to suppress his wildly beating heart, and two big guys popped out at once. To be honest, with his current strength, it was hard not to be excited. Thinking back to my pitiful experience of traveling through the world for the first time, using the body of an ordinary person to fight against the broken body of a fallen angel. My achievements are all due to my wisdom, and now I deserve all the hardships. Looking at Dracula's first year who was also in a gray state with some unwillingness, Lin Ju closed his dimensional cover. It seems that you need to be more diligent during this time. Thinking silently in his heart, Lin Ju felt the state of his two half-bloods at this moment. A wonderful idea suddenly appeared in my mind. If they judge sins, they are also considered my people. If they judge sins, will they bring me some benefits? Just do it as he thought, Lin Ju completely let go of his mind, and instantly established a connection with Harley and the man who seemed to be a researcher at the same time. In his subconscious, he directly started calling these two people. Comma, Lin Ju greeted Emily, who was a little free at the moment, and asked for leave. He quickly rushed out of the bar and disappeared into Emily's confused gaze. At the same time, Kyle slowly raised his black-rimmed glasses, feeling the vague call in his mind. Being extremely intelligent, he suddenly figured out this vague linking rule, 
and he directly let go of yourself and let this consciousness control your body. As if he were a third party, he watched his body leave the laboratory and walked out of the factory, which he had not left for more than half a year, under the strange eyes of the guards. With a very fast pace, he directly stopped a taxi, followed the voice in his head, and rushed towards the vague direction in his heart with an excited face. Arriving at a deserted cemetery, under the strange gaze of the driver, he walked alone into this forest garden filled with the hoarse cries of crows. Blood God, I haven't committed any crime. The man looked excited and murmured to himself in his heart. He kept repeating these words regardless of whether Lin Ju could hear it or not. The reason why he followed Lin Ju's will to come to this place was entirely because of the huge temptation. As for the camp issue, how could a wise man stay with a fool? As long as the blood god grants him eternal life, any assassin's league will be a piece of shit. Who are you? Harley looked at the excited man in front of her with surprise. It turns out I'm not the only one. Could it be that you were transformed by the blood god himself? Kyle asked with some confusion and excitement. Blood god. Harry's eyes suddenly opened and he looked at the man eagerly. Where is Lord Blood God? Quote dot dot dot. So he's a psychopath. Kyle instantly lost interest. He guessed that he was the person who was accidentally saved by the blood god. Isn't licking the blood left by the blood god a lunatic? He is not surprised at all for someone with Gotham's mental state. Quack quack. Dozens of crows suddenly emerged from the jungle and flew in the air. Instantly, their hearts tightened and they looked solemnly at the forest. The two of them felt an extremely powerful aura almost at the same time, and at the same time, the thought of surrender continued to emerge in their subconscious minds. It's like a lower-ranking person facing a higher-ranking person, no, it's even more serious than that, as if by nature they should all respect the existence that is about to appear. The blood-colored robe was flying in the wind, and the tall figure slowly stepped on the soft land covered with leaves and branches. With the sound of rustling sawdust, Lin Ju slowly walked out of the dense forest. His eyes first paused for a moment at Harley, who had a fanatical look on her face and a hint of madness in her eyes, and then looked at the man in white with the same crazy look, but with a different meaning. Welcome my lord. The man knelt down on the ground and roared fervently. He actually followed his inner voice and knelt down on the ground. Quote question mark quote. Faced with this inexplicable situation, Lin Ju, who was unaware of it, just subconsciously judged the man as a wallflower. A figure rushed towards him quickly. Lin Ju's eyes froze, and his body suddenly tensed up. However, this slim figure jumped straight into his arms. His figure was as steady as a mountain, and Lin Ju didn't tremble at all, letting the girl hug him. Obsession and madness flashed in Harley's eyes. Under her long golden hair, her head kept rubbing against Lin Ju's chest. He casually waved Harley aside. Well, staggering back, Harley looked at Lin Ju, who was silent, a little aggrievedly. I am the blood god. You who eat my true blood and become my blood descendants should have the respect of being reborn. The scarlet pupil stared at the girl in front of her, her head lowered and her expression aggrieved. Lin Ju roared helplessly in his heart. Am I a clown? Quote dot 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 quote. Kyle, who seemed to be ignored by the two at the moment, looked a little anxious and looked at the girl with some annoyance. I didn't expect you to be really good at licking without showing your face. I underestimated you this time. He instantly regarded the girl in front of him as his enemy. He didn't think that the blood god had any relationship with this girl before. Just from the performance of the two of them, he could deduce that even in the blood god's eyes, this girl was just an accident. Dear blood god, my name is Kyle. I am a doctor of biogenetics. I am engaged in biological research. I was previously ordered by the League of Assassins to study your blood. Kyle said with some urgency. He wanted to attract Lin Ju's attention as soon as possible and add chips to his own value. Oh, a deep and rich voice slowly came out from Lin Ju's cloak. Seeing Lin Ju's reaction, Kyle crawled and knelt in front of Lin Ju with a face full of ecstasy. I have always longed to meet you. Your blood is simply the most wonderful miracle in the world. I would like to serve you as my master. I just ask that you allow me to continue to study all the mysteries of this world. Seeing the enthusiasm in the man's eyes, Lin Ju felt a sense of enlightenment in his heart. It turns out that those men in black are from the League of Assassins. No wonder they are all very skilled. 
The green arrow in Star City next door couldn't even deal with them, so they came to trouble me. Lin Ju was secretly annoyed. Why was it immediately certain that the group of men in black were the Assassin's League? It seemed that this was the only one that was targeting him, collecting his blood and studying it. As for Harley, this was entirely an accident. With Lin Ju's current strength, he was completely unafraid of the Assassin League after transforming into the Blood God form, but he had to guard against the bizarre assassinations and despicable methods. Just because he is not afraid does not mean that his friends are not afraid. Lin Ju, who finally figured out the identity of the men in black, breathed a sigh of relief. Now that he had a target, everything would be easy to deal with. Looking at the two of them again, he had new thoughts in his eyes. You just absorbed my blood, but you can't maintain it. Now I give you a chance, a chance of eternal life, that is, I will transform you into a vampire. Eternal life, Kyle's eyes were bright. As for the vampires behind him, he didn't hear a word. Nothing could attract his attention more than that word. As for Harley, she said without hesitation, I am willing. As long as I can stay by your side, I can do anything. Madness and stubbornness flashed across her eyes, and this unforgettable emotion made Lin Ju's heart tremble slightly. Was it my blood that caused her mental changes, or was she mentally ill? Lin Ju complained helplessly. He had noticed the two completely different changes in Harley's emotions when she saw him and when she didn't see him. It seemed that his blood instantly amplified that emotion. This girl has such quick reactions. Lord Blood God, I am willing to, I am willing to follow you to the death. Kyle said anxiously. Then he saw Lin Ju slowly walking towards the girl, and under the girl's crazy gaze, he instantly bit her neck. Seeing that Lin Ju seemed to be biting the girl's neck, Kyle panicked slightly and then quickly calmed down. This is also due to the identity of the Blood God's Judgment Council. The reason why he defected so completely and so completely is because the Blood God is on the side of justice. In addition, in his eyes, the Judgment Council is far superior. The League of Assassins is a huge organization that has ruled the dark world of Europe for many years. Ah, whispering softly, Harley's pupils opened, and a scarlet light flashed in them. Lin Ju slowly let go of the girl who was hugging him tightly, and looked at Kyle who was watching Harley. Noticing that there seemed to be nothing unusual about Harley, Kyle looked at Lin Ju expectantly and subconsciously unbuttoned his collar to expose his neck. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at the exposed chest hair at the collar, Lin Ju's face hidden behind the mask twitched slightly. By the way, can it be converted directly through grasping? Lin Ju's eyes lit up, and subconsciously his claws extended forward involuntarily, and his figure flashed across Kyle in an instant. Ah, Kyle hugged his arms and fell to the ground in pain, looking at Lin Ju with a stunned face as the afterimage flashed past and returned to the same place again. Just when he was in shock and confusion, waves of warmth flowed from his arms to his body. An extremely comfortable feeling lingered in his body. This, is this a vampire? His eyes were closed tightly. After opening them for a moment, his pupils were scarlet. Great master, no matter what it is, Kyle is willing to fight for you. Kyle roared with enthusiasm, feeling the endless power that seemed to be contained in his body and the increasingly strong bloodlust. The joy in his heart was indescribable. Immortality and power have been gained, and nothing makes him more grateful than this catch. What happened to the scratch? Get the power on the line. Looking at Harley who looked obsessed, Lin Ju kept his image and could only complain helplessly in his heart. It's over, she seems to be even more enthusiastic. As for Kyle, Lin Ju didn't think he was as fanatical as he appeared on the surface, but the feeling of surrender when facing him could not be faked. As their direct transformer, he has an innate aura of superiority. This may be combined with some of the characteristics of blood vampires. The ancestor has superpower over other vampires, regardless of whether they were transformed by him or not. Control. Although he can't directly control the vampire he transformed, he still has that pressure. At least in front of him, his vampire will be instantly suppressed by him, and his strength will be reduced by half. Stretching out his palm wrapped in leather gloves, Lin Ju gently tapped Kyle. Test your strength and speed. He wanted to see what was special about the vampire he transformed, or what its special abilities and strength were. Boom. As a boulder fell heavily to the ground, Kyle looked excited, and then he started running quickly again, 
looking at the speed that was slightly inferior to the speed of Ihorst and the vampire clan. Lin Ju silently assessed his strength in his heart. It should be because the vampire concept of the vampire clan is not fully integrated. Without the speed of the twilight vampire, the power seems to be quite strong. You can try to convert others. Transformation. Great master, you mean the same power as you that transforms others into vampires. Kyle's eyes lit up, and dozens of thoughts quickly ran through his mind. Looking at Kyle's expression, Lin Chu, knowing that he might not be able to get an answer for a while, did not delve deeper into this issue. Next he would try another kind of trial. The high-speed moving bodies passed by Harley and Kyle, and the three figures quickly disappeared into the forest. An abandoned factory. Boom. Ah, you guys, do you know who I am? A white man was suspended under the beam of the factory, with blood slowly dripping from his face. The clothes on his upper body were stripped off, leaving him naked in the cold wind of the factory. He was surrounded by three men wearing thick leather jackets, one of whom was the tallest bald man with a sinister smile on his face. You're the one I'm beating. The next moment, he slowly took out the toothed tiger with an inexplicable luster from his jacket pocket and clasped it on his fist. No, no, no. Brother, there is a misunderstanding. The man's plan could be seen at a glance, and the bound white man begged with a look of fear on his face. However, before he could finish speaking, the shiny toothed tiger struck his smooth belly with a heavy and powerful punch. Poof, he suddenly pulled out his fist, and five bloody holes suddenly appeared on his stomach, and blood flowed out from the five holes like a fountain. Ah, fierce screams resounded throughout the factory, but the bald man laughed, along with the two black companions beside him. This guy, wasn't he just so arrogant? Young man, if you dare to show off in front of us, don't worry, we will take care of your girlfriend. Ha 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 ha. A black man couldn't help but speak sarcastically, which instantly aroused the response of his two companions. Ah, you beasts, my family will never let you go. The white man's tears were mixed with the saliva flowing from the corners of his mouth, and he looked embarrassed. Poof, ha ha, I'm so scared. The black man looked scared, and his twisted body looked a little funny. Just when he couldn't help but mock again, the next moment his body suddenly seemed to be pulled by something, and he was instantly pulled above the factory. At the same time, the sudden cessation of the sound also stunned his two companions for a moment. Brother, the two of them looked behind them in confusion. The black man who was taunting him just now seemed to disappear out of thin air. Their eyes looked at the interior of the factory in shock. However, when they looked at the empty factory to the end, it seemed as if the black man before had really disappeared. In an instant, it disappeared into thin air. Quote dot 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 quote. Another black man slowly took out a pistol from his arms and looked around with surprise. The white man suddenly thought of something and looked up subconsciously. A face dripping with blood was covering his neck, and his whole body was trembling as he hung above his head. On the beam of the factory, a figure was hanging upside down. At this moment, he was lying on his body, gnawing on something. Oh my god, Shet! With a panicked shout, the man instantly took out his pistol and shot directly, not even caring about his partner hanging in midair. Bang 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 bang, the black man on the side was instantly frightened and fell to the ground. At this moment, he also looked upward. A black shadow instantly ran across the beam and disappeared into the darkness of the factory. The bloody body of the black friend who had disappeared before fell heavily to the ground, stirring up a cloud of dust. At this time, the two of them paid no attention to the life and death of their companions, and looked around in horror. What the hell was that? The men were swearing as they walked toward each other, back to back. Their eyes looked around in horror at all the dark corners. Ha ha ha. Dot die together, die together. At this time, the white man who was suspended looked crazy, staring at the corpse of the black man who seemed to have been chewed to death, with a happy look in his eyes, and his mental state seemed a little strange. Shut up. The black man opened fire instantly, hitting the white man in the chest with one shot. The man's original gibberish instantly turned into a painful groan, but it was because of this moment of distraction. A figure jumped down from the beam and threw the black man to the ground. His horrified eyes only glanced at a ferocious fang. The next moment, the black man's body froze, and he trembled as if he was paralyzed. The existence lying on his body was biting his neck. Bang bang bang. 
several gunshots were fired in succession, and the white man looked in horror at the being who was lying on his companion, sucking blood. He emptied the magazine with several consecutive shots. He found in despair that the bullets seemed to only make the opponent's body tremble slightly. As the pistol fell to the ground, he rolled and crawled towards the exit of the factory. However, it was too late, as a graceful figure instantly threw him to the ground. Ahem, a sound like a broken throat and choking blood came from the factory. Cough, cough, blood oozed from the corners of the man's mouth, and the whites of his eyes were exposed. The blood on his face quickly faded, and Harley greedily sucked his blood. Enough, a deep, oppressive voice echoed throughout the factory. The bloodthirsty desires in Kyle and Harley's hearts quickly dissipated, and they both reluctantly glanced at the two lifeless corpses. The blood slowly dripped from the mouth, the pupils were emitting scarlet light, and combined with the corpses at their feet, an extremely horrifying atmosphere rushed over them. Good guy, if I weren't the ancestor of vampires, I would really be scared by these two people. Lin Ju's consciousness quickly sank into his mind. He asked these two people to take action, not just to test their abilities. Really, looking at the flash of light on the cover of Dracula's first year, Lin Ju's eyes lit up slightly. The blood he transformed punishes evil, and he can also gain dimensional energy. Blood God, a slightly weak exclamation echoed through the factory. The man looked excitedly at the existence of two bloodthirsty, monsters, slowly walking towards him. A feeling of surviving a disaster suddenly emerged in his heart. Kyle's eyes flashed with scarlet light, and he subconsciously looked at the man who was still bleeding from his belly. Master, what should he do? He couldn't help calling softly, as if Lin Ju was in some kind of thinking state. After hearing his call, the face of the hanging man changed drastically. He looked at Kyle with some horror, looking at him with a vague gaze, and the blood dripping from the black man's bite, causing his white robe to be stained. There was blood everywhere on his body, and the blood around his mouth almost covered half of his face, making Kyle look like a demon. I tell you to punish sin, not to become sin. A low and deep voice echoed throughout the factory, and the man looked at Lin Ju hesitantly. He was a little scared, but he suddenly felt hopeful again. These two people looked like monsters, but the name of the Blood God Trial Council made him feel a little calmer. He looked at the white man with his eyes. You're dying. Lin Ju looked at the man calmly. The white man subconsciously looked at the large pool of blood left on the ground under his head. After some reaction, he instantly felt a violent dizziness. Suffer, I almost forgot, I'm bleeding all the time right now. Fasuo was horrified and looked at the blood god with sad eyes. Under Lin's command, Kyle reluctantly put Faso down. As soon as he fell to the ground, Faso's consciousness instantly fell into a trance. He watched the blood god slowly walking towards him, but he couldn't help it. A surge of hope emerged. The mysterious blood god should be able to save me. In a daze, he felt a warm current flowing slowly in his stomach. For a moment, his spirit suddenly relaxed, and he subconsciously opened his eyes. The pain in his abdomen instantly dissipated, and he looked in shock at his belly, which originally had five holes. Where's my wound? Where's my big wound? He screamed in disbelief, looking at the tall figure standing in front of him with his back turned in disbelief. Thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, the Great Blood God. Faso's face showed gratitude and reverence, and his heart was filled with great joy for the rest of his life. How can you thank me? Um, what? Faso, who was a little unresponsive, stared blankly at Lin Ju, who still had his back turned to him. His eyes subconsciously looked at the person who made the sound, Kyle who was staring at him with scarlet pupils. I saved your life, boy. The corners of Kyle's mouth curved, and the scarlet pupils in his eyes bloomed with a hint of excitement. Did you save me? Fasuo was stunned. The situation seemed to be developing differently than he had imagined. To be precise, the master saved you. The master transformed me into a vampire, and I transformed you into a vampire. We can be regarded as the same lineage. Kyle couldn't help but chuckle. Vampire. Kyle was stunned. What does it mean? At the same time, he immediately felt that the original warmth in his body quickly dissipated, replaced by a tingling feeling. At the same time, his stomach made a gurgling sound, and a strong sense of hunger surged into his heart. Lin Ju slowly turned around and looked at the man who seemed to be undergoing some kind of change at the moment. 
What will happen if the blood descendants I transform transform others? It was with this doubt in mind that Lin Ju allowed Kyle to turn the man into a vampire. This feeling, scarlet pupils flashed, and Faso's face showed a look of satisfaction. At that moment, his figure quickly jumped up, and with a slight leap, he jumped to the roof beam above the factory. He immediately jumped down again and pounced on the fallen body. Accompanied by strong sucking sounds, Kyle and Harley looked at each other. It seems that the blood-sucking desire is much stronger than that of my direct blood descendants. Lin Ju stared at the man who seemed to be transformed into a beast. A flash of horror flashed in the corner of his eyes. In a trance, he seemed to see the blood descendants he had unconsciously released transforming other vampires, and Gotham was filled with vampires. Stop, a low voice echoed throughout the factory. Faso, who was originally crazy and bloodthirsty, froze for an instant, and the extremely strong bloodthirsty desire that poured into his heart instantly dissipated. He felt as if he heard the voice of God. Um, my ability to control this kind of blood seems to be even better. Looking at Kyle, noticing Lin Ju's gaze, Kyle realized something instantly and quickly yelled, keep sucking. However, the man still stood there blankly, as if he hadn't heard anything. Kyle was stunned, and a trace of surprise flashed deep in his eyes. This strange spiritual sign of rank made Lin Ju secretly satisfied. It seems that I have absolute dominance over all my blood descendants, even indirect ones. Lin Ju couldn't help but let out a huge sigh of relief. Just seeing the bloodthirsty faces of the three people, he couldn't help but have some scary and bad thoughts in his heart, but now he felt relieved. What's wrong with me? The white man looked at the blood stained on his body with some fear. It seemed that it was stained by eating other people. He wiped away the blood with lingering fear, but more and more blood was wiped off. Boy, be grateful. If it weren't for me, you would have turned into a cold corpse. Kyle couldn't help but scolded. Subconsciously, he had assumed the identity of a superior person. In terms of skill and speed, he was superior to the man in front of him who was transformed by him. In addition, the man was considered his blood descendant, so naturally, he couldn't help but show off his status as a superior. As for Harley, her eyes once again stayed on Lin Ju. After the bloodthirsty desire that was downplayed by Lin Ju dissipated, her only thoughts were now focused on Lin Ju. After several tests, Lin Ju called his ability to directly command other vampires and even curb their bloodthirsty desires, mantra. It seemed that as soon as Lin Ju's thoughts fell, information flowed into his mind. This, Lin Ju was slightly shocked. I saw that this ability actually appeared in the original ability panel of the Vampire God. Mantra. The Vampire God has absolute dominance over all blood descendants or indirect blood descendants under his command. He can curb the bloodlust of vampires and suppress all blood descendants. To be optimized. Boy, I gave myself the full details. In fact, from the beginning, Lin Ju had a certain understanding of the fact that the description of some ability data on his panel was not detailed enough, including the previous ability gap, which Lin Ju had already discovered. Now that he can even give himself complete information, this has completely labeled his panel as unreliable. When he sensed the detailed information of the mantra's ability, he also understood that his control over his direct blood descendants was not even as strong as those at a lower level of blood. Interesting. Lin Ju directly used the mantra to dilute all the bloodlust in the hearts of the three newborn vampires in front of him. Feeling that her bloodthirsty desire had completely dissipated, Harley said nothing, but Kyle and Faso knelt on the ground. Thank you my lord. In fact, Kyle didn't dislike bloodlust very much. He even enjoyed the feeling of sweet blood, which was better than every drug he had ever taken. It means he can't drink. As for Faso, he was completely following the actions behind Kyle. At this time, he also understood his current identity. At the same time, after understanding these things, he did not feel any resentment towards Kyle. He felt the powerful power in his body. Strength, he felt a sense of joy instead. I'm about to fall into a deep sleep. The low voice resounded throughout the factory, and the three of them had different emotions. Harley didn't seem to care about the pressure of the superior at all, and directly hugged Lin Ju's arm. Lin Ju, who was somewhat helpless, simply let her hold his arm. This image actually made Fasuo a little concerned. Lin Ju slowly revealed his plan. The Blood God group, 
a subordinate organization located in the Trial Council, is responsible for maintaining the security of Gotham East District when the major speakers of the Trial Council are secretly hiding. Kyle's eyes lit up. He had no interest in punishing crimes or maintaining law and order, but he was secretly happy about Lin Ju's imminent sleep. As for Faso, he was a little excited and excited in his heart. Now that he was very human, he naturally wanted to experience a completely different life from his original one, punish evil and promote good, and become a hero who protects order. This seemed very handsome to him, in line with his temperament. Thank you, ancestor. Fasuo looked at Lin Ju with excitement. Lin Ju's eyes paused for a moment on this completely unexpected white man and cast an admiring glance. He was very satisfied with Faso's reaction. As for Kyle, he had other plans in mind. You can leave now, Faso stays. After receiving the confirmation, Kyle couldn't wait to leave the factory. His figure moved at high speed and quickly disappeared into the night. However, Harley did not leave. She looked at Lin Ju with burning eyes, as if she would go wherever Lin Ju went. As a direct blood descendant of Lin Ju, she seems to be much more resistant to the power of the mantra than her indirect descendants. Lin Ju frowned slightly, and knowing the reason, he could only let Harley go for the time being. Faso. Exist. Fasuo looked at Lin Ju with a firm expression. He had the utmost respect for Lin Ju, both in terms of truth and his own situation. I hope you can find some oppressed people and transform them into blood descendants. You people alone are not enough to fight against those dark forces. We people, Faso looked puzzled. As far as he knew, no, everyone in Gotham knew that the Judgment Council had two speaker-level figures, the Judge and the Blood God. He could even get it from the Blood God's words. You know, there are at least ten speakers, and the Judgment Council has unfathomable strength, but at this moment, it looks like it is about to fight against them. I can't tell you the specific reasons. Although the Judgment Council will disappear for a while, our eyes will always be on you. Yes, Faso looked excited after accepting the task. Although he didn't quite understand why Lin Ju didn't arrange for Kyle and Harley to do such a thing, he was already excited to be able to form a vampire army at this moment. Yes, he wanted to forming a vampire army, this is in line with his temperament. If the youngest daughter of the Grace family knew that I had joined the Judgment Council, would she die of envy? Hee <laughs> hee. Watching Faso's leaving figure, Lin Ju slowly looked at Harry who was still holding his arm. Harley. The mantra ability was directly pushed to the maximum. Sensing that Lin Ju seemed a little angry, Harley looked embarrassed and slowly let go of his arm. We need to optimize this ability quickly. Lin Ju couldn't help but secretly complain. His brain was working rapidly, and suddenly, the originally oppressive voice became slightly softer. I only believe in you. Sure enough, it was just the beginning. Harley's eyes suddenly lit up, meeting her expectant gaze. Lin Ju directly expressed his thoughts. I don't 100% trust Faso and Kyle. I'm worried that they will abuse my abilities wantonly. I need someone to monitor them, no, some people. I do. Harley's fair face showed an eagerness to try, and she looked at Lin Ju expectantly. You need to find a group of reliable people, at least three, one of whom is responsible for the security of Wall Street. It is the most orderly neighborhood noted by our trial council. We will not allow changes there, or you can personally guard it, and then arrange for other people to keep an eye on Kyle and Faso, and even notify me directly when the situation is serious. Good, go ahead, is this task too difficult? You may have to report to me from time to time. This sentence completely moved Harley. Seeing that the girl in front of him finally left him, Lin Ju breathed a sigh of relief. In fact, he could also get rid of it by himself, but he didn't want to cause unnecessary trouble. God knows, it seems that his brain is now what are some unusual girls capable of. After all, she is Harley Quinn. I filtered the various steps of the plan in my mind. In fact, the most fundamental key to this plan lies in the power of the mantra. Kyle must be an unstable factor, but Lin Ju wants to take advantage of his instability. Who said he would must we stand on the side of justice? Evil is more deterrent than justice. As for Faso, Hikari seems on the surface to be following his plan, perhaps even going to great lengths to accomplish it given the effect the mantra has on him. Dr. Kyle. Yes. Nodding to the factory security guards, most of whom were guards arranged by the Assassin's League. 
There was no power to restrict him, and they were just ordinary employees. Stepping lightly on the somewhat cold ground, Kyle's heart was filled with infinite imagination and prospects, and he could feel the endless power in his body. Suppress the desire to suck blood. Without sucking blood, how can we maintain our strength? Kyle couldn't help but chuckle. He seemed to have figured out the nutrients his body needed most at the moment just after becoming a vampire. Feeling his physique that had become stronger because of sucking blood, he showed a hint of intoxication in his eyes. Although he was a scientist of the Assassin's League, he did not get the transformation of the Assassin's League's super gene potion. At this moment, he came to the laboratory and looked at the mouse in the cage. He had a thought in his mind and opened the cage in an instant. Looking at the mouse that quickly jumped out of the cage, his mouth corners were slightly hooked. This situation that used to make him a little panic could hardly cause a ripple in his heart. His palm turned into a residual image, and he accurately grabbed the mouse's tail. He looked at this ordinary little white mouse. The next moment, he slowly opened his mouth, and his teeth on both sides became sharp, and then he bit the mouse. Accompanied by a squeaking sound, he slowly wiped the blood from his mouth and looked at the mouse with expectation. Under his gaze, the mouse's whole body began to twitch, and then, with a piercing hiss, the mouse seemed to become a bloodthirsty beast, biting back and forth frantically, and its sharp teeth kept making collision sounds. For a long time, why can't I control it? A trace of disappointment flashed in his eyes. The next moment, he directly used a knife to dissect the mouse. Looking at the same structure in its body as before, he showed a trace of thought in his eyes. Click click, the sound of slightly slow footsteps slowly sounded, and Kyle did not turn around. His attention seemed to still be on the dissected mouse. Dr. Kyle, where did you go just now? The visitor asked in a deep voice with some doubt. Suddenly turning around, Kyle looked normal, with a faint smile on his face as he looked at the man in a white coat in front of him. Dr. Lauren, why are you here? Me, haha, ha, the organization is not very satisfied with your work recently. You seem to be doing something that is beneficial to yourself behind the organization's back. Lauren looked at his old rival with a sneer on his face. Behind him followed two security guards holding guns, both of whom looked coldly at Kyle, who was the head of the laboratory this time. As long as I give me some more time, I will definitely study the secrets of the blood. There seems to be some mysterious factors in it. Simple chemical equations seem to be unable to explain some of the principles. Feeling the subtle atmosphere, Kyle frowned slightly and said somewhat defensively. In fact, he did not lie. He also wanted to figure out the principle of immortality, but every time he found that step, he stopped abruptly, like some special rules. Especially after seeing the incredible ability of the blood god, he now believed in a saying circulating in the scientific community, the end of science is theology. Ha, huh, Kyle, you are really going backwards as you live. Mysterious factor, you are a scientist, it seems that you are not suitable for this research. Lauren couldn't help but say with some sarcasm, his eyes looked at the two guards, the next moment, the two men walked forward together, as if to control Kyle. The organization is extremely disappointed with you, all your work will be taken over by me, all your research materials will be handed over, including all the ideas in your mind. Watching the guards walk towards Kyle, Lauren couldn't help but smile triumphantly. He has always been very jealous of Kyle being in charge of such an incredible project, and now he can finally take over this task openly. He is also very curious about the secret of immortality. HMPH. Suddenly, with a muffled groan, the two soldiers suddenly trembled and stopped in place, and Lauren behind them was still immersed in his fantasy. The soldiers stared at Kyle with incredible eyes, pinching their necks with both hands. The sharp nails directly penetrated their necks, and the bright red blood slowly dripped down their throats, and Kyle felt a faint hunger in his heart. Although Lin Ju suppressed his desire to suck blood, he still had the urge to drink it all out of instinct. Kyle's eyes showed a scarlet light. He was a little thin under the cover of two tall soldiers, and Lauren behind the soldiers did not notice anything unusual. The next moment, he pounced directly in front of a soldier, opened his ferocious fangs and bit his stiff body instantly. Cough. A sound of throat choking by blood resounded in the quiet laboratory. Lauren frowned and looked at the soldier who was still standing upright in front of him with some doubts. Did his eyes slowly move downwards? 
Then his pupils shrank, and he saw that the boots that belonged to Kyle were now close to one of the soldiers. Soldier, take him down quickly. Lauren couldn't help but yell, but the next moment, his face was filled with fear, and he stared in astonishment at the head that slowly emerged from the soldier's thick neck. Scarlet pupils were like wild beasts, staring at him with a hint of smile. The soldier still stood there, seemingly letting Kyle kiss his neck after some kind of mutation. Quote dot dot dot, fake, what are you doing? Seeing the change in Kyle's expression, Lauren couldn't help but retreat slowly back. He didn't understand the situation at the moment and knew that something was not quite right. The two soldiers in front of him who were supposed to take action stood motionless. In the same place, Kyle, who should have been pushed to the ground, was lying in front of their necks, not knowing what he was doing. Plop, as the two tall bodies slowly fell to the ground, Lauren finally understood why the two soldiers did not take any action. His eyes passed over the bitten flesh and blood on the neck, and then slowly dripped from Kyle's mouth, falling blood. Kyle, what are you doing? A scarlet blood shadow rushed straight towards him. Boom, quickly pulling out a gun and shooting, looking at the staggering figure who was shot, Lauren couldn't feel happy in her heart. The next moment, Kyle's figure seemed not to be affected at all, and he instantly threw him to the ground. Bang bang bang. Ah, with a scream, silence returned to the sealed laboratory again. Chapter 91. Why do we come to this place? Those guys, don't you know there is a trial council here? The judgment council, isn't it the organization that has that blood god? I saw the video, and it's not a human being at all. Okay, okay, stop talking. We have kept a much lower profile these days, and even secretly did some bad things. They didn't even show their shadows. I think they may have left Gotham. In a messy hotel, the hotel owner was lying on the ground shaking, with five fruit knives stuck on his back, staring desperately at the thin figure lying on the other side. Boom, his body couldn't help but tremble violently, and the man wearing the dog head mask seemed to be trampling an animal. He slowly pulled out the cigarette from his mouth and hit it directly on the hotel owner. When will this day end? That's right, Batman, running around everywhere, causing us to have no choice but to run to this place in the East End. Yes, have you ever wondered why Batman doesn't come to the East District? I suspect that guy doesn't dare to face the trial council. He really thinks he is a good person. Ha! Huh. A sturdy man wearing a pig head mask curled his lips and slowly walked towards the thin figure lying on the ground. He was a boy with long blonde hair. His face was pale and his condition looked extremely bad. He was a little uncomfortable. Rest assured. He slowly picked up the little boy with one hand and looked at his pale face. Snapped. He couldn't help but slap the face of his friend who was walking over behind him. Why the hell did you hit me? This guy is dead. I'm not telling you not to kill people casually. Don't kill people casually. Tomorrow there will be such a murder record in the newspaper that now broadcasts how safe the East District is every day, attracting the judge what to do. As if he was a little upset, the burly man directly knocked down the accomplice wearing the dog head mask, and hit his mask hard with his fist as big as a sandbag. The guys on the side quickly pulled him up. He was spitting out fragrance crazily and constantly cursing the man in the dog head mask. Even if he was pulled away, he couldn't help but kick the man in the dog head mask in the chest. Quote dot 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 quote. The man in the dog head mask seemed to realize the stupid thing he had done, and his expression was extremely ugly. What should I do? This idiot actually killed this child. Quote dot dot dot. I just wanted to choke him until he fainted. Who would have thought that he would die directly? The man in the dog head mask seemed to want to explain, but the next moment he was glared hard by the man in the pig head mask. Jingle bell. With the light ringing of the door bell, the five members of the mask club instantly trembled and their heads turned in the direction of the store door. The next moment, all the fear in their eyes dissipated, replaced by anger. I saw a man with a thin face and luxurious clothes slowly walking into the store door, his eyes blurred, and he seemed to have been drunk. I thought the blood god smelled blood and was coming. I was so scared. The man in the dog head mask angrily picked up a wine bottle from the side and threw it on the stand. Looking at the extremely sharp glass mouth, he walked directly towards the man with a ferocious smile. Behind him, several of his accomplices were also indifferent. Looking at this scene, he seemed to approve of the man's actions at this time. Poof, 
The glass bottle with hard edges in his hand penetrated the man's abdomen in an instant. The man in the dog head mask looked at the man ferociously, but his expression hidden under the mask suddenly froze. There was no scream or expression of pain. The corners of Faso's mouth curved in a huge arc, his eyes flashed with a trace of scarlet, and he stared coldly at the man in front of him. The next moment, he opened his mouth and his scarlet fangs instantly bit the dog-headed masked man's neck. Ah, the man in the dog-head mask screamed and froze on the spot. The shocking changes in front of them instantly frightened the four members of the mask club behind them and staggered back. They looked at the man who was lying on his partner and biting him with some surprise. Thinking it was a lunatic, the man in the pig-headed mask bit his teeth and rushed forward first. However, the next moment, the man in the dog-headed mask flew upside down and knocked him to the ground. The scene in front of them that was not done by human beings instantly frightened the other three people, just as they were trying to escape from the back door of the hotel in a panic. With the powerful power emerging from his body, Fasuo moved at high speed and rushed towards the three of them with a grin on his face accompanied by screams and the sound of flesh colliding one after another. Five minutes later, a man with a broken neck was slowly thrown to the ground. Faso's eyes flashed with excitement. Afraid of infecting these criminals into vampires, he walked up to the men he had bitten and broke their necks one by one. A strange sound in the hotel attracted his attention. Looking back, he saw a pale man with five sharp knives stuck in his back, his body covered in blood, lying in front of a thin child, whining continuously. A whimpering cry. With a slight sigh in his heart, Faso came to the hotel owner. Do you hate them? Looking at his son's lifeless face, the middle-aged man nodded sharply and looked gratefully at Fasuo, who was still dripping blood slowly from his mouth and looked a little scary. I am a blood descendant of the blood god and a member of the Judgment Conference. Sin breeds in the darkness, and light also needs to bloom from the darkness. Now, we need more people to join this action to destroy the darkness. I have been given the right to find warriors by the blood god. I can transform you into an existence like mine. From now on, you will fight against evil in the dark night and fall asleep in the light. Are you willing? Quote. Faso said with a serious face. He had long discovered that he seemed to be extremely sensitive to sunlight. He tried it during the day today, and the result was as if he was burned by flames. He somewhat understood the fear of light in the blood god's mouth, but he did not he didn't think this caused him any trouble. He considers himself a night owl. How can he be as happy during the day as at night? I hate all evil, and I will be the enemy of all evil. Please give me this chance. The middle-aged man's tears rolled down his cheeks. His eyes were red at the moment, and he looked like he was sworn in with the crime. Faso, who was somewhat satisfied with the man's condition, nodded his head. The next moment, he suddenly rushed in front of the man, opened his scarlet fangs and bit the man's neck in an instant. Well, the man let out an unconscious groan. After a long time, he felt his body begin to tremble and his muscles began to spasm. Faso slowly let go of him. He was in a bit of a slump due to lack of blood and suddenly woke up. He directly pulled out the five sharp blades on his back, and under Fasuo's clear eyes, he immediately pounced on the five dead members of the mask club and sucked their remaining blood one by one. Roar, a low roar echoed through this uncaring hotel. Alas, Dam burst into Emily's bar with excitement on his face, and quickly came to Emily who was holding a wine glass and greeting three waiters. Highland High School wants to invite you and Lynn to enroll as special admissions students. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Emily looked at Dam blankly, somewhat disbelieving the sudden news. Ha ha, do you remember the young man we saved last time? Yes, that's him, Bruce Wayne. It's all because of him. Comma, Emily, who finally understood the cause and effect, couldn't help but be patient and excited. She pulled Lin Ju, who was still working seriously, to the wine storage room of the tavern. Go to school. The corner of Lin Ju's mouth twitched slightly, and as a college graduate, he expressed that he was not very interested. However, this performance made Dam and Emily mistakenly think that he was embarrassed. After the two begged, Lin Ju reluctantly agreed to their request. Soon in the afternoon, when there were fewest customers, an old man with a cane and an old face slowly knocked on the door of Emily's bar. Under Amiri's expectant gaze, 
he gently handed the invitation letter prepared by Highland High School into their hands. Emily opened the invitation letter directly and looked at the personal information of the two people. Emily couldn't help but cheered a little. What about the pub? Lin Ju couldn't help but asked with a wry smile. He could still understand Emily's mood of wanting to go to campus. The boring and frequent bar schedule made both of them a little bored. Ha ha, don't be afraid. Let's hire two more people. Anyway, the bar has already achieved good operating results. As long as we help out at night. Emily looked excited as she made plans for going to school, including whether they wanted to buy a car, whether they would take the bus together, whether they would sit together. Looking at the excited girl in front of him, Lin Ju felt slightly relaxed. Staying with this optimistic and cheerful girl was one of the few times when he felt comfortable. The next day, bang bang bang, Lin, get up quickly. Listening to the crisp voice at the door, Lin Ju helplessly pushed aside the quilt and turned to look at the window on one side. The golden sunlight filtered through the corner of the curtain. It turned out to be a rare sunny day. Try it quickly. With an excited look on his face, Dam took out the school uniforms he had prepared. Lin Ju's clothes fit him surprisingly well. With his straight figure and handsome appearance, he looked quite heroic in his school uniform. I have to say that the uniforms of famous American schools are quite handsome. Emily walked out of the changing room, revealing a pair of long legs that seemed to exude gleaming white light. Her fair skin had a jade-like texture under the sunlight. Looks like the beauty of our university is going to move her position. Dam couldn't help but scream strangely, and his words instantly made Emily couldn't help but curl her eyes and smile on her face. At this moment, the employees who were slowly walking down from the second floor on the other side couldn't help but praise their boss's beauty. I've been troubling you since today. Emily slowly bowed to a middle-aged woman. This employee was actually Emily's neighbor. She was an old man who watched Emily grow up, so Emily felt extremely at ease with her. Dam looked at Emily who seemed to have a new look with a warm face and couldn't help but smile. Dee Dee, the watch made a beep beep sound, and Dam screamed strangely. Quick, let's go. He held one hand and pulled Lin Ju and Emily out of the bar instantly. The streets of Gotham in the early morning were filled with chills. It was almost early spring, and with the sunshine, the warm feeling was particularly obvious. Looking at the European-style church-like building, Lin Ju, who saw Gotham School for the first time, felt inexplicably interested. In his previous life, he often experienced the high school life, and he really wanted to experience it in this life. Shish, a soft voice came from the side, and three tall American high school students looked at Emily, who was walking between Lin Ju and Dam, with bright eyes. Wow, after seeing Emily's face, they couldn't help but marvel. One after another, boys kept making inexplicable and funny screams, and some even performed a cool hip-hop dance in the path of Lin Ju and others. These people are really out of their depth. Lin Ju couldn't help but sigh, but he couldn't blame these people for being so excited. In fact, because Emily stayed in a darker bar for a long time, her skin color was frighteningly white. Even among the white people, she was extremely eye-catching, coupled with the delicate appearance. A hand instantly put a hand on Dam's shoulder, and the man with long blonde hair pulled him away. Ignoring Dam's angry eyes, he came to Emily's side. Beauty, are you a transfer student? Why haven't you seen her before? Sam's eyes were fixed on Emily's puzzled expression, and looking at her delicate face, his eyes burst out with brilliance. One arm even wanted to put it on Emily's shoulder, but a hand grabbed his wrist in the process. Um, Sam looked at Lin Ju who was watching him calmly next to Emily with some surprise. To be honest, he really didn't notice that there was such a person next to this beautiful lady just now. On the side, Dam's movement that was about to rush forward stopped instantly, and a trace of schadenfreude flashed in his eyes. Boy, are you new here? Are you so arrogant? A dark arm was placed directly on Lin Ju's shoulder. Looking at the figure who was nearly two meters tall and had the physique of an orangutan, Lin Ju smiled slightly. At the same time, Sam's palm suddenly exerted force, as if he wanted to break away. However, Lin Ju's figure did not tremble at all. His expression changed, and he felt the iron-like palms, and he quickly moved towards his companion. Signal. After receiving the message, the black student directly gathered his thick muscular arms to pull Lin Ju over. Amidst Emily's exclamation, 
Lin Ju suddenly raised his left hand and slapped the black man in the face. Snapped. The unusually loud slaps instantly attracted the attention of everyone around them. They saw the black student's head tilted back, fell heavily to the ground, and actually fainted. Lin Ju Zhuang looked innocently at the black student who fell to the ground, spread his palms, and the next moment he exerted force on his right hand, accompanied by a crisp sound of bones all over his body. Wait a minute, brother. Ah, sensing something was wrong, Sam, who had just begged for mercy, let out a scream like a slaughtering pig. He grabbed Emily and pulled her to his left side. Lin Ju kicked Sam hard in the abdomen with lightning speed. Vomit. The liquid exuding white mucus was spat out instantly, and the face turned red. All this happened in the blink of an eye. At this moment, everyone who paid attention looked at the scene with shocked expressions, as if they had done something small. Unexpected. Yes, yes, our Highland College has always had a simple and honest folk customs, but it has nothing to do with the things in Gotham society, aha. Uh -huh. Slowly hanging up the phone, the fat teacher looked at Lin Ju and Emily sitting in front of him with a smile on his face. What happened today was a complete accident. Two classmates, I am very happy that you can come to our Highland to study. Emily's worried look was momentarily confused. She couldn't figure out the situation, and walked out of the office with the teacher's friendly expression. Phew, I thought we were going to be screwed on our first day of school. Emily couldn't help but pat her chest and looked at Lin Ju with lingering fear. She didn't blame Lin Ju for his behavior just now, and she was even a little happy in her heart. Gotham is like this, how can the school education be better? Lin Ju said. Ha, I knew you were fine. Don't worry, as long as no one is killed, the school usually won't care. Dam, who had been waiting aside for a long time, quickly came to the two of them and looked at Lin Ju with excitement. He did not expect that Lin Ju would defeat the guy who had bullied him on his first day of school today. In response, he I can only admire how thoroughly bad Sam is. The three of them came to the classroom. Dam directly moved two free desks from other classrooms and placed them behind him. The arrival of the new student, except for Emily's beauty, caused a stir and then quickly returned to calm. Jingle bell. The ringing of the class bell did not stop the student's laughter. Listening to the noisy class, Lin Ju fell into deep thought. Boom, a palm gently tapped on his desk, awakening Lin Ju from his thoughts about the future. He looked at the man in a suit who came to his desk with some astonishment. Classmate Lin Ju, seeing that you are thinking so seriously, you must have a unique understanding of fear. Fear, yes, fear is a wonderful emotion, and everyone has a different understanding of it. Can you tell me what you think about it? Fear will make people subconsciously obey your orders. Lin Ju's brain was running rapidly. Thanks to the encouragement of nine years of compulsory education in his previous life, his thinking was extremely fast and he reacted quickly. Oh, Jonathan's eyes narrowed slightly. This was the first time he had gained an understanding of fear from this perspective. You have a good talent for psychology. Classmate Lin Ju. Looking at Lin Ju who was expressionless at the moment, with admiration, he slowly walked onto the podium. The students around him were laughing and joking, as if they were not in the classroom. With this kind of class, is it any wonder that Emily isn't worried about whether she can keep up with the class? Lin Ju sighed helplessly. If in his previous life, students had disrespected their teachers so much, it would have been a very serious matter. It was as if he didn't see the students laughing. Jonathan turned around slowly with a smile on his face, slowly took out a pistol from his side, pointed it at the classroom that instantly became silent, and slowly pointed at the boy who had spoken the loudest before. The boy slowly raised his palm with a pale face and looked at the pistol in Jonathan's hand with some fear. Ha, classmates, Lin Ju's answer is completely correct. Jonathan, who looked excited, slowly put down his pistol and looked at the classroom that was rarely silent at this moment. Teacher, you are going too far. A white girl couldn't help shouting, and the originally silent classroom once again erupted into a huge noise. But in a blink of an eye, the atmosphere turned to laughter and laughter, and some even praised Jonathan's unique teaching method. Until the smiling Jonathan left the classroom with his satchel, these students still did not stop being shocked by what Jonathan had just done. Hey, teacher Jonathan is a little different today. Damn who was sitting in the front row, shouted with excitement. 
Jonathan. Lin Ju was stunned. This was a familiar yet unfamiliar name. This is the first time I see teacher Jonathan praising a student. Lin, you are so awesome. You got praise from the teacher on the first day of school. Lin Ju, haha, I didn't expect the new students in our class to be so interesting. Fear will make people obey your orders. Good guy, teacher Jonathan will practice it directly on the spot. One class instantly made this group of students who originally only noticed Emily notice Lin Ju with an Asian face. Amid everyone's curiosity, Lin Ju took Emily towards the school cafeteria. Looking at some over-enthusiastic students, Lin Ju still couldn't adapt to these guys' excessive dancing. Different from before, after a day of classes, Lin Ju felt a slight pain on his face when he looked at Emily who seemed to have gained a lot. He listened to almost nothing. He felt that the day passed so quickly. Sometimes he couldn't even tell the difference between class and get out of class. He had to look at whether the teacher was in the classroom to deduce. The school atmosphere in Gotham is even more outrageous than the high school life he saw in his previous life. In just one day, Lin Ju and Emily were known to most people in this classroom. After learning that Lin Ju was known as a bully, Sam was admitted to the hospital, which attracted the admiration of many boys. Even Dam, who was originally unknown, became the center of the conversation, most of which revolved around Lin Ju's Chinese Kung Fu, and Emily's beauty. Lin Ju walked at the front of the bluestone brick road full of history, with Emily and Dam behind him. A figure in front made Lin Ju narrow his eyes slightly. A large group of students surrounded a girl, seeming to be discussing where to go. He could feel a strange fluctuation, which became more obvious as he got closer to the group of people. Noticing the girl whom he suspected to have rescued, Lin Ju's expression remained unchanged and he pulled Emily and others past. Ha! The eldest lady of the Grayson family, since she was rescued once by the judge, she is now promoting in school every day that whoever finds the judge will receive a cash reward of 10,000 US dollars from her. Dam on the side seemed to have thought of something and said meaningfully. $10,000, his words made Emily on the side widen her eyes, as if she didn't expect that just by finding the information about the judge, she would get $10,000. As a small money lover, she couldn't help but sigh at the generosity of Highland School students. Although the Grayson family is not as good as the Wayne family, they still have considerable wealth in the East End. One of them has also come to Gotham recently, and is even called Flying Grayson by many people in Gotham. In short, he is a, a very legendary family. Talked about everything, and he seemed to be extremely keen on some events, history or news in Gotham. Flyer Grayson, Lin Ju's eyes flickered, thinking of the woman he met in the tavern. The hidden factory in the East End. Ah. With blood dripping from the corner of his mouth and a look of intoxication on his face, Kyle slowly put down the twitching man. Feeling the power emerging from his body, he was intoxicated and stared at the afterglow of the setting sun outside the factory. He tentatively stretched his blood-stained palms into the sunlight. In an instant, a pain that was like burning fire made his face twitch, and he retracted his palm, which was burning without fire and emitting a trace of smoke. Can't you bear the intensity of Luoxia's ultraviolet rays? There was a pity in his voice, but there was no trace of depression on his face. He slowly turned around and looked at the factory that was plunged into darkness. At this moment, he was the only living person left in this huge factory. That's right, he decided to betray the Assassin's League and directly killed everyone in the entire factory. He was not a soft-hearted person. He walked towards the darkness in the factory and waited until it became dark. Phew, a figure jumped down from a treetop, and a man in black with a long knife behind him jumped directly outside the factory door. Looking at the empty field outside the door, he frowned slightly. There was an order from above for him to come here to pick up Dr. Kyle, who should have been detained. Slowly walking towards the quiet factory, as he went deeper inside, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he felt an unusual atmosphere. Snap, the touch under his feet made him slightly startled. He raised the soles of his feet and saw some sticky liquid connected to the ground. He sniffed his nose gently, and a faint smell of blood poured into his nose. Tisk, his head turned to the side subconsciously, and a dagger missed his neck. His super reflexes allowed him to dodge the attack instantly, and he pulled out the long knife from behind, and struck the attacker on the shoulder with a sharp knife. 
Ah, the black shadow instantly fell to the ground, clutching his shoulders and showing pain. The long knife in his hand was pointed directly at the forehead of the man in front of him whose face was still unclear. Who? The man in black shouted in a deep voice, and with a flicker of firelight, he looked at the man who fell to the ground in shock, with a haggard face and blood all over his body. Dr. Kyle, there was a hint of doubt in his tone, and then his eyes quickly looked around, as if he was wary of enemies hiding in the dark. This place was breached by people from the trial council. I don't know why, but they let me go. Kyle looked in pain, covering his shoulders, and said with some, fear. Judgment Council. Hearing this recently famous name, the man in black felt as if he was facing a formidable enemy, and quickly scanned the surroundings with vigilant eyes, as if there was some terrifying monster hidden in the darkness. Ahem, I think you should take me out first. The figure retreated and slowly retreated in front of Kyle. The man in black stared solemnly at the darkness, directly picked up Kyle's collar with one hand and pulled him in front of him in an instant. A flash of sword light flashed. Ah, Kyle let out a scream, with pain on his face, and tightly covered his other arm. The man in black actually slashed his other arm with another knife. Looking at his white robe that was completely stained with blood, the man in black felt slightly relieved. He had almost crippled Kyle with the knife just now. Walking in front, all his attention was focused on the surroundings of the factory at this moment. He didn't completely believe Kyle's words. He wanted to explore the current situation of the factory. While feeling the stumbling steps behind him, he looked back and forth around him. Soon he came to a guard covered in blood and whose head had been severed. Um, looking at the hideous wound on the neck and the scar that was obviously cut off by a sharp blade, the man in black couldn't help but feel a sense of surprise. The next moment he seemed to realize something, and he quickly looked back. At the visitor's extraordinary speed, his body was instantly knocked to the ground. Bang 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 bang, continuous gunshots resounded through the silent factory, no less than his strength. When knocking him down, Kyle did not hesitate to take out the pistol that he had prepared for a long time, and instantly aimed it at his upper body and buttoned the gun. Pulling the trigger emptied the magazine. Puff, blood spurted out and the sharp blade in his hand slashed hard at Kyle, who was undergoing some kind of change in front of him, but he was instantly dodged. What are you doing? The man in black vomited blood and shouted angrily with a pale face. His eyes looked at Kyle whose arms were chopped off by him. You think you can restrain me like this? Kyle chuckled and slowly exposed his arm. He saw that the wound originally cut by the long knife had completely healed, and no trace of the previous injury could be seen. Seeing such a change, the man in black's pupils shrank suddenly. Boom, the moment he lost his mind, Kyle took the opportunity to quickly pull out a second gun and shoot directly. This time, his poor marksmanship finally hit his luck and instantly hit the man in black on the head. His body leaned back, and then he fell heavily to the ground. Looking at the man in black, whose eyes were trembling and seemed to have a weak breath, Kyle smiled ferociously, and then revealed a long look in his somewhat frightened eyes. Fangs. In the factory, once again shrouded in darkness, there was the sound of liquid being sucked. This feeling, he stood up slowly, with an intoxicated look in his eyes. The extraordinary blood seeds in the man in black were sucked up by him. Feeling the power emerging from his body, Kyle narrowed his eyes slightly, and blood suddenly appeared in his eyes. He slowly took off his blood-colored robe, revealing his strong muscles. Looking at the man in black whose neck had been bitten off, a look of satisfaction appeared on his face. I didn't expect that sucking your blood would actually improve me so much. Maybe even the blood god doesn't know about this. Looking at the quiet factory, Kyle's figure turned into an afterimage and quickly disappeared into the vast night. After a long time, there was a slight whistling sound. Black shadows rushed straight out of the dense forest, led by a burly man in black. His eyes looked at the dark factory at this moment, and the next moment, he quickly moved away from it, followed closely by the people in black behind him, all silent. The lights in the factory were turned on, and the bloody corpses were concentrated in front of the factory door. The burly man made a call and described what happened here. After all the details were reported, he came to the only man in black in the group. Looking at the neck that looked like it was being torn apart by a ferocious beast, a trace of cruelty flashed in his eyes. The pale and elastic skin made his pupils shrink slightly. 
His blood was sucked dry. Slightly low words sounded slowly, and after hanging up the phone, the burly man looked solemnly at the brightly lit Gotham night market in the distance. This guy is so brave. Look, if you don't run away, you may endanger Chiyu. In a certain underground passage, a group of homeless people hurriedly emerged from the dark tunnel, each of them looking a little panicked. At this moment, in the underground passage with dim light, accompanied by calls one after another, two men wearing masks severely beat the middle-aged man in a suit who was lying on the ground. I really have no money anymore. The man couldn't help but wailed, but the two men wearing masks still didn't stop. How dare you lie to us? Your suit is worth a lot of money. It seems you really don't want to die. He kicked the man hard on the head, making him dizzy. One of the men finally couldn't stand it any longer, and then he started tugging at the man's clothes and took off his dirty suit. The next moment, he took out the lining of the suit with both hands, as if he wanted to hide the man with his own hands. Get up and search out the money. God knows how long the two of them had been crouching around here before they caught what looked like a big fish. Those homeless people are poorer than them, but they haven't received orders from their superiors for a while, and they don't dare to go to other places to commit crimes at will. This is already a relatively remote and unnoticed corner of the East District. It wasn't until all the man's clothes were taken off that the masked man slowly stood up. While swearing loudly, he kicked the man's chest hard again. Vomit. This kick hit the upper abdomen hard, instantly making the man retching. This guy really has no money. We've been exhausted these days, and we don't dare to rob those shops. I really don't understand why the boss wants us to come to the East District. Those guys in the Judgment Council are much scarier than Batman. Recently, there are rumors in the underground world that the members of the Judgment Council seem to have left Gotham East District, which makes us take risks. What if we meet? Those guys are more brutal than us, and they kill people without blinking an eye. I would rather be sent to jail by Batman. Looking at the man who was huddled on the ground, not daring to move at all, one of the taller criminals couldn't help spitting fiercely. Why wear such nice clothes if you don't have money? Snap. A slight sound of stepping on the water surface slowly sounded, which was slightly harsh in the currently quiet passage. Ha, huh, didn't I tell you to get out? Who the hell dares to come back after eating the courage of a bear and a leopard? Thinking that the homeless people had sneaked back into the tunnel, a criminal walked towards the darkness while cursing. However, when he saw the man crouching on the ground in front of him clearly, his eyes lit up slightly. Not a bum. In his heart, he sighed that there was a fish diving into the basket by itself. He subconsciously took out the dagger from his waist and walked directly towards the man. Brother, hand over the money you have. I won't say this a second time. The dagger in his hand was directly pressed against the neck of the man who had his head lowered and said nothing. Even as if to create an effect, he slightly probed the dagger forward, and it instantly sank into the man's neck. A trace of unusually bright red blood slowly slid down the blade. Quote question mark quote. The partner behind him also looked this way strangely. The next moment, he took a step back in fear. He saw the man who was originally holding his partner's neck suddenly jumped up and instantly lay down in front of his partner's neck, don't know what to do. Knowing the character of his partner, he naturally understood that something might be wrong with the current situation. Oh shit, the dagger that was directly drawn came forward to meet him, but before he had taken a few steps, his partner's body slowly fell towards him. He subconsciously spread his arms to hug his friend. At a glance, he was instantly struck by the appearance of his partner. Terrified. A piece of flesh was missing from his neck, and streams of blood spurted out, instantly pouring on his face. Looking at the mysterious man with half his face soaked in blood and shock, he let out a strange scream and ran towards the other side of the tunnel in panic. However, the mysterious man was much faster than him. He even jumped from the wall on one side and threw him to the ground. Accompanied by a scream, the man's voice stopped suddenly. At this moment, the man in a suit who was lying on the ground looked at the changes in the field in astonishment. His whole body was shaking violently. The scene just now was difficult to see because of the dim light. It wasn't real, but the horrifying scene still scared him to death. At this moment, he didn't dare to breathe, so he lay down on the ground, pretending to be dead. After seeing the mysterious man's astonishing speed, he gave up his desire to escape. 
he kept praying in his heart and even prayed for the coming of the Judgment Council. However, as unhurried footsteps approached, the mysterious man came to him. Hey, I saved you after all, right? Question mark. The man looked up in shock at the figure in front of him. As the figure got closer, he saw a face covered with blood. This mysterious man was baring his teeth and looking at him with a smile. There were sharp canes on both sides. Teeth caught his eye instantly. I, I'm not on the same side as them, he said with some stuttering, and the man looked at the man who was staring at him with a strange look with a begging look on his face. I know, Kyle chuckled, and the next moment he was about to open his fangs and transform the man who saw his appearance. His ears perked up slightly, and a slight movement sounded at the exit of the tunnel. He slowly closed his mouth and stared at the man in front of him expressionlessly. Is there another way here? Ah, over there, you can leave over there too. The man quickly pointed to the depths of the dark tunnel behind him, without a trace of light. Just watching the man open his mouth and reveal his fangs, he subconsciously thought that the man in front of him would bite him to death like he did the two criminals just now. However, the development of things seemed to be unexpected. The figure quickly disappeared beside him, and the man actually went straight into the depths of the dark tunnel. When he was confused and relaxed slightly, a figure appeared in front of him. The figure did not make any sound of footsteps. He carried a long bow on his back, with arrow feathers, and a bow on his hip. With a long sword and a curvy figure, the man identified the person in black in front of him as a woman. Let him run away again. A slightly indifferent word sounded slowly, and the man with two swords on his back came behind the woman. This guy seems to have extremely keen hearing and perception. Last night, the East District, which had been quiet for a while, had another bloody incident. It was reported that two low-level members of the Mask Society died in a tunnel. Their death was the same as the death of the Mask Society members in the hotel. It is said that this may be related to the long-lost blood god, the chairman of the Judgment Council. The rumors of vampires are spreading. In the central square of Gotham, the huge screen of the building broadcast today's headlines. People coming and going stopped at the bottom of the building and watched the broadcast information. My goodness, what happened to our Gotham recently? All kinds of monsters and ghosts have come out. What should I do? I want to move to the East District. Vampires, are so cool. I said, the mysterious Judgment Council will never disappear. The morning news broadcast instantly aroused the interest of this group of energetic Gotham citizens. A handsome man in a suit and tie sat on the top floor of a taller building next to the building, staring deeply at the news broadcast on the media building. A middle-aged man slowly and gently placed a plate of wine on the table in front of him. He looked back and forth between the boy and the screen. Bruce, maybe you should contact your new friend. Quote dot dot dot. Hum, the middle-aged man slowly took out an envelope from the inside of his suit and gently handed it to Bruce. The matter you asked me to investigate has already made some progress. There were indeed some witnesses before, and some even took photos. Bruce Wayne slowly opened the envelope. There were a total of three blurry photos inside, but because they were taken at night, only a vague outline could be seen. The clearest one was a frontal photo of the hotel, probably taken from the second floor across the street from the hotel. A man was crouching on the neck of the criminal of the Mask Society. Vampire, looking at Bruce Wayne's solemn expression, Alfred couldn't help but feel a little worried. This was the first time Bruce Wayne had a solemn expression since he saw the Blood God fighting with the Assassin's League. Now he often saw this look. Slowly, he placed the file bag that he had prepared by his side in front of Bruce Wayne. This is all the information about vampire rumors that I have collected in the history of Europe for nearly a thousand years. If the Blood God really has been spreading fear in Europe for thousands of years, then, the so-called Trial Council does not seem to be as righteous as he appears. Bruce Wayne read all the information in the file, which roughly recorded the various characteristics of vampires and some secrets, including fear of garlic crosses, silver sunlight, and even the characteristics of immortality. At the same time, such things happened in many places one after another. It seems that various people in Gotham's upper class are secretly investigating the recent vampire rumors that have become famous. Gotham Central Police Station, slowly hanging up the phone, Gordon's face was solemn, and his eyes looked at all the clues on the wall that were urgently sent from the East District. 
Those were photos of the trial counsel judging crimes, including the judge who appeared first, the blood god who appeared later, and the currently famous Catwoman, as well as the figures of various vampires. All these pictures were connected by string and wall nails. He looked at the various pictures and speculated that the judge and the blood god were the two chairmen of the trial council. To be honest, I think these people, no, I have some doubts about whether the two people in the trial council are human. The powerful strength, mysterious physical fitness, and the ability to not fear bullets, this seems to have transcended the scope of human beings. A police officer couldn't help but exclaimed, Hey, don't you realize a more terrifying place? There seem to be ten more guys like the judge and the blood god in the trial council. These guys all ran to a place like the East District. No wonder they are bragging about how good their security environment is every day in the East District. Is it a bluff? The female detective said with some doubt. Bluff, I think it may even be more terrifying than we imagined. Gordon said solemnly. As a famous detective, his words also have considerable weight, focusing all the attention of the thinking police officers on him. You must have investigated the secrets of vampires. According to the legends of Europe for thousands of years, the blood god who seems to have existed since ancient times does not seem to be as righteous as he appears. Bloodthirstiness and terror should be his essence. But such an existence now seems to have become a member of an organization that fights crime. Don't you think it's a bit strange? Thinking of the twelve chairmen of the Judgment Council, I have full suspicion that there may be several or even one extremely terrifying existence among these twelve chairmen, making the blood god, who has left a bad reputation in the long river of history, become a knight who judges crime. S. In the huge central police station, Detectives took a breath of cold air one after another, and some shuddered. They dared not imagine what kind of terrifying existence could shock the blood god. In fact, this is not what I am most worried about. Gordon's voice paused slightly, his face was a little pale, and his eyes slowly fixed on the middle photo among these photos. It was a figure in a black robe and a black mask, which was the picture of the judge. What I'm most worried about is that there is a suppressive being above the twelve speakers of the Judgment Council, but the strength of the twelve speakers is about the same. Quote dot 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 quote. The entire police station was shocked into silence by this terrible suspicion. Until the words of a somewhat ignorant young man slowly sounded out, breaking the inexplicable atmosphere. Speaking of which, the stronger the Judgment Council, wouldn't it be more beneficial to us? Maybe when all their members come to Gotham, they may not be limited to the East District. Maybe even we will feel much more comfortable by then. Look at now the East End. Before the young police officer could finish speaking, his senior gave him a sharp look. Judgment of crime. Isn't it a crime to commit suicide privately? Even if the person killed is a criminal. Gordon couldn't help but scolded. You also have a certain responsibility for why Gotham has become like this. As a police officer, you are afraid of crime and evade responsibility. Gordon started yelling at the police station, but no one dared to refute him at this time. Lynn, Bruce Wayne contacted me. Dan pulled Lynn Ju into a dense forest outside the campus. He looked around constantly and spoke quickly, with a worried look on his face. Notice that you're not normal. Lynn Ju rolled his eyes and complained. At this moment, after understanding everything that happened during his absence, he had no choice but to find that one of his vests seemed to be exposed. Before, he still didn't understand why Bruce Wayne wanted to help him and Emily just because of a chance encounter. Now that he understood the cause and effect, he could only sigh helplessly. Good fortune and misfortune depend on each other. All because of idiot who was worried about something bad happening to him. Concern leads to chaos. At first, Dam and Amy couldn't find Lin Ju. He never got any news. He finally couldn't bear it and reported his disappearance to the police station. However, knowing the police station well, he didn't have too many expectations. Although I still can't give up my hope, I have found the richest man in Gotham. No, or rather a boy. Bruce Wayne. This can't be blamed on Dem. It can only be said that the richest and most powerful person Dem knows so far is really Bruce Wayne. There is no other way, so it is understandable that he found this person. This was the reason why Lin Ju suspected that he might be exposed. Dam doesn't know, but Lin Ju knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman, the guy with super intelligence, powerful skills, high-tech equipment and unparalleled financial resources. 
You know, even Superman was killed by Batman who was well prepared. Lin Ju was not surprised at all that Bruce Wayne could analyze from the information reported or requested by Dam that he was the person in the Judgment Council. Of course, Bruce Wayne is probably not sure, although the timeline of his disappearance coincides with the disappearance of the Trial Council. As long as Bruce Wayne does not associate the famous Trial Council with an unknown young man like him. Coupled with Lin Ju's previous heroic deeds, people around Wall Street also know that this can more or less bring some confusing judgments to him. Everything still depends on what Bruce has to say. Looking at Dam, Lin Ju did not express his thoughts. What did Bruce say? He asked me, do you know about the Judgment Council? Is there any way to join it? Quote dot 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 quote. Dam looked at the silent Lin Ju strangely. At this time, Lin Ju's expression was particularly strange, with a hint of admiration in his eyes. Well, just when Dam was about to say something, Lin Ju turned around and looked at the dense forest behind him. Perhaps it would be better if you asked me face to face. Mr. Bruce. What? Bruce is here. Dam's mind was also extremely flexible, and he soon understood what this meant. He looked behind Lin Ju with some horror. Accompanied by the rustling of branches and leaves, a young man with a handsome face in a suit slowly walked out of the dense forest. With a solemn yet elegant smile on his face, he stared deeply at Lin Ju, who was expressionless at the moment. Lin, are you a member of the Judgment Council? Although it was a question, Bruce said it in a statement tone. At this time, Dam's face was flushed. He still didn't understand that he had done something wrong and that he shouldn't have come to Lin Ju to discuss it so eagerly. At the same time, he was also a little amazed at Bruce Wayne's resourcefulness. Bang bang bang. Clapping his hands slowly, Lin Ju put a smile on his face, met the young man walking in front of him, took the lead in extending his hand, and shook hands with the famous Bruce Wayne. May I ask why the famous Wayne Enterprises spokesperson is so interested in our trial council? Lin Ju asked directly, he did not try to hide his identity of the Judgment Council. Bruce's expression remained unchanged. I hope to cooperate with the major speakers of the trial parliament. Oh, Lin Ju showed a slightly interested expression. Bruce nodded to Dam. Sorry for taking advantage of you, Dam. Actually, I wasn't 100% sure. Ah, this shrank his head and glanced at Lin Ju guiltily. You can first ask Lin what your current status is in the trial council. A member, Lin Heng said without hesitation. There was no look of disappointment in his eyes, and Bruce continued, can my words be taken to the speaker of the judgment council? His eyes flashed slightly, Lin Ju nodded, and said with a smile, I can only bring it to the Lord War Knight. War Knight, really, besides the blood god, there really are other speakers. Bruce Wayne suppressed his beating heart and realized that he might have caught some unexpected secret, and the weight of the trial council in his heart increased by two levels. The reason why there is no guess that the first judge to come out is also the speaker of the judgment council is because from the beginning to the end, the judge never said a word and did not blow up his name like the blood god. Who is your excellency the war knight? He hasn't arrived in Gotham yet. Sure enough, he is a new guy. The cooperation I hope is that the trial council cannot live in the East District of Gotham. We can cooperate, I will provide you with various advanced weapons and the latest sources of information. You must ensure that crimes are punished and the sky of Gotham can change its color. Quote. Bruce Wayne said solemnly, I will report it back to the superiors. At this time, Dam, who was standing behind the two of them, finally couldn't help it anymore, Bruce, how did you suspect me? He wanted to understand what was wrong with him. Is Catwoman also a member of the Judgment Council? Without directly answering Dam's question, Bruce asked softly. I don't know about this either. At least I am the only one under His Excellency the War Knight at the moment. Then I must have hit it by mistake. Bruce chuckled softly, looked at Dam and said, Actually, I really just wanted to help you, so I investigated Lin's identity. If I found out that he seemed to have suddenly appeared in the East District of Gotham, I had to it reminded me of the mysterious force that suddenly appeared in the East District. In addition, Catwoman claimed that she was a member of the Judgment Council. After investigating Lin's experience, I couldn't help but think of it. After all, punishing sinners is what Lin seems to have done before. In a place as big as the East District, apart from the mysterious Trial Council, you two are the only ones who have shown your face. Ah, 
Dam, who understood at this time, couldn't help but patted himself on the head. Although it may not be entirely because of himself, he was indeed such a flashpoint. Your Excellency, the War Knight, has just woken up. Bruce Wayne showed a puzzled look. He couldn't figure out the origins of the various speakers of the Judgment Parliament. Before he came, he had searched for information from all aspects, but he had never found out that there was any particularly powerful existence besides the Blood God, at least from historical records. The Inquisition Council appeared out of nowhere. We come from another chaotic dimension. Both Dam and Bruce Wayne's eyes widened. They couldn't believe what Lin Ju said. What do you mean by another dimension? Bruce Wayne frowned and couldn't help but chime in. Even with his rich experience and flexible mind, he still didn't believe what the man in front of him said, but based on his personal observation of Lin Ju's current demeanor and tone, and he found that Lin Ju seemed to be stating a fact. Lin, have you really traveled to another world? Dam on the side couldn't help but said in shock. He didn't expect that he actually got it right. And Dam's words seemed to confirm what Lin Ju said from the side, which made Bruce Wayne couldn't help but raise his ears and listen carefully to Lin Ju's next words. That is an existence no smaller than this universe. There are Iron Man wearing steel armor, invincible giants who can grow big and green, and even the existence of various gods. And my organization is the one that balances the dimensions of that world. Because of the concept of pluralism, that universe is filled with countless demons. Some of them can easily swallow planets, and some can easily destroy the entire world. There is even life on the planet, and with a snap of the fingers, half of the entire universe will be wiped out. Quote, S. Dam gasped with a pale face. Lin Ju's words really frightened him. It was the first time he saw such a serious expression on Lin Ju's face. Bruce Wayne performed much better than him, but his face was equally solemn, is it possible that those guys will come to our world? He was a little worried that those beings that Lin Ju said could easily destroy the planet would come to their world. Just describing them in words could make him feel unparalleled despair. As for why there is such concern, obviously, as an existence in the balanced dimension of that world, didn't the trial council come to his world? He already had all the bad ideas. Lin Ju looked at Bruce Wayne, who had a deep face, but said with a chuckle, You can rest assured on this point, it is possible that only our trial council can do this in the past and even in the future. Phew, two soft calls came out, one soft and one heavy. Dam and Bruce Wayne both looked at each other, and they couldn't see the joy in their eyes. Bruce, I will bring your words to the Lord Knight. As for whether he is willing to cooperate with you, that is not my decision. Bruce Wayne nodded. His mind was in chaos at the moment. The impact he received today was far greater than he expected. Correct. Lin Ju pretended that he had just thought of something, put his hand in his pocket, and under Bruce's surprised gaze, he took out a black or like stone. He handed it directly to Bruce who looked confused. If you can forge this kind of ore, perhaps Lord War Knight will have a higher chance of agreeing to cooperate with you. This is. There was a trace of shock in Bruce's eyes. When the thumb-sized stone was placed in his hand, he could feel an incredible weight. At the same time, he was extremely familiar with equipment and materials, and he immediately discovered this ore is different. Is this a product of that world? Yes, this is an extremely rare mineral in that world. In addition to its extremely strong toughness, it also has the ability to absorb power. Without any reservation, Lin Ju told Bruce all about vibranium, including some of its properties. He thought that there was another huge benefit to working with Batman. He was a top rich man who owned all kinds of high-tech equipment and had developed full-body armor. He has such a heaven-defying raw material as vibranium, and even through the exchange shop, he can get as much as he wants. He can add equipment to his vests. Now it is different from before. He attaches great importance to the specialness of each vest. Because of the change in abilities, he decided to shape each of his abilities into a specific vest, and his vision of a war knight was the vision of the super warrior ability that had just been stripped away from the Marvel world. The thoughts in his heart trembled slightly, and he could feel that as he spread the concept of war knights, his abilities seemed to be deepening in some conceptual way. Without rushing to open the ability panel, Lin Ju looked at Bruce who was holding the vibranium ore in his hand and observing it repeatedly. Okay. I will let you know as soon as there are results. Collecting the ore, Bruce Wayne left quickly after bidding farewell to Lin Ju and Dam. 
He didn't plan to attend the following courses. He wanted to go straight to the secret base of the manor. He wanted to see if this ore was unique to this world. This will allow him to further confirm the origin of the Judgment Council mentioned by Lin Ju. He doesn't like the feeling that things are unexpected, but if the other person is on his side, it can more or less give him some psychological comfort. Watching Bruce's hurried departure, Dam, who was extremely confused at this time, finally couldn't help but start asking Lin Ju if there was anything else he didn't know. Seeing Dam's face constantly asking what the other world was like with excitement, Lin Ju could only briefly tell him something, and the two walked and talked. Ha, huh, there really is a spider that can turn ordinary people into superheroes. And Iron Man is just an ordinary person, but he can be on par with gods. Dam couldn't help shouting, thinking that the other world was so rich and wonderful, he was a little relieved at this time. Gotham seemed to have a higher crime rate and more bad guys, but there were not many monsters like those that frequently destroyed the world. Lin Ju looked at Dam, who was relieved at this time, and guessed what he was thinking at a glance. DC is not worse than Marvel, young man. The two of them returned to the classroom unknowingly, and Lin Ju saw Emily surrounded by many girls at a glance, and some girls even couldn't help rubbing her face, telling her why her skin was so good. Oh, these girls have no idea what I just went through. Looking at those confused students, Dan, who had learned a lot of incredible things at this time, felt a strange vanity swelling. Huff, in the dark sewer, Kyle's legs were submerged in the muddy sewage, and his scarlet eyes were slightly flashing as he stared at the darkness in the distance. These lingering guys, instead of looking for those extremely evil guys, they came to chase me. After all, I am their old friend. At this time, he was secretly annoyed, and he couldn't find the blood god to ask for his protection. Even Harley, who was also a direct descendant, was unwilling to help him. So he had to face the pursuit of the Assassin's League alone. If it hadn't benefited from it absorbing the super-powered blood of one of them, he would have been caught by those guys long ago. Pa pa pa. Some rapid water flow and trampling sounds came from behind, and Kyle's eyes fixed. Thanks to becoming a vampire, he has a certain night vision ability. He quickly climbed to the top of the rock wall of the sewer and stared at this sudden existence. Before the man arrived, the sword came first. The slender sword slowly emerged from the hole on one side, and Kyle's heart suddenly shuddered. He stared at the newcomer, and tried to calm his heart which was beating too fast. A man in black was bending over and groping along the wall, with a samurai sword in his hand against his body. This was a man in black who had practiced Japanese martial arts. In the Assassin's League, there were black-clad men who had trained in all corners of the world. Most of them were injected with gene enhancement reagents, and their physical fitness was far superior to that of ordinary people. In addition, the skills they learned made them all become outstanding killers in the dark. This is also the reason why the Assassin's League can dominate Europe and the underground world. Among them, Japanese samurai are the best at assassination, because they are cautious, insidious and cunning. However, facing such a being with extremely high assassination skills, Kyle felt a little relieved. He did not notice the latecomer, nor did he feel threatened by this assassin. As long as he was not the leader of the assassins, he still had hope of winning alone. Kyle, who knew a little bit about the assassins, attacking skills, waited for the black-clad man to come under him. He held his breath and looked at the black-clad man who seemed to be unaware. Kai, clang, the figure and the long sword intersected, accompanied by a painful roar. Kyle, who stretched out his fangs at this moment, endured the pain of being pierced by the long sword and instantly hugged the black-clad man in front of him who was a little shocked. The fangs bit his neck fiercely. Even if the assassin tried to block it with his arms, he still lost the ability to resist under the stronger force. When the sharp fangs sank into his neck, the assassin with strong fighting skills and reaction speed froze in place instantly. The hot blood flowed slowly along the wound on his neck into Kyle's mouth. He felt that the original coldness in his body was instantly dispelled, and a strong force surged in his body again. This feeling, Kyle, who had been deprived of his bloodthirsty desire, showed an obsessed look on his face. At this moment, he even blamed Lin Ju for depriving him of his desire without authorization. It was not until a moment later that he could not suck out any blood and slowly put down the pale, dying assassin. Feeling the solidification of his muscles, a glimmer of excitement flashed in Kyle's eyes. 
he seemed to have slightly strengthened a little, but after thinking about it, he understood the reason. These assassins who had been injected with strengthening reagents, in addition to the strengthening factors in their bodies, were more integrated into their own bodies, and he just sucked their blood and obtained a small amount of evolutionary factors. After absorbing them many times, his body would inevitably reach the upper limit of the reagents. At that time, at that time, I will find some other guys to suck. Kyle's eyes flashed with scarlet light. When this idea came up in his mind, he could no longer hold it back. Just when he couldn't help but imagine that he had sucked the blood of one powerful being after another and became beyond the blood god, he didn't notice that a certain consciousness hidden in his body had been watching him silently. There were not many pedestrians on the street, only a few people were still strolling around. Their footsteps echoed in the quiet streets, adding a touch of vitality. The air was filled with a unique fragrance, which was the aroma of food from the restaurant in the distance. Lin Ju took a deep breath and felt that it seemed that the shops on his street were closing later and later. The faint yellow light reflected the deserted road. On the second floor where the light could not reach, Lin Ju leaned against the eaves of the window, his eyes narrowed slightly. He had just connected his consciousness to Kyle's body. And after learning about Kyle's behavior and his feelings, a strange light appeared in his eyes. As the source of vampires in this world, he had never sucked blood once. He had only guessed before, but was too lazy to try. But even now that he knew it, he did not try to find a black-clothed man to suck their blood. In his opinion, the ability of the black-clothed man was not strong enough, and the increase he brought to him was negligible. As for the idea in Kyle's mind, he could only vaguely sense it. For this, Lin Ju could only give a thumbs up in amazement. Young man, you have ambition. I was right about you, old man. Kyle was the unstable factor that he deliberately released. As early as when he transformed Kyle, he had a rough understanding of his related memories. This was due to the ability of the ancestor's body. Unfortunately, it was not displayed on his ability panel. After learning about the existence of the Assassin's League from Kyle, Lin Ju couldn't help but come up with a novel idea. As the person who knew Kyle best in the world, this made him vaguely imagine the feasibility of the plan. It might also be fun to create an evil organization to fight against another evil organization. As for worrying about whether Kyle would escape control, Lin Ju was not too worried. He looked at the cover of a new series. The Vampire Diaries. The vampire setting in this thing will become his strongest concept to suppress all blood descendants. He looked directly at the cover with the highest dimensional energy accumulation at this moment, the first year of Dracula. Kyle just killed the man in black, which once again gave the cover a small increase in energy. In any case, the man in black is a transcendent being. As for sin, it is commonplace for assassins. Just as Lin Ju was thinking, the energy bar slowly increased a little. Sure enough, this move was correct. Lin Ju was very satisfied. He naturally understood that the reason for the increase in dimensional energy must be because Fasuo and others, including the blood descendants he created, increased their punishment for crimes. The benefits of forming a force are far greater than Lin Ju himself imagined, and the connection between blood descendants is the best relationship bond. Snap! As the roof tiles on the window eaves shattered, a slim figure suddenly jumped down from the window and threw Lin Ju to the ground without any resistance. Under the illumination of the moonlight, two figures fell to the ground, and the curvy woman lay on Lin Ju's body. Facing the hot red lips, Lin Ju felt the flexible presence. After a long time, the two of them separated slightly. Looking at the woman in front of him who was still wearing half a mask and showing red lips, Lin Ju already knew the answer. It was Petrina whom I hadn't seen for a while. Lin Ju is not Lu Shahui, who takes the initiative to kiss a beautiful woman in his arms. If he doesn't greet her, how can he be worthy of the vast number of compatriots who have traveled through time, and how can he be worthy of readers? You are finally back, isn't it bad to break into a man's room like this? But you look like you're feeling really good. Petrina stared into Lin Ju's eyes with cunning eyes, and lightly traced her lips with her tongue, which made Lin Ju's heart beat slightly faster. Because I'm a normal man. PFF. Petrina couldn't help but cover her mouth and chuckle, looking with burning eyes at Lin Ju who slowly stood up and looked serious. To be honest, I thought you would reject me, Lord Judge. It seems that I shouldn't have saved you in the first place. Lin Ju sighed slightly and said with pretense of regret. 
he didn't try to hide his meaning. Such words would make him look even more embarrassed. After a short period of reminiscing and joking, the two finally got back to the topic. So you came here just to ask me about the whereabouts of the blood god? No, that's just the second thing. Emphasizing again that she mainly wanted to see Lin Ju, Petrina frowned slightly and said with some dissatisfaction. Recently, there are rumors of vampires appearing in the entire East District, and the one spreading is the Blood God. Yes, it was indeed left by the Blood God, but it was unintentional. There are too many strange people in this world. Even the Blood God himself did not expect this. The Blood God is the concept of the Vampire God, and Lin Ju must implement it to the end. This is crucial to the awakening limit of his later abilities. In Lin Ju's expectation, he can only reach the level of a real vampire god in concept. I will stop spreading the idea of blood descendants. Faso and Harley are the vampires who spread justice, while Kyle is the vampire who spreads evil under the control of his subconscious. The two are fully maximized and can greatly strengthen the concept of his influence. The Vampire Diaries has newly anchored the dimension because of the enhanced concept. In addition, whether the integration of abilities is smooth also requires the deepening of the concept. Lin Ju must spread it no matter what. Is the blood god really a vampire? Petrina's eyes were wrinkled, and she looked at Lin Ju with some worry. She didn't believe how righteous a guy who feeds on blood could be. The vampires that appeared now seemed to confirm this, even if these blood descendants seemed to be punishing sins, but Paterina still felt that some kind of uncontrollable situation was happening. Waving his hand gently, Lin Ju chuckled and said, don't worry, the blood god will never stand on the evil side. At the same time, he said silently in his heart, but the blood descendants of the blood god are not necessarily. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried that he might pose a certain threat to you. Petrina still expressed her thoughts. He didn't understand that the judge, Lin Ju's position in the judgment council, had such a mysterious, bloodthirsty and cruel guy as her companion. She didn't understand Lin Ju's safety very worried. Ha ha, you can rest assured on this. The blood god will never do this. You know, he is not the only speaker of the trial council. Lin Ju couldn't help but chuckle, feeling a little surprised in his heart. He didn't expect that the image of the blood god he once created would have such a great impact on others. A catwoman who is fearless would have such a mentality, let alone those ordinary ones. Gotham people. What is your status in the judgment council? Petrina stared at Lin Ju. She knew that Lin Ju was the judge, but the name of the judge was only defined by the people of Gotham and those in the police station who did not know the situation. What was Lin Ju's real name? He didn't say it himself. Ha ha, Lin Ju changed the topic and said ha ha, as if he didn't want to talk more about this aspect. Paterina wisely paused the current topic. He didn't want to arouse the resentment of the only male he cared about at the moment because of his excessive stubbornness. The slender palm slowly brushed towards Lin Ju's chest. Wherever the fingers touched, Lin Ju could clearly feel the coolness on his skin. The breathing between the two was slightly heavy. Should men take the initiative at this time? Subconsciously, Lin Ju's head floated forward slightly, just as he was about to kiss those flaming red lips. An extremely fast and sharp whip leg instantly caught his lower body, and his body fell heavily to the ground. Petrina quickly jumped away and smiled politely. Mr. Lin Ju, I am not a casual woman. After saying this, she jumped up to the window eaves, left Lin Ju with a big smile, leaned back, and jumped down from the second floor. With a wry smile on his face, Lin Ju got up and quickly came to the window. Looking at Catwoman who landed smoothly and put on her mask again, she could only smile softly. Watching that unusually agile figure disappear into the long night, looking upward, the bright crescent moon was quietly peeking out of the clouds. Lin Ju felt inexplicably cheerful. He came to the bed and leaned on the quilt. He felt relaxed and fell asleep quickly. In the past few days, he had frequently sneaked into the minds of the vampires and observed their actions, which exerted a great mental drain on Lin Ju's subconscious mind. This was one of the rare times when he fell asleep quickly. Comma. At the same time, there was a bar in the center of Gotham. Blue and green lights intertwined one after another, the sound of electronic metal music was extremely harsh, and men and women with various strange shapes painted on their faces were swaying wildly. Faso walked toward the bar booth with ease, 
followed by a middle-aged man and a woman with heavy smoky makeup. Fasoko Pod, good boy, how dare you come to this place? The bar owner stared intently, looking at the man with a relaxed expression who seemed to be shaking to the rhythm of the music with some ulterior motives. Behind him, burly men with fierce faces slowly gathered. Why can't I come? Faso showed a puzzled expression and looked at the bar owners with fierce faces. He looked completely unafraid. Haha, ha, what happened last time still didn't make you realize the reality clearly. A boy from the Kabat family. The bar owner said with a cruel smile. Ha, huh, my father only cares about money, reputation and interests. Naturally, he would not dare to offend anyone from the Sionis family easily. How dare you come even though I know it. The bottle in his hand instantly hit the bar. With the sound of shattering glass, the edges of the crystal fragments stabbed Faso's body fiercely. The bar owner actually took the lead. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.